35 Naso section 1 at midnight Rabbi Abba speaks about the time of day and how judgment and joy and praise are aroused at different times of the day and night he says that during sleep the soul rises above and is examined about its daily activities that are then recorded in the book 1 and Hashem spoke to Moses saying take also the sum of the sons of Gershon Emit bar 421 to 22 Rabbi Abba opened the discussion saying blessed is the man to whom Hashem imputes no iniquity and in whose spirit there is no guile Tehillim 322 the beginning and the end of this verse do not agree because the beginning says imputes no iniquity seemingly that he has sinned but it is not ascribed to him but at the end it says and in whose spirit there is no guile we should look into it and it has already been established to come and see during the afternoon prayers judgment dwells in the world and Isaac who is supernal pure and the left column of Zeir and composes the afternoon Prayer for then the mating was completed in the secret of his left hand is under my head. Sure Hasherim 26 therefore supernal viewer rules the world until the onset of night because viewer receives the night meaning that night is Malchut drawn from viewer which is the afternoon prayer when the time of the afternoon prayer begins the left separates to receive Malchut and the night is aroused which is Malchut 3 after the night is aroused all the guards of the external gates are aroused in the world and spread out and all the inhabitants of the world taste death for we have learned that at exactly midnight the left is aroused as before as during the afternoon prayer the holy lily which is Malchut exudes fragrances which is the secret of the illumination of Chakma of the left and raises a voice in praise then her head rises and dwells above in the left in the secret of his left hand is under my head and the left receives her five this is then proclaimed in the world it Time has come to rise from sleep and praise the king praises and awaken and everything is fragrant praise is a lot of the one who awakens to effect this bond when morning approaches and the right which is Jesus awakens and hugs her there is universal union between Chakma and the Shasadim this is not the case at night when no Shasadim exists six come and see during the time when people sleep and taste of death the soul rises up and gets to stand in its place where it is examined about its daily activities which get recorded in the book what is the reason for this because the soul rises up and testifies about all the person's activities and every single word that came out from his lips seven when that word that exits from the mouth of the person is worthy a holy word of Torah study and prayer that word then rises and cleaves the firmaments it stands there until nightfall when the soul rises and grasps that word and brings it before the king eight when he is word improper one of the evil ones or of evil speech that word rises to wherever it does to be recorded as a sin of that person this is the meaning of keep the doors of your mouth from her that lies in your bosom it is 75 meaning from the soul that gives testimony about his deeds about this it is written blessed is the man to whom Hashem imputes no iniquity namely when the soul does not bear testimony against him so that a certain sin will be recorded when is that when in whose spirit there is no guile that is when he does not sin section 2 and in the night his song shall be with me we learn about the role of the levites and the role of the priest in the temple and are told that the priest is the angel michael and the levite is the angel gabriel who must make the music information is given about how the songs and chants should be done with the lungs and the windpipe we learn about the heart and the mouth two thrones and the meaning of the shofar and it Implements of speech. Lastly, we are told that the Torah is more important to God than all the offerings and burnt offerings are. A.I. Mahan, the faithful shepherd, nine from thirty years old and upward to fifty years old. Everyone that came to do the service of the ministry and the service of carrying in the tent of meeting. Demidbar 447. This commandment. I ask that the Levites should sing in the temple. Although this was already explained before, we need to add something new for it. Is the priest who sacrifices the offering and he is the angel Michael, which is Chesed. Chesed being the priest Levi is Gabriel, who is Bure and Bure is called Levi and he should play music. Ten the secret of Yehashim will command his steadfast love. Had Chesed in the daytime. Tehillim 429. That is Chesed of Zeir and Ben, which is the high priest, because Michael is a common priest in relation to his master. Chesed of Zeir and Ben. Nevertheless, even though he is a common priest in relation to his master and king. Over the holy living creatures that are in Yetzirah it was said of him let not be the blessing of a common priest be light in your eyes that is what is meant by Yet Hashem will command his Jesus in the daytime 11 and in the night his song shall be with me Ibid which is Bureau of Zeir and since Shirelit's song is similar to the first ling of his herd Hebshur grandeur is his Devarim 3317 and the face of an ox Hebshur on the left side Yashiskel 110 Shire and Shirelit ox are identical Gabriel is the messenger of Bureau it is incumbent upon him to sing and play music happily with the wine of Torah study the Torah and fulfill arise cry out in the night in the beginning of the watches each of 219 12 he should say at dawn several penitential prayers have slikot supplications and petitions with all kinds of joyful chants in his throat which is like a fiddle to produce the voice with the six parts of his lungs that is five lobes of the lungs with the rose lobe which is a small venous lobe that is attached to the lung and in the six rings of the windpipe that is alluding to the vav for Zeir and that comes out from the heart where Bina is situated as the authors of the Mishnah have explained the heart has understanding a son that is Zeir and comes out from Bina the son have been of Yudhei the letters of Bina are Ben Yudhei which is vav which alludes to a newborn chick with six wings namely Zeir and that has six firat, Chesed Bure Tiferet, Net Sachot and Yezid he shall raise them by the six rings of the windpipe which are the six rungs of the throne because Chesed Bure Tiferet Net Sachot and Yezid of Zeir and are six steps to Bina that is referred to as the throne to Chakma 13 there are two thrones as it is written a glorious throne exalted from the beginning Yermea 1712 meaning that it is higher than the first throne indicating that there are two thrones they are the heart which is Bina and the mouth which is Malchut the heart is written because Yah has sworn by his throne Shema 1716 Is Bina which is a throne for Yudhi Shachma and the heart is the secret of that Hashem will have war with Amalek Ibid, which is the secret of the liver that Isamel the mouth is the secret of the seed Hebkese that is the throne Hebkese of Hay this is what is meant by blow a shofar at the new moon at the full moon lit covering Hebkese Tehillim 814 which is the mouth meaning Malchut that is the throne of the last Hay of Yudhi Hay Bob Hay it contains the five restorations of the mouth as explained before 14 he explains what is the meaning of shofar when it says blow a shofar at the new moon the windpipe alludes to the Bob which is the mystery of Zeir and that is referred to by the Bob it is also called voice it is the voice that ascends from the windpipe to the mouth which is referred to as Malchut where the Hay is that is the meaning of the words at the full moon Hebkese on our feast David with the throne had Kesafay meaning the five implements of speech the lips the teeth and the palate there are two lips teeth including regular teeth and molars which makes them two kinds of teeth and the palate so we have a total of five these are the five implements of speech when they mill like a riverbed they make noise like the milling of grindstones to produce sound and speech that emanates from Bino which I ask the heart and with thought which is the secret of Chakma 15. That is the name pronounced in full in ten various phrases which parallel the tense fire here two thought is Chakma the heart is Bino and the windpipe is the secret of Zeir and in which are Shesed Bure Tiferet Net Sach and Yezid the six rings of the windpipe the mouth is Malchut and with the root which is Keter the amount to tense fire therefore when blowing the shofar we never blow less than ten times which corresponds to the tense fire as for the Torah the voice is hers and it Speech is hers and hers is bina as we have explained a wise man understands one thing from another hers is the faculty of thought which is chakma there are tense firat because voice is zeir and pen, in which are chesed bure tiferet net sachot and yezid speech is malchut and with bina and her chakma with the root keter the amount to tense firat therefore the Torah is more important to the Holy One blessed be he than all the offerings and burnt offerings this is what is meant by this is the Torah of the burnt offering of the meal offering Vayikra 737 end of R.A.I. Mahim the section 3 to do trespass against Hashem we are told about Heber the Canite who went into the desert to find God separating himself from his people whenever a person follows the ways of the Torah he draws the spirit of the most holy upon himself but when he diverts his ways from the Torah he draws upon himself a spirit from the unclean side whoever clings to God and does it
he draws upon himself a holy supernal spirit as it says until a spirit be poured upon us from on high. Isha'ah 3215 When a person diverts his ways from the Torah he draws upon himself a spirit from the other side which is the unclean side that defiled side awakens from the side of the whole of the great abyss wherein lie the wicked spirits that harm people and are called the world's destroyers that originate in Cain 18 Jethro was originally a priest to idols and he served that side he drew upon himself a spirit of that side therefore he was also called the Canites later since he separated from Cain and adhered to the Holy One blessed be he whoever bonds to the Holy One blessed be he and performs the commandments of the Torah it is as if he upholds the worlds the world above and the world below this was already explained as is written and do them Vayikra 263 19 anyone who transgresses the commandments of the Torah he as it were makes a flaw above and appears below becomes flawed and impairs the whole universe this is similar to the seafarers on a ship when a fool among them stands up and wishes to punch a hole in the boat his neighbor asks him why are you drilling and he answers why are you concerned i am drilling only under my own spot he replies because we'll both drown in the boat together 20 therefore when a man or a woman shall commit that men have adam is referring to adam as it is written but they like adam have transgressed the covenant Hashi is 67 Adam transgressed one command in the Torah and he caused death to himself and he caused to the universe a blemish above and a blemish below that sin is still impending until the Holy One blessed be he will restore the universe to its original state when that flaw will disappear from the world it is written he will destroy death forever and Hashem Elohim will wipe away tears from all faces Yeshua 258 therefore it is written here shall commit any sin that Adam commit with Adam. Referring to the first man 21 to do trespass against Hashem Bimidbar 56 because whoever abandons mercy and draws on judgment causes a flaw therefore the merciful one should redeem us from the wicked of this world and from their damages as many righteous pass away because of them on top of what they cause to happen above and below section 4 repentance Rabbi Yehuda wonders why if someone sins actually harmed the whole universe his repentance should help. Rabbi Yitzhak replies that when someone makes repentance it restores whatever he damaged above repentance restores everything including the man himself and the whole universe we hear that although God has steeped the world in judgment he wishes the children of Israel to repent in order to better their position in this world and in the world to come we are told that Jonah's repentance saved a great many people in the world 22 Rabbi Yitzhak and Rabbi Yehuda were traveling from Mishat Elad. Rabbi Yehuda said let's discuss some Torah as we go Rabbi Yehuda opened the discussion with the verse if a man shall open a pit or if a man shall dig a pit Shema 2133 the following verse says the owner of the pit shall make it good but 34 therefore whoever harms the world with his sins should most certainly make it good however I wonder since he caused harm to the universe why does repentance help as it says when a man or a woman shall commit any sin then they shall confess their sins and he shall make restitution. Bimid bar 56 23. He replies, Assuredly, it helps them because when he repents, it is as if he causes it in reality. Since repentance lit return returns the hate to the Bob, he restored whatever he damaged above. How by repentance, as it is written, when a man or a woman shall commit any sin, then they shall confess their sins, and he shall make restitution. Return repentance restores everything it repairs above and it repairs below, restoring himself and restoring the whole. Universe 24. Rabbi Yitzhak opened the discussion, saying, When you are in distress and all these things are come upon you, Debarim 430. When you are in distress from here, we see that best of all is repentance before judgment steeps the world, because once judgment has settled, its power increases, who will be able to remove it or make it go away. Once the judgment begins, it does not disappear until it is fulfilled following the completion of the judgment and the making of repentance. He Restores the universe that is deduced from the scripture and all these things are come upon you in the latter days if you turn to Hashem your Elohim for Hashem your Elohim is a merciful Elohim. 25 he inquires in the latter days what is the connection of this verse to here he replies it is in order to include the congregation of Israel which is referred to as the latter days that is exile being with them in their distress and never leaving them although the Holy One blessed be he has steeped the world in judgment he wishes that Israel will repentance to better their position in this world and in the world to come there is nothing that can withstand repentance 26 come and see that even the congregation of Israel which is Malchut is called repentance you might say the uppermost repentance which is Bina is not found everywhere but Malchut is called repentance when mercy that is Zeir and returned before her and she returned again to suckle all her masses the best way. To repent is when the sinner risks his life for it. it is received during a time that he is in repentance then everything gets restored above and below and he and the universe get restored 27 how many others are hurt because of one wicked person in the world woe to the wicked and woe to his neighbor look at Jonah because he had no wish to go on his master's mission how many people could have perished at sea because of him until they all gathered about him to judge and convict him to throw him into the sea then all were saved and the holy one blessed be he had mercy upon him afterwards he saved a great many in the world that is the people of Nineveh when was this when he repented before his master in his distress this is what is meant by I cried to Hashem out of my distress and he heard me Yonah 23 and out of my distress I called upon Yahya answered me with liberation Tehillim 1185 we hear what the letters in the holy name have to do with repentance that is this. Repentance is called life and the issues of life are the souls of Israel. We are told of the importance of breath and the words that issue from the mouth of God. The question arises where the breath that exists in the heathen nations comes from if the Shechinah does not dwell on them. And the answer is that not all faces are equal even among the children of Israel. We are told about another soul that hovers over a man's head that moves all his limbs to follow the precepts. There follows an elaboration of the sense of the Nefesh Ruash, Nesh, Abishaya, and Yashida of Ruash that are drawn to a deserving person. We are told that there is a good kind of breath and a breath that is wicked. The countenance of the animal that resides in a person is apparent in the likeness that dwells on his face. Upon every face is someone in charge over him. This is also true for the six days of creation as there is no day that has no good in it. But not every person is able to enter into that goodness too. To their unworthiness there are various types of repentance and all of them are good but they are not all equal. The most important thing is to study the Torah with awe and love for God. Awe and love reside in the brain and the heart. We are told how the holy grades are able to discern anyone who has become impaired through his misdeeds and how they distance themselves from him and yet complete repentance causes God to return to him. Or I may the faithful shepherd 28 this commandment is that of repentance and that is bina because of our sins when the temple was destroyed nothing was left for us only verbal confession alone which is malchut that is referred to as a verbal confession what is bina it consists of the letters ben lit sun yahay and that sun is surely bob which alludes to zeir and ben who is called sun that is attached to her and receives the mokin of yud from her for everyone who repents it is as if he returned the letter hay which is malchut to the Letter Bob, which is Zeir and which is the son of Yudhay, thus through him Yudhay Bob Hay is completed because the son is the secret of Bob and together with Yudhay it forms Yudhay Bob and with Malchut that is the Hay that returned to him the whole name was made complete that is repentance Hay Teshubah for sure which consists of the letters Tashub let return Hay to the Bob 29 the letter Hay definitely is verbal confession and the secret meaning of take with you words and turn to Hashem say to him so we will offer the words of our lips instead of Kavs Hashia 143 when a person sins he certainly causes the Hay to distance itself from the Bob since the son of Yudhay meaning the Bob that contains Yudhay Bob removes itself from the Hay because of this the temple was destroyed and Israel were driven away from there and dispersed among the nations because of this whoever repents affects the return of the Hay to the letter Bob and redemption depends upon it consequently. Everything depends on repentance that is what the ancients just said the reckoned days of the coming of Messiah passed, worse has come to worst, and it is contingent upon repentance only which is the completion of his name which is the secret meaning of hey that completes his name when added to Yudhi Hey 30 therefore I acted for my name's sake Yashiskal 2014 namely to complete the name Yudhi Hey and also for my own sake for my own sake will I do Yashiah 4811 if they do not return then I will set upon them king whose decrees are harsher than those of Pharaoh then they will repent in spite of themselves this is what is meant by if
The man that is and over my head the Shechen Avel about it it says and the likeness of Hashem does he behold Imidbar 128 because Malchut is referred to as the likeness of Hashem and also surely every man walks in a vain show image Tehillim 397 32 because it is over a person's head man is prohibited to walk four cubits with his head uncovered if she departs from over his head his life is immediately gone 33 you might say that this is also the way Malchut dwells on the nations of the world even though the heavens and earth and all their hosts were not created through them since Behibar M.I.S. composed of the letters of Abraham through whom the heavens and earth and all that sprang forth from them were created and the offspring of Abraham but not the nations of the world he responds she definitely does not dwell on them since Moses asked the Holy One blessed be he that the Sheshana shall not dwell on the nations of the world and it was granted to him but if so where does the breath present for the nations of the world come from what is the source of the one found over the wicked which are the mixed multitudes mingled among Israel he replies it therefore must be that not everyone is equal even among Israel everyone is not equal and this is certainly true for others as will be explained 34 we definitely expounded on the form of the letter hey I have a beautiful gift in my storehouse by the name Shabbat because Shabbat is Malchut when she ascends to Bino and Malchut the secret meaning of Shabbat dwells on Israel they do not toil and are under enslavement in it the working tired soul rested and was refreshed Shema 3117 35 there is another soul above a man's head which is not of Malchut that is called a servant since it draws from Metatron that is referred to as servant it is the form of a man's head it is the king's servant that moves all the limbs of a person to follow the good ways and observe with them the 248 precepts so that the hay of Bihai Baram which is the secret meaning of Malchut shall dwell on them since the numerical value of Bihai Baram is 248.36 after explaining the aspect of the human Nefesh he elaborates on the aspects of Nefesh Ruash Nesham Ashaya and Yashida of the Ruash that is drawn to a deserving person from the aspect of the four letters of Yudhi Bab of Zeir and Pen that rest over his head he says there is another form on his head called and that is the Yud of Yudhi Bab the secret meaning of Keter and Chakma which are the lights of Yashida and Shaya of Ruash since it is the hidden meaning of Keter it is the aspect of Asinsa comes from Keter about them it is written so Elohim created man in his own image in the image of Elohim Beersheet 127 namely image twice which are two goodly images male and female the male is from the side of the letter Yud of Yudhi Bab the hidden meaning of Yashida and Shaya and the female from the side of it. Letter Hay of Yudhi Hay Bab Hay the hidden meaning of Neshama 37 the two letters, Yudhi Hay, awaken man to the Torah and the precepts Bab is the hidden meaning of the Torah and Hay of the precepts Yud is always over man's head once all goes into man's heart to fear the Holy One blessed be he and guard himself not to transgress the negative commandments Hay is the love over a person's head and from it the love of the Holy One blessed be he is imbued on his 248 limbs with which he performs the 248 positive commandments Bab of Yudhi Hay Bab Hay from which aspect dwells the illumination of Ruash of Ruash on man rests over man's head and through it words enter his mouth with which to learn Torah that is Malchut which is the secret of the Nefesh of Ruash called words the secret of Hay thus the Yudhi Hay Bab Hay is made complete 38 of the words that are drawn into his mouth to study Torah it says take with you words and turn to Hashem Hashia 143 because the words Complete the Yud Hay with the last Hay called words by this you will have the Ayn Love and Torah which is the secret of Yud Hay Bab Hay because Ayn Love are the secret of Yud Hay the Torah is the secret of Bab and words of mouth are the secret of Hay Yud Hay Bab Hay that is Zeir Anpin will return to be Bana which is repentance which means the Bab which refers to Zeir Anpin will return to the first Hay which is the act of creation and the 32 times Elohim mentioned in the act of creation namely Bana and thus Yud Hay Bab Hay will be complete with Malchut rising to Bana you will have rest from everything and in it one rested and was refreshed Shema 3117 that is to say when Malchut ascends to Bana she is called Shabbat and pertains to the secret of rest and refreshment as long as she does not ascend to Bana Malchut is not considered Shabbat 39 in Malchut which is the last Hay that ascended to Bana the Yud Hay Bab will be concluded and the name will be Complete thus the heavens and the earth were finished. Beersheet 21 which was on Shabbat which is total perfection the whole world was created through her and understand firmly the heavens the earth the seas and all creatures that were created since it is written these are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created had Bihai Baram this consists of the same letters of with hey they were created had Bihai Baram which is Malchut if she would have departed from the world even for a moment everything would have collapsed and dissolved and the world could not have been preserved 40 this hay will not leave the body of a man and therein it stays when it does leave him the poison of death will come and rest on him which is called defilement the carcass unfit the angel of death darkness and obscurity and it dwells on the corpse of men at that point the man is called dead the secret of it is for I have no pleasure in the death of him that dies Hashem Elohim therefore turn and live Yashiskel 1832 IT should have said the death of him that lives this is because the wicked is already dead so it says the death of him that dies 41 all the positive commandments that were to imbue his 248 organs grieve for him the hidden meaning is that I have seen his ways and I will heal him and on his mourners Yashiah 5718 what are his mourners these are the 248 limbs that grieve for him that is the uppermost likeness resting on his head where Yud Hay rests as there is a good likeness over the righteous which leads him to do good deeds and merit the world to come so is there a bad likeness over the heads of the wicked that leads them to act wrongly and deserve Gehenom therefore there are different kinds of breath there is a good kind of breath about which is written but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Hashem does man live Devarim 83 and there is breath that is wicked about which is written this also is vanity breath and a striving after wind. Kahila 226 42 come and see that through people's actions the spiritual form is recognized that hovers over them and so is the appearance. This is what is meant by the show of their countenance witnesses against them. Yeshayah 39 in the likeness that dwells over one is apparent the face of the living creature that resides over him whether it is a lion, an ox, an eagle, or a man, or from the chariot of the Holy One, blessed be he and his Chechenah from the chariot of the angel, the chief prince from the wicked chariot of Samael, or from the chariot of the four elements of the universe which contain neither the good inclinations nor the evil inclinations but are like common beasts. Therefore there are many types of breath in people, each one according to his own kind of secret meaning of let the earth bring forth living creatures after their kind. Bear sheet 124 it follows that a person is treated the same way he treats others and upon every Spiritual is an angel in charge over it. 43 Come and see each of the six days of creation has its own form and face of the grade that guides it. You will not find a day that has no good in it that is it says in them and Elohim saw that it was good. Bear sheet 110 Although that it is good was not mentioned on the second day you will find it on the third day therefore good is mentioned twice in it. 44 Every day has its exterior barrier so that not everyone would be able to enter into the goodness in it meaning there is darkness that veils the light as you will find light in the first day and also find darkness in it and so in every day there are barriers that guard like thorns that guard the vineyard so that strangers will not enter it there are other types of guardians like snakes scorpions and poisonous serpents that protect the good so that unworthy people will be unable to enter if there were no barriers all the wicked would have the ability to access the secrets of it Torah 45 therefore many angels of destruction that are called darkness and obscurity and snakes and scorpions that are called wild animals confuse the mind of whoever is wicked and has access to the secrets of the Torah to prevent his entry where he does not belong 46 however all these guardians are at the assistance of whoever is good and the prosecutor becomes a defendant they bring him to the concealed goodness and they will say to the concealed goodness our master here is a good person virtuous heaven fearing who wishes to enter before you and he tells us open to me the gates of the righteous I will go into them and I will praise Yah 11,819 and that concealed goodness will reply to them to open for him the gate of love or the gate of repentance every righteous person shall enter according to his degree the meaning of it being open the gates that the righteous nation may enter Yeshayah 262 47 now we must return to the
which is malchut. The word teshuvah, repentance, consists of the letters bab shall return. Had tashuv to hey forty nine, neither hey nor bab ever dwell on a person without awe and love, which are yet hey, which we surely call awe and love from there. The Torah and the precepts were given, which are the son and daughter, namely bab and hey zeir and pen and malchut. Since Israel observed the Torah and its commandments, they are called the children of the Holy One. Blessed be he, as it is written, you are. The children of Hashem your Elohim Devarim 14150 The secret things belong to Hashem our Elohim Devarim 2928 These are awe and love which reside inside the brain and heart they are present in the cavities of the body and in the interior of the head the secret of Yud Hey but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children of it these are the Torah and the precepts which are on the exterior of the body and head the secret of Bav Hey the basis of this is that if a person is in awe of the Holy One blessed be he or loves him no one else knows for it is unknown except to himself and his possessor 51 however if a person studies the Torah and pursues positive commandments it is known to everyone for the Holy One blessed be he made him a visible mouth with which to study the Torah eyes with which to behold the Torah and ears with which to listen to it the Holy One blessed be he also made hands legs and a body for man with which to perform positive commandments 52 He asks if so what is the purpose of the person's nose why did the Holy One bless be he make it he responds and breathe into his nostrils the breath of life Bereshit 27 This is the form over the person of which is said and he dreamed and behold a ladder of 2812 A ladder is assuredly the breath of life which is Malchut the throne to the name yud hey bab hey, which is all of Torah and the precepts since I and love are yud hey and Torah and the precepts are bab hey and it in it. Breath soul of life dwells the name of yud hey bab hey, and that is the throne the ladder from which all the souls of Israel are hewn that is the form over the person's head 53 and behold the angels of Elohim ascending and descending on it but this refers to the breaths that go up in and leave the body through this ladder that ladder is one the seventh among them that which is set up on the earth is another one making two and the top of it reached to heaven it is another. One so together there are three and behold the angels of Elohim ascending these are other two so the amount to five and descending are two more for a total of seven they correspond to the four directions of the universe the heavens and earth which illuminate in that latter being the secret meaning of vanity of vanity says Kahilat vanity of vanities all is vanity Kahilat twelve these are the seven breaths or vanities corresponding to the throne since vanity of vanities are three with the second vanity of vanities it is six and with the last vanity it is seven altogether they are the latter the heavens and the sea the earth and the four elements of the universe totaling seven congruent with the seven days of creation which are Chesed, Viratai, Farad, Netzach, Hadhizet and Malchut and corresponding to them are all the creatures of the sky and land that is the animals birds beasts fish and many other offspring coming from them fifty four since everything was created in it. Image that is on all Israel, which is the righteous being, is it, it says about them, and the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every bird of the air. Bereshit 92 The scripture talks about people who are compared to wild animals, to beasts, birds, and fish of the sea. There are people whose astrological sign is an ox, some whose sign is a lion, some whose sign is an eagle, and some whose sign is a man. 55 Why are they all afraid of this likeness over? Man seeing that they were also created from it, it is only because the name of Yahweh Bob dwells on him, that is the secret meaning of, and all people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of Hashem, and they shall be afraid of you. Devarim 2810 Whoever impairs his deeds, his form is impaired, and the name of Yahweh Bob does not reside in an impaired place, and that blemish darkness prevails because at the time of impairment of the moon, which is Malchu, darkness prevails as. This person has damaged his form so is he damaged below and he either becomes mute deaf blind or lame so that he is marked above and below 56 that darkness prevails on his blemish and the holy grades discern him instantly they are the hosts of the holy one blessed be he who distance themselves from him since they already know that the king does not reside in that blemish therefore the king's legions distance themselves from him since the armies of the king reside and are near only where the king dwells they follow him like limbs follow the body 57 in the place where darkness prevails various angels of destruction called snakes and scorpions come near him and bite him many times and these are sufferings if he has money that is property of his good deeds that he has done meaning if his property consists of good deeds they diminish how do they diminish every merit meaning every illumination that descends on him from above as a reward for his good deeds is given to the angels of destruction in lieu of that they suspend the sufferings from him if he has neither merit nor debts above because all his property is below and with every merit he accumulates material money then the nations of the world approach him instead of the angels of destruction and he gives them his money to save himself 58 this is the reason that Israel used to sacrifice to Azazel to that same darkness and the 70 oxen that correspond to the 70 nations which they sacrificed during so good holiday of the boots fulfill the words if your enemy be hungry give him bread to eat and if he be thirsty give him water to drink Mishlei 2521 once they repent that darkness is removed from that blemish and they attain perfection that is the meaning of Hashem also has commuted your sin you shall not die to Shmuel 1213 the name of Yod Hey immediately returns to him and heals him from the bites of affliction as is written and return and be healed Yeshayah 610 how do we know that the Holy One blessed be he returns immediately after he repents and the blemish is perfected it is written return to me and I will return to you Malachi 3759 all this happens with complete repentance which affects the return of Bina that is Yod Hey Bavtehe which is Malchut that left her nest and is the same form on the head of a person to which all the precepts connect and the tense are tied even if a person performs no more than one precept but does so with awe and love of the Holy One blessed be he the tense fire rest on him on that account whoever performs even one precept properly it is as if he observed 248 positive commandments since there is no one commandment that does not also contain all 248 positive commandments and of R.A.I. Mahim the section 5 a wife suspected of adultery so to the section talks about the unfaithful wife who has trespassed against the congregation of Israel and also against her husband and therefore against Malchut and Zerampin we learn why the woman is taken to the priest not for judgment but only for testing by means of water and the holy name Rabbi Lazar wonders why people do not pay attention to the Torah and Rabbi Shimon tells about how God brought the people to the waters of marriage to test them to see if they had become defiled with the Egyptians after they were acquitted the holy name rested with them the rabbis talk about dust and about the bitter water and the holy sea they talk about the consequences to the wife of having been found faithful or guilty we hear of how important it is for a woman to keep her hair covered so that the whole family will be blessed 60 if any man's wife goes aside Bimit bar 512 he asks what is the connection between the two meaning why is the portion of soda little wife suspected of adultery next to the passages about trespassing he responds it is written there to do a trespass against Hashem Bibit 6 and it is written here by a soda and commit a trespass against him Bibit 12 they are the same subject therefore they are next to each other Rabbi Eliezer quoted any man's lit man man why say twice when once would have sufficed he responds that was already explained yet man man means a man who is a man that is who fulfills the words drink water out of your own sister in Mishlei 515 and does not covet another woman then he is an ordinary man a man to his wife and commit trespass a trespass against him he asks one Trespass would have sufficed so why say twice trespass he responds it refers to one trespass above and one below meaning one against the congregation of Israel which is Malchut and one against her husband Zeir and therefore then shall the man bring his wife to the priest of it 1561 he inquires why bring his wife to the priest and not to the judge he responds the secret of it is that since the priest is the attendant of the matron meaning that he prepares Malchut for union with Zeir and it is therefore suitable for him to restore the blemish of the soda that reaches all the way to Malchut we have to examine this verse which says and he shall kill the bullock Vayikra 15 in which he refers to someone other than the priest a priest is prohibited to act in judgment in order not to impair the source to which he is connected meaning she said yet you say that the man should bring his wife to the priest to judge her trial it must be that only the priest is suitable for this task because he is the attendant of the matron and all the women in the world are blessed from the congregation of
Rather the holy name to which she was false passes her judgment and tests her. 63 Come and see the priest did not get involved here except at the time she presented herself to him to give her to drink so she would be acquitted. He questions her once and again and if she wishes to clarify her innocence only then does the priest take action to promote peace between her and her husband. 64 The priest writes the holy name once the regular way yud hey and then backwards hey hey. Yud the letters which were blotted in the water were scratched by the uppermost lights in four manners judgment with judgment mercy with mercy mercy with judgment judgment with mercy if she is clear the letters of mercy remain and the letters of judgment are gone if she is guilty the letters of mercy are gone and the letters of judgment remain and then her sentence is carried out 65 Rabbi Lazer opened the discussion saying and when they came to Mara they could not drink the waters of Mara for they were bitter had Marim Shemot 1523 this has been explained but I wonder why people do not observe and study Torah this verse requires observation as it is written here there he made for them a statute and an ordinance and there he tested them in 2566 he responds the hidden meaning is that here the miracle occurred on water since the Egyptians used to claim that they fathered Israel and there were indeed many men of Israel who suspected their wives of that until the Holy One blessed be he brought them to this place marriage to test them it is written here and when they came to Marah and he cried to Hashem 67 the Holy One blessed be he said to Moses what do you want there are many battalions of prosecutors wishing to denounce you here and I wish to examine the wives of Israel here write the holy name and throw it into the water and let all of Israel be tested women and men so there should not remain any slander about my children as long as they are not all checked I will not let my name dwell on them immediately Hashem showed him a tree which when he had cast it into the waters if the tree refers to the holy name that the priest used to write in order to test the wives of Israel therefore there he made for them a statute and an ordinance and there he tested them 68 you may say that it was appropriate for the wives of Israel to have been tested because of the suspicion of the Egyptians but why were the men of Israel tested he responds it is because they too had to be tested to see if they were defiled with the wives of the Egyptians the women of Israel were not defiled with the Egyptians all the years that they resided among them both men and women came out innocent therefore the seed of Israel was pronounced holy and worthy only then did the name of the Holy One blessed be he dwell among them hence surely it is through waters there he made for them a statute and an ordinance and there he tested them here too. The priest tested the woman with water and the holy name 69 and of the dust that is on the floor of the tabernacle Bimidbar 517 he asks what is the role of that dust he responds we learned that is written all are of the dust and all return to dust Kahila 320 everything originates in dust even the sphere of the sun and certainly man that originates in its 70 Rabbi Yossi said if it would have merely said and of the dust and nothing else I would have agreed that the explanation is from the dust which is malchut but since it says and of the dust that is on the floor of the tabernacle it indicates that it is another kind of dust it must refer to what is meant by his sword makes them as dust also he shall make his sword as dust Yeshayah 412 these are the purveyors of weaponry and stone projectiles the advocates of harsh judgment that is the indication of on the floor of the tabernacle meaning the ending of malchut called tabernacle that refers to the litigants attached at the bottom to its ending part malchut of malchut according to the hidden meaning of sin crouches at the door Beersheet 47 therefore shall the priest take and put it into the water Bimidbar 517 because he should throw from the dust into the water 71 the bitter water that causes the curse of 18 refers to the sea water that was bitter what is it the sea water it is the holy name namely malchut that is the sea when it is in a state of judgment at that time it is called the bitter water that causes the curse therefore the water of the Lord sea that is the branch to Malchut is bitter all of its 72 come and see this holy sea which is Malchut how many sweet rivers which are the Sphirot of Zeir and Penetrate because it is the judgment of the world its waters are bitter since death of the whole world is involved with it as it is written her feet go down to death Mishle 55 although they are bitter they are sweet when they spread out sometimes the waters of the sea are bitter that is on the side of death attached to Malchut sometimes the waters of the sea envelop all the other waters it is called the frozen sea and it swallows all these other waters and sucks them in so that they do not leak out sometimes water breaks open and from that sea everything flows to the lower beings that sea takes many shapes when the snake soils it with offensiveness they are called the waters that cause the curse therefore the priest acted below by intoning the vow of Incantation and judgment was accomplished. 73 Come and see if the wife was acquitted. These waters entered her and turned out to be sweet. They cleansed her and stayed there until she conceived. As soon as she became pregnant, the waters would beautify the embryo within her, which would result in a handsome and clean child thoroughly unblemished. If she was not cleared, then these waters entered her and she got the offensive odor of the snake, and these waters would turn into a snake within her. The impairment that she caused affected her, that is, her belly shall swell and her thigh shall fall away. Bimidbar 521 and her shame is apparent to all, as our friends have explained. 74 Come and see all the wives in the world are then judged wherever they are from these waters that the soda drank. Therefore, from that exact spot from where they stem Malchut, of which the women are branches, they are judged because Malchut judges them. Praised is a lot of Israel who the Holy One blessed be he. Favored and wished to purify 75 Rabbi Shizkiah opened the discussion with the verse Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine Tehillim 1283 Just as a grapevine does not crossbreed with other kinds but just of its own sort A wife in Israel stands in the same ranks and that she will not accept anyone except her mate Like the dove that accepts only her mate therefore like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your house Ibid what meaning is indicated by fruitful head yeah, it refers to that Which is said that bears head poriah Gal 2917 Fruitful means that it blooms and sprouts branches in every direction And where does it take place in the recesses of your house and not out in the marketplace Because she will not be false to the supernal covenant 76 And Solomon said who forsakes a friend of her youth and forgets the covenant of her Elohim Mishle 217 What is the covenant of her Elohim it refers to the place of the covenant that is yes where she was attached Therefore it is written in the recesses thighs of your house. 77 Rabbi Shizkiah said a shutter shall envelop any man that allows his wife to let the hair of her head be seen which is one of the household modesties. A wife who exposes her hair outside to show her beauty causes destitution to visit upon the house. She causes her sons to be undistinguished in that generation and she incurs sickness upon the house that is leprosy. What is the root of all these? It is the hairs of her head that were seen outside. This is impudence if this happens within the house and certainly even more so if it is in a public place. Therefore it is written your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your house. 78 Rabbi Yehuda said the hairs on the head of a woman that were exposed cause another kind of hair to be exposed meaning the powers of the other side that permeate the hair and impair her. Therefore a woman should be careful that none of her hair is visible even to the beams. Of her house and all the more so outside 79 come and see just like for a man the hair causes the harshest things because they are judgments so it is by a woman look how many misfortunes the hair of a woman causes they incur above and they incur below they cause her husband to be cursed and they incur poverty they cause another thing in the house meaning leprosy they prevent her sons from achieving positions of importance let the all merciful save us from their impudence 80 therefore a woman should be covered even in the inside corners of her home if she adheres to this it is written your children like olive plants tail in 1283 what does it mean like olive plants just as an olive tree does not lose its leaf cover in winter or summer and always has more value than the rest of the tree so should her sons elevate in respect over the rest of the people her husband will also be blessed in everything with the blessings above and with the blessings below with wealth children and grandchildren this is what is meant by behold thus shall the man be blessed who fears Hashem before and Hashem shall bless you out of Zion and you shall see the good of Jerusalem all the days of your life and you shall see your children's children and peace upon Israel. Abid 5 Elijah continues the discussion about the laws of Soda and about the jealousy of the evil inclination he says that when Israel desecrates the Torah God sends them into exile through which experience they become cleansed and purified and refined at the last redemption Israel will be tested like they were at the waters of Mary Elijah says that in the future the children of Israel will leave the
The second and the spirit of jealousy came upon him and she be defiled. Divid 83 he asks could there possibly be any truth in a spirit of uncleanness? He responds it is because in a man who stems from the tree of good and evil there exists the evil inclination the snake when a man has a beautiful wife which is the soul in all her good deeds it is said a virtuous woman is a crown to her husband. Mishlei 124 the evil inclination is jealous as we have found that the snake was jealous of Adam. Because of his wife so it seduced her and caused her to die sometimes it dominates her through sins and defile her and she becomes a carcass 84 the evil inclination on its right side that is the rank of Ishmael is called the snake from the left side which is the rank of Esau who is a male it is called the dog that is appointed over Gehenom that barks H-A-B-H-A-B-A-R-F-A-R-F has written the leech has two daughters crying give give have H-A-B-H-A-B of it 3015 it wishes to burn the soul that was made. Unclean with its fire in Gehenom that is what is meant by and the spirit of jealousy came upon him and he be jealous of his wife truthfully and she be defiled sometimes he falsely accuses her because she was not defiled 85 and for her it was said and the daughter of any priest who is Michael which denotes Jesus and the soul is his daughter when she profanes herself by playing the harlot she profanes her father she shall be burnt with fire vi cross 219 there the filth is destroyed and she purifies herself of it just as silver that purifies in fire and lead which is the refuse is burnt becomes dust and is lost 86 it is the same with the children of Israel when they desecrate the Torah the Holy One blessed be he sends them into exile among the children of Esau and the children of Ishmael under their servitude whose rank is of the dog and a snake and they are punished there through them they become cleared and purified and refined like the refinement of silver and it Trying of gold this is what is said and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. Zechariah 139 until this would hold true about them though your sins be like scarlet they shall be as white as snow. Yeshayah 11887 it is written of the tree of knowledge of good and evil and Hashem showed him a tree which when he had cast it into the waters the waters were made sweet. Shemot 1525 since the children of Israel were intermingled with the mixed multitudes. They were all of the tree of knowledge of good and evil therefore it is half sweet from the right side and half bitter from the left side when the mixed multitude caused the children of Israel to sin it was as if all were on the evil side consequently the waters returned to their bitter state like the tree that was thrown into the water this is what is meant by and when they came to Merah they could not drink of the waters of Merah for they were bitter. Shemot 1523 the bitter tree. That he threw into the water was similar to the test of a wife suspected of adultery if she indeed deviated from her husband the waters which she had to drink turned bitter and because of them her belly shall swell and her thigh shall fall away. Bimit bar 527 if she did not deviate it is written then she shall be free and shall conceive seed of 28 and give birth to a son here too. The waters were made sweet 89 in the same manner Israel will be tested in the last redemption this is. What is meant by many shall purify themselves and make themselves white. Daniel 1210 who are from the good side and who pass the test but the wicked shall do wickedly but because they are from the evil side and by them it will be fulfilled neither shall they enter into the land of Israel. Yashiska 139 and he kills them 90 but the wise shall understand. Daniel 1210 since they are from the side of Bano which is the tree of life for them it was said and they who are wise shall shine. Like the brightness of the firmament of it three with your composition of Rabbi Shimon bar Yekeh, which is the book of the Zohar from the light of the supernal Iamah called repentance they do not require a test and because the children of Israel in the future will taste from the tree of life which is this book of the Zohar they will leave the exile with mercy it will hold true about them that so Hashem did leave him and there was no strange with him to 3212 section. 6 the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil Elijah talks about the time to come when the children of Israel will get all their sustenance solely from the tree of life and when the tree of knowledge of good and evil will no longer apply to them at all he says that the ignorant will have to learn what is prohibited and permissible and that they will discern no difference between the exile and the days of Messiah since they will not taste from the tree of life at the last. Redemption God will differentiate between the ignorant and the Torah scholars 91 the tree of knowledge of good and evil prohibition or permission purity or impurity will no longer apply to the children of Israel since our sustenance will be solely from the side of the tree of life where there are no contradictions stemming from the evil side nor any strife nor difference stemming from the unclean spirit as written and also I will cause the unclean spirit to pass out of the land Zechariah 132 92 the Torah scholars will not need to be sustained by the ignorant just from the good side by eating of the clean kosher and permissible they will not need to get it from the mixed multitude to eat the unclean unfit and prohibited and who are themselves defiled by defiling themselves with a woman in menstruation a maidservant a gentile woman or a prostitute they are the children of Lilith who is a woman in menstruation a maidservant a gentile woman and a prostitute and they return to their roots about them it is written for out of the serpent's root shall come forth the viper Yeshayah 1429 93 during the period that the tree of knowledge of good and evil dominates that pertains to the purity and impurity of worldly things these sages who are similar to the Shabbato and holidays in that they have only what is given to them by the worldly people are like the Shabbat that has nothing except what was prepared for it during the weekdays 94 during the time that the tree of life dominates the tree of knowledge of good and evil is subdued the common people will not have anything except for what the Torah scholars will hand out to them and the common people will become subdued like never before 95 thus prohibition and permission purity and impurity will not pass away from the common people from their aspect there will be no apparent difference between the exile and the days of Messiah except for the oppression of Israel by other kingdoms alone because they will not taste from the tree of life when it will be revealed in the days of Messiah and they will need to learn mission about what is prohibited and permissible what is unclean and clean they will be shamed in front of a Torah scholar like darkness before light since the mixed multitudes are like beasts who are ignorant who are darkness and were not even called Israel just slaves sold to Israel as was already explained 96 Israel are called men how do we know that the children of Israel are composed of both beast and man it is written but you my flock the flock of my pasture are men yeshiskel 3431 but you my flock the flock of my pasture these are those who are ignorant of Torah but are good and stem from the good side our men refers to the Torah scholars 97 it is also alluded to in this verse as it is written know that my people would hearken to me Israel tell 8114 after mentioning my people why say Israel because my people refers to common People and Israel alludes to the Torah scholars for them it is mentioned and the children of Israel went out with a high hand Shemot 148 98 as the Holy One blessed be he divided them at Mount Sinai so he will differentiate them at the last redemption because it says by Israel and the children of Israel went up armed have Kamashim out of the land of Egypt Shemot 1318 Kamashim meaning from the side of the tree of life that is Zeir Anpin which are the 50 have Shemashim years of Jubilee which is Binus and Zeir Anpin receives them from Bina about them it says they shall come up to the mountain Shemot 1913 and, and the angel of Elohim who went before the camp of Israel removed Shemot 1419 and to them it says I bore you on eagle's wings Shemot 194 which refers to the clouds of glory and brought you to myself and also and the children of Israel went out with a high hand so he will bring out the Torah scholars with all that honor 99 it is mentioned. By those who are ignorant of Torah yet are of the good side and they stood at the foot of the mountain Shemot 1917 so will they be at the last redemption under Torah scholars like a slave that follows along the horse's footsteps of his Lord just as it was called out to them at the foot of the mountain if you accept the Torah it is better but if not there will be your burial place so he will tell them at the last redemption if you will accept upon yourselves a Torah scholar during the redemption from the exile like a horse rider with his attendant servant it is best and if not there in exile shall be your burial section 7 the mixed multitudes we learn from Elijah that no new converts will be accepted during the days of Messiah Moses asks Elijah to do his utmost not to delay the redemption since Moses is waiting in the prison of the grave due to the sins of his people he says that the Torah scholars are suffering and the mixed multitudes are Prospering and Jerusalem Elijah to tell these things to God 100 the mixed multitudes
In tone of solemn oath on me, meaning make me swear that I should hasten the redemption for your sake. I wish to rise since the Holy One, blessed be he, gave me permission to reveal myself to you in your prison, in your place of burial, and do you good because you are desecrated through the sins of the people like in a prison. He is among them. This is the meaning of, but he was wounded because of our transgressions. Yeshua 535, 102. The faithful shepherd told him, I intone on you solemnly the name of Yod Hey that you will do your utmost not to delay the redemption since I am existing in great distress for about me it is written and he looked this way and that and when he saw that there was no man Shema 212 to help me to take me out of this distress from this grave since it says about me for they made his grave among the wicked Yeshua 539 they do not recognize me but regard me as one of the evil mixed multitudes like a dead dog that has caused a stench among them the wisdom of the scribes shall become vapid stinking among them in each and every city and in all places where the children of Israel are scattered throughout their kingdoms the mixed multitudes become the shepherds of Israel who are the flock of the Holy One blessed be he as it is said about them but you my flock the flock of my pasture are man Yashiskel 3431 and they have no ability to do good with the Torah scholars 103 courageous and sin-fearing men go about from one city to another and find no grace and the mixed multitudes excommunicate themselves from among them in many places they are only given a meager sum so they are unable to rise from their fall even temporarily all the sages honorable men and those who fear sin live in distress and gloom and are treated like dogs the precious sons of Zion comparable to fine gold how are they esteemed as earthen pitchers each of 42 in the streets unable to find accommodation among them 104 meanwhile the mixed multitudes are wealthy live in peace and happiness without pain without any sorrow robbers bribe takers who are the judges the elite of their people for the earth is filled with violence through them bear sheet 613 about them it is written her adversaries have become the chief each of 15 the faithful shepherd said to Elijah with a solemn oath on you the second time upon the life or name of Hashem Hashem Tzvoti the Elohim of Israel who is enthroned upon the cherubs that all these words will not fail from your Mouth with all your might tell them before the Holy One blessed be he to show their distress and of our AI mayhem the section 8 why when I came there was no man Rabbi Lazer talks about the quorum of 10 people required in the synagogue 105 when either man's hall pronounced a special vow Bar 62 Rabbi Lazer opened the discussion saying why when I came there was no man Yeshua 502 why when I came how beloved are the children of Israel before the Holy One blessed be he wherever they reside the Holy One blessed be he is among them since he does not remove his love from them it is written and let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them Shema 258 and let them make me a sanctuary I as a generic sanctuary since every synagogue in the world is called a sanctuary as has been explained that I may dwell have Shachanti among them since the Shechina comes early to the synagogue 106 praise is the person who is among the first 10 in the synagogue because they complete the required fulfillment that is the congregation whose quorum is not less than ten they are the first to be sanctified by the Shechina as we have already learned it is necessary that all ten be at the synagogue at the same time in unison and not come little by little in order not to delay the perfection of the limbs since all ten are like parts of one body in which the Shechina dwells since man was formed in one instant by the Holy One blessed be he and he had all his limbs and organs prepared together this is what is meant by has he not made you and established you to 326 107 come and see as soon as the limbs of man were perfected concurrently every individual part was constructed appropriately similarly since the Shechina hastens to the synagogue there is a requirement to have a complete quorum of ten together then whatever needs to is completed since it is not considered a congregation with less than ten who correspond to the ten Sfirat of Malchut as long as there are not ten together none is completed after that everything is established that is the establishing of the whole congregation what is it that establishes everything it is as it is written in the multitude of people is the king's glory Mishlei 1428 therefore the people who follow later after the first ten was all still establish the body even more that is to say the establishing of the congregation since an increased number of people increases the glory of the king 108 when the Shechina preceded and came and the people have not yet formed a quorum of ten as required the holy one blessed be he calls out why when I came there was no man what is there was no man it is that the parts were not completed and the body was not whole to be called a congregation if the body is not whole there is no man meaning even the individual limbs that already came are not completed therefore there was no man is precisely that come and see when the body is Completed below when there are ten men together the supreme holiness comes and enters that body and the lower resumes the likeness of the upper tense fire all must refrain from worldly talk since Israel are now in a state of lofty unison and are sanctified with supreme sanctity blessed is their law 109 when either man's all pronounce he asks what is shall pronounce he responds it means he is separated from the rest of the people to become holy in the likeness of above and be holy if a person comes to be cleansed he is cleansed and the person who wishes to be sanctified is sanctified they envelop him in supernal holiness the same holiness with which the holy one blessed be he was sanctified section 9 death and the punishment by beating in the grave rabbi Abba tells us how a person assumes he will live forever until he gets ill and undergoes judgment at which time all his actions stand as evidence for or against him we hear what happens as soon as he is in the grave and we hear about all the trials he has to face Rabbi Abba says that King David said one should bless God now while he is still alive and before it is too late 110 Rabbi Abba opened the discussion saying of David bless Hashem my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name Tehillim 1031 how much a person should observe and know how to serve his master since every single day the proclamation goes forth and says how long you simple ones will you love being simple Mishlei 122 return faithless children and I will heal your relapses here may 322 but none pays attention the Torah proclaims before them yet nobody is attentive 111 come and see a person walks about in this world and thinks that it belongs to him forever and he will remain here for generations to come while he walks about he is placed in binding chains meaning that he gets ill and is tied to his bed while he remains in the state he is judged together with other litigants if he gets a good Advocate he is saved from punishment as it is written if there be an angel over him an interpreter one among a thousand to declare to man what is right then he is gracious to him and says Eo 3323 who is that good advocate these are the good deeds that stand by for a man in time of need 112 if there is no good advocate for him he is found guilty in judgment and is required to pass away from this world during that period while he lays bound in the chains of the king and raising his eyes. He sees how to come to him they write all that he did in this world and every word that emerged from his lips he gives accounts about everything and it is recorded before him this is what it says for lo he that forms the mountains and creates the wind and declares to man what is his thought Amos 413 and he admits all these things 113 what is the reason that he admits all his deeds it is because the action he did ascends and stands by to give testimony all deeds stand by up above to give testimony about him they all descend to be recorded before him and do not move away until the time he is tried for them in that world come and see all these things that were done by this man on this world all are ready to testify about him and they are not removed from him when he is taken to his grave they all gather and go in front of him three proclamations are proclaimed one in front one on his right and one on his left they say that this is so and so who rebelled against his master rebelled above rebelled below rebelled against the torah revolted against the precepts see his actions and watch his speeches he would have been better off not to have been created 114 until they arrive at the cemetery and all the dead rage in their spots and say whoa whoa that this one is buried among us his actions and speech precede him into the grave and remain over that body his spirit goes and wanders and mourns over the body as soon as a person is covered in his grave angel Duma. Hastens to come out with three courts under his jurisdiction appointed for the punishment in the grave. Three ones of fire are in their hands and the spirit is on trial together with the body. Woe to that punishment and woe to his deeds. 115 during the time he is held in the chains of the king meaning while he is sick and bound to his bed his trial took place and completed with a guilty verdict because no good advocate was available for him. The king's minister the angel of death descends and stands at his feet with a sharp sword in his hand. 116 the person lifts his eyes and sees first the house walls radiant with fire at the same time he sees him full with eyes dressed in burning fire standing in front of the
entire body and spirit tremble and his heart does not rest being the king of the entire body then his spirit travels throughout his organs and takes leave from them like a man who takes leave from his friend to go elsewhere he then declares woe what have I done but it is of no use to him unless he preempts it with the healing powers of repentance before that moment arrives 119 the person shudders for fear and wishes to hide but does not have the capability when he realizes that he is powerless he opens his eyes and he has to look at him with his eyes open he then gives his life and soul that is the moment of the greatest judgment that a person is judged in this world the spirit then passes through all the limbs of the body and takes leave of them it then wanders through all the organs and shakes all over and all the organs tremble 120 when the spirit arrives at each limb to take leave a sweat develops on that limb the spirit is removed and immediately that limb dies and so on with all the limbs 121 as soon as the spirit is ready to depart because it has already taken leave of all the limbs of the body the shechina rests on him immediately the spirit flies from the body praised is the lot of the person who is attached to her the shechina woe to those wicked who are far from her and are not attached to her 122 how many trials does a person have to pass when he departs from this world one is the supreme judgment that we have already explained when the spirit leaves the body one is the trial at the moment when his actions and speeches proceed in front of him and declare proclamations about him there is another the trial when he is placed in his grave one in the grave and one the trial of the worms that eat his flesh another is the trial of Gehenna and one is the trial of spirit that wanders through the world and finds no rest until his deeds are completed seven definite periods pass over him therefore a man should fear his master examine daily his actions and repent to his master for them while he is still alive in this world 123 when king david examined the trials of a person who departs from this world he first said bless hashem my soul tehillim 1031 before it departs the world now while it is still in the body and all that is within me bless his holy name you the limbs that are attached to the spirit now while the spirit is still with you hasten to bless the holy name before the time will arrive when you will know longer be able to bless him and thank him for you section 10 the nazi right rabbi abba wonders why someone who has made the vow of a nazi right to be sanctified with holiness is not allowed to eat grapes rabbi shimon answers that wine and strong drink and grapes are all attached to the same aspect that is of the left column and it is inappropriate for a nazi right to do anything of the left side 124 come and see when either man's hall pronounce a special vow of a Nazi right, Bimid bar 62 meaning he hastened while in this world to be sanctified with the holiness of his master thus he shall abstain from wine and strong drink and shall drink no vinegar of wine of it. 3 here we should deliberate just because he is forbidden to drink wine why should grapes be forbidden to him seeing that of the priest it says do not drink wine or strong drink Bayakra 109 but he may eat grapes so why is a Nazi right different why are grapes forbidden to him 125 he responds. This procedure and prohibition is of the highest secret that the Nazi right is to isolate himself entirely from judgment more so than a priest it is known that the tree by which Adam sinned was a grapevine that is the secret of it that wine and strong drink and grapes are attached to the same aspect which is of the left column wine above to the left column of bina that is referred to there as the preserved wine as explained strong drink is to the left of Zeir and since strong drink is produced. From one so to the left column of Zeir and is drawn from the left column of Bina grapes gather everything to them since they are Malchut that receives from everything above and that is the tree by which Adam sinned consequently all of them are connected to the same side the left of Bina of Zeir and of Malchut if you say that this Nazi right has abandoned the supreme faith by not receiving from the supernal Bina Zeir and and Malchut it is not so it is just not appropriate for him to do anything of the left side section 11 let the hair grow and let them shave Rabbi Shimon continues by saying that the Nazi right must not cut his hair or shave because the roots of hair exist from the right side and he is entirely isolated from judgment after he comes back from isolation the priest must atone for him so that the Nazi right can again be allowed wine and strong drink and grapes Rabbi Shimon says that Samson was punished because he took a Gentile Woman for a wife 126 come and see what I have learned from the book of Rabbi Hamna Nassab the elder it is written and shall let the locks of the hair of his head grow Bimid bar 65 he must allow the hair on his head and beard to grow and abstain from wine strong drink and grapes since they all pertain to the left side but the hairs do not originate in the wine is supreme IMA while strong drink is of the left to which the levites are connected and stem from the uppermost wine meaning from supernal IMA and the hairs have no involvement with them therefore when the levites ascend to this place to the left they must shave all their hair as is said and let them shave all their flesh Bimid bar 87 127 grapes pertain to the lower mother Malchut who gathers wine and strong drink to her therefore the Nazi right isolates himself from the entire left from wine and strong drink and grapes so that none of its consequences are manifest in him there are no hair and beard coming out of it Grapes that are malchute since the female which is malchute needs to cut her hair that is body hair when she comes to have intercourse with the male zeir and, and she has no beard therefore the nazi right that is from the right where the roots of hair is, is opposite the hair of the head and beard hang down and it is forbidden to shave them the secret of this is that he is called a nazi right to elohim shoftim 137 he is isolated from the name elohim that is the left and it is not nazi right to hashem which is the right since he is isolated entirely from judgment nazi right means one who separates himself 128 come and see about this is written and make atonement for him for that he sent by the dead lit nefesh it is not written his nefesh but simply the nefesh what is that these are grapes meaning malchute that are referred to as nefesh hence a sin is mentioned meaning he sinned against malchute which aspect is that of wine and strong drink as malchute is built mainly from the left and the Nazi right took the place of judgment that is the illumination from the left from it he asks why is this considered a sin he replies it is because he sinned by depriving the judgment from the nefesh meaning the illumination of its chakma that is drawn together with the judgments of the left 129 he asks if so that a Nazi right adheres so much to the right why is it written following that and make atonement for him he answers because he comes forth now after completing his abstination period to adhere with them with the three aspects of the left column and to be allowed wine strong drink and grapes these places do not accept him until he takes counsel with the priest who will atone for him since originally he expelled them by abstaining himself and now that he returns to them he needs to adhere to correcting by atonement so they will accept him that is the mystical explanation of this 130 if you wonder about Samson who was a Nazi right to Elohim why was he Punished he replies it was proper for him meaning he deserved the punishment because he joined in marriage with a gentile woman meaning Delilah he should have joined with his own kind with what was appropriate for him but he who was holy mingled that holiness with the daughter of a foreign and abandoned his appropriate state of holiness therefore he was punished 131 some say that he has no part in that world why is that it is because he said let my nefesh die with the Philistines. Shoved him 1630 and he passed his lot with the lot of the Philistines so that his nefesh will die with them in that world this is the way they used to proclaim to the Nazi right go round round to the vineyard you shall not come the friends have already upheld this explanation section 12 holy pure Rabbi Shimon talks about the secret of hair in relation to holiness 132 here is what is written about levites and thus shall you do to them to cleanse them sprinkle Water of purifying on them and let them shave all their flesh. Bimid bar 87. As soon as they shave their hair and fulfill all this, the levites are considered pure but not holy. But as soon as the Nazi right isolates from the side of the left, he is considered holy and not pure. Thus it is written all the days of his vow of his separation during which he separates himself to Hashem, he shall be holy. Bimid bar 65, 133. And shall let the locks of the hair of his head grow, but it is because it is written, and the hair of whose head was like pure wool. Daniel 79. By this he is similar to the higher since his hair draws chastity is above and without judgment since he is holy of the right. Rabbi Yehuda bar Rav said with his hair alone, it is apparent that he is holy as it is written about the holy one. Blessed be he, his locks are wavy. Sure, Hashirim 511, 134. Rabbi Shimon taught if people would know what is spoken about this hair and its secret as it is above in the utmost secrecy. They would have distinguished themselves to their master with the highest wisdom up to here have been the secrets of the Torah from now on to trade Torah and her merchandise
meaning in the sense of the formless world had tohu in which the seven lower sfarot were in a single stack the one above the other rabbi shimon wished to reveal to them the meaning of the grades in the world of correction which consists of three pillars the hidden meaning of the three columns right left and central it is written it is time to act for hashem they have made void your torah tehillim 119,126 the days are few and the sin master meaning the prosecutor applies pressure every day the proclamation resounds for repentance and the reapers of the field are few meaning those who deserve the crop of the supernal field malchut which are the understandings of the secrets of torah they even those who understood are located at the end of the vineyard which is malchut even they do not pay attention and or do not know where they are going to gather friends to the throne dressed in shields with swords and lances in your hands which is the secret of the unifications to destroy the Clip hurry with your corrections, meaning hurry to restore the three columns chakma bunded at Chesed Bura Tiferet Netzach Hot and Yezid with counsel, with wisdom, with understanding, with knowledge, with appearance, with hands, which is the secret of Chesed Bura and Tiferet, and with feet, which is the secret of Netzach Hot and Yezid. Appoint as king over on you someone who has the authority of life and death to decree truthful words, words to which the supernal holy ones will listen and will be glad to hear and to know them. Three Rabbi Shimon sat down and what he said, Woe if I do reveal, and woe if I do not reveal, if he does not reveal, the new understandings in the Torah will get lost, and if he does reveal, perhaps someone who is not worthy of the hidden meanings of the Torah might hear the friends that were there kept silent. Finally, Rabbi Abba stood up and said to him, If my Lord is graceful enough to reveal, behold, it says the secret of Hashem is with them that fear him. Tehillim 2514. These friends fear the Holy One, blessed be he, they have already gained entry to the chamber of your residence. We have learned that some of them entered this great chamber and some of them exited, but not all since three friends passed away, for we have learned that the friends were counted who were present before Rabbi Shimon. The following were present Rabbi Lazar, his son, Rabbi Abba, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yossi, Bar Jacob, Rabbi Yitzhak, Rabbi Shishki, Abar, Rabbi Shi, Rabbi Yossi, and Rabbi Yesa. They stretched their hands to Rabbi Shimon with the fingers straightened upward. They entered the field among the trees and sat down. Rabbi Shimon stood up and prayed his prayer, sat down among them, and said, Everyone should place his hands in his bosom. Each one placed his hands in his own bosom, and Rabbi Shimon accepted them. He opened the discussion, saying, Cursed be the man that makes any carved or molten idol an abomination of Hashem, the work of the hands of a craftsman, and sets it up in secret. And all the people, all the friends, shall answer and say Amen. Devarim 2715 5 Rabbi Shimon opened the discussion with the verse It is time to act for Hashem they have made void your Torah which means why is this a time to act for Hashem because they have made void your Torah what does they have made void your Torah mean meaning they have made void the Torah above which is the secret of Zeir and because she becomes void if she is not observed with her establishments is it? Following will explain this verse was said to Adikim in the ancient of days which is the beginning of the root of all corrections as in the following explanation it says Happy are you Yisrael who is like you Devarim 3329 because they adhere to the central column and who is like you Hashem among the Elim Shemot 1511 this applies to Zeir and who is the central column 6 he called on his son Rabbi Lazer and sat in front of him Rabbi Abba was on the other side and said we are all Inclusive since the soul of Rabbi Lazar was of Chakma and that of Rabbi Abba was Bunda and Rabbi Shimon himself was Dayat that unifies Chakma and Bunda to each other that is why he said that they were all inclusive since Chakma Bunda and Dayat include all the grades until now the pillars were constructed meaning that to this point they were involved in correcting the three columns also called three pillars they were silent they heard a sound and their knees were knocking together because a fear what was the sound that was the sound of the friends above who were gathering meaning the chariots of the Holy One blessed be seven Rabbi Shimon rejoiced and said Hashem I have heard the report of you and I was afraid Shabbat 32 it was true there that he feared since his root was from the left column but for we who are united with the central column it depends on love meaning Shesedim that are the aspect of love it is written and you shall love CG1 Hashem your Elohim Devarim. 65 It is written because Hashem loved you, Ibit 78, and it is also written, I have loved you, Malachi 12, 8. Rabbi Shimon opened the discussion, saying, A tail bearer lit goer reveals secrets, but he that is of a faithful spirit conceals the matter. Mishlei 1113. This verse is difficult, but it should have said, Tail man, what is a tail goer? He replies, It refers to someone who is not settled in mind and not trustworthy. Whatever he has heard goes within him like a board in water that does not sink until it gets expelled outside, meaning to say he has no rest until he reveals whatever he heard to someone else. What is the reason? It is because his spirit is not stable, settled of him who has a stable spirit, it says, But he that is of a faithful spirit conceals the matter. A faithful spirit means a stable spirit, it all depends on the spirit. It is also written, Do not let your mouth cause your flesh to sin. Kahila 55 9. The world is preserved only through secrecy and if in worldly. Think secrecy is a prerequisite. It is so much more certain that the mysteries of mysteries of Adikim are not even passed on to the angels above. Rabbi Shimon said to the heavens, I don't say to listen to the earth, I don't say to hear, since we maintain the worlds, that is to say, Moses and Isaiah made the heavens and earth witnesses to punish the children of Israel if they do not maintain the worlds, that the heavens will not give its rain nor the earth its crops. But Rabbi Shimon was speaking to the righteous who maintain the world and have no need for witnesses. We have learned of the mysteries of mysteries. When Rabbi Shimon began with the secrets of secrets, the place shook and the friends trembled. Section 2 And these are the kings. Rabbi Shimon begins by saying that the friends are blessed and that to them are revealed the inner secrets of the Torah that have not even been revealed to the angels. The topic at hand here is the mention of the kings of Edom. That reigned before the children of Israel came along and had any king the secret of this alludes to the supernal worlds and the time before his corrections were maintained all those kings of Edom died Rabbi Shimon ends by talking about the creation of the Torah and he revealed in secret and opened the discussion with the verse and these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom before there reigned any king Bereshit 3631 blessed are you righteous to whom were revealed the inner secrets of the Torah which are not revealed to the most holy ones up high meaning the angels who will be attentive to this and who will deserve this in what is written and these are the kings that is evidence about overall faith may the prayer be accepted that it will not be considered a sin to reveal this what will the friends say since this verse is difficult since it was unnecessary to write this because we could see how many kings Edom had before the children of Israel came along and Prior to the children of Israel having a king, what is shown to us here it is a high secret, and men are incapable of knowing and understanding and contemplating this since it alludes to the supernal worlds. 11. We have learned about the most ancient of ancients, the most hidden of hidden, before he prepared his corrections and the crowns of crowns. The preparation of the vessels and readying them to receive the lights are called corrections. The lights themselves are called crowns derived from the verse, the crown with which our mother crowned him. Sure, Hashirim 311. There did not yet exist a beginning nor an end, which are the upper chakma, the beginning of revelation, and lower chakma, the end of revelation. He was carving and estimating the limits of it, meaning of revealing the beginning and the end. He laid out a boundary and in it he marked and measured kings. 12. His corrections were not maintained. This is what is written, and these are the kings that reigned in the land of. Edom before there reigned any king over the children of Israel, meaning before the first king that reigned over the first children of Israel, all that were recorded were called by their names, but did not live. Then after that he abandoned them and hid them, he was elevated by that boundary and established with his own corrections. Thirteen, we have learned that when his wish came to pass, the wish of the emanator to create the Torah, she was hidden for two thousand years, and he produced her meaning created. Her she immediately said to him, Whoever wishes to restore and accomplish, let him first tend to his own correction. Section three, Atika of Atikin, Rabbi Shimon tells what the hidden book revealed about the most ancient among the ancients and of how the illuminating light of the whiteness of the skull in the head of Eric Enfin is the legacy of the righteous in the world to come. Fourteen, we have learned from Tzina Yudadisa for the hidden book about the most ancient among the Ancient the most concealed
Daily to the exterior one Zeir Anpin and fill the head every single day as is written for my head is filled with dew Sure Hashirim 5217 from that dew which is outside and which Zeir Anpin shakes off from his head the dead wake up to life in the world to come as it is written for your dew is as the dew on herbs also of light Yeshaya 2619 this is because this dew is the illumination of the white light of Atika meaning the whiteness of the skull that is named Atika and from that dew are the supreme holy ones sustained that is the manna that is ground for the righteous in the future to come that dew flows to the field of holy apple trees of Malchut as it says and when the layer of dew was gone up behold upon the face of the wilderness there lay a fine flaky substance Shemot 1614 the appearance of that dew is white like the crystal stones that appear to contain all the colors within them as is written and its color was like the color of crystal Bar 11718 Whiteness of the skull, the Keter of our Anpin radiates light to the thirteen directions engraved around it, four directions on the side of the face, four directions on that side of its face, on the right and left of the skull, on the side against the front face, and four directions on the back side, one direction is on top of the skull in the center between right and left, nineteen from this, the length of the face of our Anpin spreads onto the three hundred and seventy x ten thousand worlds, this is referred to as long suffering lid of a long face, therefore this most ancient Atika is called our Anpin, which is Aramaic for long face, the one outside, the one that coats from the navel downward of our Anpin, where it is considered as the exterior of the body, is called Zeir Anpin, corresponding to the old Atika, the Holy of Holies, this is because Zeir Anpin and Atika must be one only during smallness, when the lower grades are not deserving, he coats from the navel downward of our Anpin in times of favor, he Ascends and coats above the head of Arakanpan when Zerankan gazes to Arakanpan all below get restored and its face spreads and lengthens during that period. This is only in periods of favor but not all the time like Atika which is Arakanpan 20 from the skull which is Keter of Arakanpan emanates one white side from the 13 whiteness of the skull to the skull of Zerankan which is his Keter to construct his head meaning to establish for him the first three Sphirot that are referred to as the head from the skull of Zeir Anpin is drawn the white illumination for the rest of the lower skulls referring to the crowns in the grades of Briya Yitzra and Asiyah that are without number each skull pays a fee for the illuminating of the whiteness to Atikim and when they are counted under the scepter and the half shekel per skull that the children of Israel given their senses down below is parallel to the section 5 membrane of Air and it Concealed brain we learned about the membrane that covers the brain that is the concealed chakma of Arakanpin the brains of Zerankin spread out to 32 paths because the membrane is detached from him 21. In the hollow space of the skull there exists a tissue made of air of concealed upper chakma that is not detachable that is to say in the cracks of the skull there is the brain of air of supernal chakma and underneath the brain of air there is an unbroken membrane that is not common that it be broken and it never opens this membrane covers the brain which is concealed chakma of Arakanpin in Arakanpin there are three heads besides the one head that is attic these are the skull and the upper concealed chakma which is referred to as the brain of air that is in the cracks of the skull which is the second head the lower concealed chakma is in the hollow of the skull which is the third head the membrane is located underneath the brain of air and above the concealed chakma and covers the concealed chakma so it should not radiate its illumination to the outside of the membrane this is why this chakma was covered with the sealed membrane that is impenetrable 22 this brain which is the concealed chakma that is the third head of Arakanpin is still and quiet in its location like fine wine above its sediments that is why they say an old person's mind is vague and his brain is veiled and not agitated 23 that membrane is detached from Zerankin therefore his brain spread out to 32 paths it is written and a river went out of Eden Beersheet 210 why so because the membrane gets broken and does not cover the brain we have learned that from the letters impressions like that top impressed upon Atikim and Arakanpin the incomparable section 6 pure wool Rabbi Shimon talks about the thousands of groups of hairs in the skull of the head every strand of which glows in 410 worlds a well spring glows and flows from these strands to the strands of Zerankin and the brain of Zerankin gets constructed from these after which it flows to the 32 paths of wisdom Rabbi Shimon says that a person's character is revealed from his hair from the parting of the hair Rabbi Shimon deduces a parting into 613 ways of the Torah meaning the 613 precepts 24 we have learned that in the skull of the head, that is in the Keter of Arakanpin, there are thousands of thousands of tens of thousands seven thousands and five hundreds groups of hairs they are clean and white like wool that is clean and free of knots untangled so as not to appear tangled but everything is in its place and not even minutely intrusive without one hair over another hair 25 every individual lock of hair has 410 bundles of hair as the numerical value of Kadash let holy each hair strand glows in 410 worlds as the numerical value of Kadash each world is concealed and hidden and is entirely unknown except to itself it glows to 410 directions also the numerical value of Kadash this is the secret meaning of the three recited holiness is holy 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 26 each individual strand of hair has a wellspring that emanates from a concealed brain that is the third head of Arakanpin it glows and flows from these strands to the strands of Zerankin and the brain of Zeir Anpin gets constructed from these meaning it receives the first three Sphirot then the brain of Zeir Anpin flows to the 32 paths of Chakma 27 all individual tips within each group of hair glow and hang get restored nicely and cover the skull groups of hair strands are well established on each side over the skull that is on the right the left and the middle we have learned that each individual bunch of hair is a continuous flow of the sealed wellsprings that emanate from the concealed brain which is the third head of Arakanpin 28 we have learned that a person's character is revealed from his hair if he is harsh or compassionate that is after the age of 40 even in his youth it is also apparent in his hair and his shape and eyelashes 29 the locks of hair hang to his shoulders neat as refined wool do you think covering his shoulders it is just to the top of his shoulders covering the back part of his neck since it is written they turn their back to me and not their face here may 227 the hairs rise behind the ears in order not to cover the ears as it is written let your ears be attentive tail 1302 30 the hairs showing behind the ears are equally defined with none intruding on each other that is a perfect form a proper form a beautiful form lovely to behold the yearning and joy of the righteous that are in zir is to observe and cling to the form of the ancient one which is completely concealed which is eric 31 13 locks meaning bundles of hair stand on each side of the skull which is the key to eric and against his face with them the hairs begin to part it Aspect of left does not exist in this concealed attic Eric Anpin it is totally of the right seen yet not seen concealed though unconcealed all this is a reflection of its supernal form its sublime self 32 the children of Israel were longing to test this and to examine in their hearts as is written is Hashem among us or not Shemot 177 meaning between Zer Anpin called Hashem and Eric Anpin called not he then asks if so why were they punished he responds because they did not do so out of love but simply testing as it is written and because they tempted Hashem saying is Hashem among us or not 33 in the parting of the hair to right and left of the skull a path passes between them that radiates light to 270 worlds from this illuminates the path at the place where the hair parts of Zer Anpin with which the righteous illuminate to the world to come this is what is written but the path of just men is like the gleam of sunlight that shines ever more brightly until the Height of noonday Mishlei 14, from that path of Zeir Anpin there is a parting into 613 ways of the Torah which part in Zeir Anpin meaning the 613 precepts of which it is written all the paths of Hashem are mercy and truth Tehillim 2510 section 7 the will of the forehead the forehead of the skull of Eric Anpin is described as being the will of all wills or desire and Rabbi Shimon says that when this forehead is revealed the prayers of Israel are accepted of all. His students only Rabbi Lazer seems to know that this happens during the time of the Minchaper of Shabbat when anger is soothed and goodwill exists Rabbi Shimon reveals that this forehead spreads out into 270,000 candles that illuminate from the supernal Eden and only Zer Anpin can grasp the supernal Eden and its paths of wisdom 34 the forehead of the skull of Eric Anpin is referred to as desirable because the will of all wills appears on that forehead corresponding to this it is. Written below it sh
Reverse since the brow of Eric Enpen is revealed that is called desire at that moment the anger is soothed and good will the desire exists and the prayer gets accepted this is what is written but as for me let my prayer be unto you Hashem in an acceptable time the time of desire Tehillim 6914 since the time of good will is from the ancient of days so as to reveal his brow for this reason it was decided that this verse be mentioned in the Minja prayer of Shabbat Rabbi Shimon said to his son Rabbi Lazar blessed shall you be my son before the ancient of days you should find good will from the brow when you will need it 36 come and see for the rest down below when the brow gets revealed you find insolence this is what is written and you did have a harlot's forehead you did refuse to be ashamed you're Mayah 33 but here in Eric Enpen when the forehead gets revealed love and good will are found there and all kinds of anger are silenced and subdued before it 37 from this brow. Below 400 courts of judgment illuminate which are the secret of Shakma and Bindatai and Malchut that are drawn from the left column of IMA to ZEIR and of which each is a hundred in number when this time of goodwill is revealed in the forehead of Eric and all get silenced in his presence this is what is said they sat in judgment also judgment is still Daniel 710 meaning it remains in place and the sentence is not carried out we have learned that no hairs exist at that location in the brow because it gets revealed the YUT escapes from air and does not get concealed like in the skull that is filled with hairs it gets revealed in order that the litigants should reflect and quiet down and the trials will not be carried out 38 we have learned that this forehead spreads out into 270,000 like candles that illuminate from the supernal Eden, Eden meaning Shakma we have learned that there is an Eden that illuminates to Eden the most supernal Eden which is the Concealed chakma of Eric Enpin does not get revealed but is superbly concealed meaning with the surrounding membrane of air it does not divide into paths as we have explained that is its illumination does not escape and that Eden below which is binded that return to chakma, namely Yisrael Saba and Tebuna, parts into 32 paths of chakma 39 through this Eden below binded divides into its paths to the 32 paths of chakma there is no one to grasp it except Zir Enpin nobody grasps it. Eden above nor its paths besides Eric Enpin this is what is written and Elohim understands its way and he knows its place EO 2823 Elohim understands its way refers to the Eden below meaning the chakma that is drawn from Yisrael Saba and Tebuna which Zir Enpin knows but no other but he bestows her to the Malchut and he knows its place refers to the Eden above which is concealed chakma of Eric Enpin that the Ancient of Days knows the most concealed of all IT does not bestow it. Below what is mentioned of Zeir Enpin that nobody knows it applies to him who wishes to receive Chakma from him he who wishes to receive it from Malchut may know IT section 8 the opening of the eyes Rabbi Shimon says that the eyes of the whitehead are different from other eyes and that they have no membrane cover and no eyelid because they never sleep everything that comes down on us with compassion has no cover over the eye we hear a description of the three whitenesses in the right eye and the three whitenesses in the left eye and how they illuminate rising and descending the eye of Eric Enpin is never closed and it consists of two eyes reconstituted into one he watches over everyone and keeps everyone safe Rabbi Shimon says that the righteous will see this eye of Eric Enpin in the future with the spirit of wisdom he tells how the hidden book reveals that everything gets illuminated from the ever attentive watch of the lower eye of Zir Enpin that Receives light from the eye above the eyes of Zir Enpin are not always open these eyes open upon some people in judgment if they are not righteous we learn that the name of the Attic is the most concealed of all and is only mentioned openly in the Torah in one place Rabbi Yehuda tells about the throne of Attic in 40 the eyes of the whitehead that is the keter of Eric Enpin that is called the skull are different from other eyes there is no membrane cover and no eyelid over the eye what is. The reason it is because it is written behold he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep tail in 1214 meaning he who keeps Israel above which is Zeir Enpin whom the eyes of Eric Enpin keep it is written your eyes are open your mayah 3219 without a membrane cover and we learn that everything that descends upon us with compassion has no cover on the eye and has no eyelid over the eye all the more so the eyes of the whitehead that needs none 41 Rabbi Shimon remarked to Rabbi. Abba what is this alluding to he replied to him to fish of the sea that have no eyelids or covering membranes they do not sleep and require no guard over their eyes because they are drawn with mercy all the more so the most ancient of all that requires no sentinel since he is the one that takes care of everything and all take their sustenance from him he does not sleep that is what is meant by behold he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep for it guards Israel above which is Zeir. And pen 42 it is written behold the eye of Hashem is upon those who fear him. Tehillim 3318 which means one eye it is written the eyes of Hashem they rove to and fro through the whole earth. Zechariah 410 which means two eyes he replies it is no contradiction here in Zir Enpen there are two eyes but here in Eric Enpen there is one eye in spite of all this there are two eyes that turn into one which is white within the white and the white is inclusive of all that is white 43 the Original whiteness illuminates a sense and a sense to look on that which is bounded in the bundle. We have learned that whiteness struck and lit three candles called glory, majesty, and joy, and they all glow in perfect happiness. 44. The second whiteness that is the right column of the right eye of Eric Enpin illuminates from the aspect of the right that is within it. It ascends from the aspect of the left which illuminates in it from below upward, and its light descends from above to below in the aspect of the central column. It stamps and produces three other candles called Netzach, Chesed, and Tiferet which glow in perfect happiness as mentioned above in the previous paragraph. 45. The third whiteness that is the central column of the right eye of Eric Enpin also illuminates with the three illuminations of the three columns. It glows and radiates light from the aspect of the right descends through the aspect of the central column and ascends through the aspect of the illumination. Of the left that returns to the right as mentioned above it exits the cover of the brain meaning to say that it emits an illumination from the concealed brain that includes the first three spirot it stamps the center candle in the seventh meaning that it unites with the central column of banda that is referred to as the seventh of which the central column is to add through this it brings out of banda the inclusion of the three first spirot it creates a path to illuminate to the lower brain zeir enpin and all candles below in zeir enpin glow rabbi shimon said it is beautiful may the ancient of days open his eyes over you when you need him thus he explained the three aspects of the eye in the right eye of eric enpin which each one of them illuminates in three columns 46 after explaining the three whites of the right eye he continues to explain the three whites in the left eye of eric enpin he says we have learned white is within white and that the left column returned to the White since it came to the white and the right as mentioned the white includes all that is white which is the central column that includes right and left that are white and white he explains the first white which is the left of the left eye that returned to the white shines from the illumination of the right ascends from the left illumination and descends downward from the illumination of the central column to the three candles on the left side which are Gurahat and Yezid as mentioned they glow and they bathe in this white as someone who bathes his body with good perfumes and pleasant fragrances to clean what he went through before 47 following the explanation of the aspect of the left column in the left eye of Eric Enpin he explains the second white it is the aspect of the right which is in the left eye of Eric Enpin it descends and ascends and illuminates that is in the illuminations of the three columns as mentioned to the three candles of the right side which are Jesus Tiferet and Netzach as mentioned they glow and bathe in the white of the right eye for they were contained in it in accordance with the secret meaning of white within white as mentioned as one that bathes himself in fine perfumes and fragrances over what he had prior to that that is in the period of broken vessels as mentioned you must not insist that it pertains to the aspect of the right so why should it wash in the white of the right eye in the secret of white within white because even the right column of the left eye was during the period of the breaking of the vessels under the domination of the left now it needs to be sweetened in the white of the right eye of Eric Enpin 48 after he finished explaining the two whites which are the two columns right and left in the left eye and Eric Enpin he now explains the third white the central column in the left eye of Eric Enpin it illuminates rising and descending in the same manner as that of the illumination of it. Three columns as mentioned above through IT white light emanates which is the chesedim from the innermost part of the brain that is from the concealed chakma of E
51. We have learned that there is no light to this lower eye of Zeir Anpin to wash away the redness and blackness except when it sees the white light of the upper eye of Eric Anpin which is referred to as the good eye. No one knows when this upper holy eye of Eric Anpin illuminates and bathes the lower eye of Zeir Anpin except for him. 52. The righteous and the most meritorious will see in the future this eye of Eric Anpin with the spirit of wisdom. This is what is written for they shall see. I to I Yeshaya 528. When will this happen? When Hashem returning to Zion of it, it is further written that you Hashem are seen. I to I Bimidbar 1414. If not for the uppermost good eye of Eric Anpin that is ever attentive and bathes the lower eye of Zeir Anpin, the universe could not exist even for a moment. 53. We have learned in the hidden book that everything gets illuminated from the ever attentive watch of the lower eye when the light of the above eye is attentive to it and it Light of the above eye enters the lower eye of Zeir Anpin. This is what is written that you Hashem are seen. I to I 54. It is written, Behold, the eye of Hashem is upon those who fear him. Tehillim 3318. And it is also written, The eyes of Hashem they robe to and fro through the whole earth. Zachariah 410. Meaning, if they merit, the eye of Hashem is upon those who fear him. That is the upper eye of Eric Anpin. If they have no merit, the eyes of Hashem they robe to and fro. That is the Lord. Eye of Zeir Anpin 55. We have learned that the reason Joseph merited that no evil eye would have any domination over him is because he gained the merit to be watched by the upper good eye of Eric Anpin. This is what it says. Joseph is a fruitful bow, a fruitful bow by well. Beersheet 4922. Meaning, why is he a fruitful bow? Because no evil eye was dominating him because of a well habayin. Meaning, to say the cause of the eye habayin of the high one of Eric Anpin that was watchful. Of him 56 it is written he that has a generous I shall be blessed what is the reason for he gives of his bread to the poor Mishlei 229 he further inquires what is the reason that it is referred to as one eye it did not say he that has generous eyes shall be blessed he responds come and see in the lower eye of Zeir Anpin there exists a right eye and a left eye there are two in two specific senses the right being Shesedim and the left being the illumination of Chakma however here in Eric Anpin there exists no left eye both are considered in one level everything being right the meaning of white within white therefore it is written as one eye generous I shall be blessed and not two because he who gives of his bread to the poor merits the blessing of the upper eye of Eric Anpin which is one eye 57 we have learned that this eye of Eric Anpin the ever attentive eye is always open always smiling always happy that is not the case below in Zeir Anpin that are Combined in red, black, and white in three colors, they are not continuously open since it has eyelids over the eyes that cover the eye. Therefore, it is written, Awake, why sleep you, Hashem? Tehillim 4424. Open Hashem your eyes and see two Melashim 1916, which means they are not always open. 58. When the eyes of Zeir Anpin opened, there were some upon whom the eyes opened for good, and some that the eyes did not open for good. Woe for the one to whom the eyes opened, and the eyes blended with red. Which is the color of judgment. This red seems apparent against him and covers the eye who could be saved from it, meaning to say that whoever has no merit, the left illuminates upon him without the right. The secret meaning of the red shade during which time all harsh judgments are drawn from him. However, the ancient of days, meaning Eric Anpin, has a good eye that is white within white, and a white containing all whites praiseworthy is a lot of the person who has one of the whites watchful over. Him about this it is most certainly written he that has a generous I shall be blessed it is also written O house of Jacob come and let us continue to go in the light of Hashem Yeshayah 25 meaning we should walk under the supervision of the light of Hashem who is of a beneficent eye as mentioned 59 we have learned that the name of the attic that is Eric Anpin is the most concealed of all and is not mentioned openly in the Torah except for one place that Zir Anpin swore to Abraham as is written by myself have I sworn says Hashem Bershi 2216 that is the speech of Zir Anpin when swearing by the attic it is also written by Yishal Yisrael bless it 4820 meaning the Yisrael of above if so by Yishal Yisrael bless I as addressed to the attic that is Eric Anpin it is also written Yisrael in whom I will be glorified Yishal 493 he said this to Yisrael and we learned that attic of day said this to Zeir Anpin who is Yisrael above both are good since both. Explanations hold true 60 we have learned that it is written as I look thrones were placed and an ancient of days did sit Daniel 79 he asks what is the meaning of thrones were placed he told Rabbi Yehuda rise in your place and prepare this throne 61 Rabbi Yehuda said it is written his throne was fiery flames if it and Atticumen sits upon this throne what is the reason that he sits on a fiery throne we have learned if Atticumen would not have been sitting on this throne it universe would have no possibility of existence because of this throne when Atticumen sits on it this throne is subdued and whoever rides it reigns during the periods that he leaves this throne and sits on another throne the first throne gets discarded since dominion resides only in the throne upon which Atticumen rides Rabbi Shimon told Rabbi Yehuda let your path be ready and let the illumination of Atticumen enter you section 9 the nose the section describes the nose of Eric Anpin from which emanates light the light of life of the resurrection of the dead and the spirit of life called forgiveness that blows to Zir Anpin Rabbi Yossi informs us that during the time of Messiah all people will know God and will not need to learn wisdom from one another during that time Atticumen will emanate a spirit that awakens the spirits below the holy spirit of Zir Anpin the spirits of everyone will consist of omniscience wisdom understanding counsel might knowledge and the fear of God we are told that the nose of Eric Anpin is life with all its aspects both in this world and in the world to come 62 come and see that it is written I Hashem the first and with the last I am he Yeshayah 414 he is everything meaning Eric Anpin he is concealed from all sides the nose what is it we have learned that the countenance is known through the nose since you can't give evidence on the facial shape unless through the nose 63 come and see what is it Difference between the attic and Zir Anpin attic is with the nose from one opening is bestowed life and from one opening is bestowed the life of the life meaning the light of life of the resurrection of the dead this nose is a window through which blows the spirit of life to Zir Anpin and it is called forgiveness since the spirit of life is the illumination of wisdom and from wisdom is the forgiveness of sins that is satisfaction to the spirit the perfuming of the spirit 64 since the spirit flows from these openings of the nose one spirit goes out to Zir Anpin to awaken him in the garden of Eden one spirit of life flows from it with which the offspring of David will be summoned to learn wisdom in the future because these two spirits of the nostrils are considered Yezid and Malchut therefore from the spirit of Yezid the right nostril there will be a flow to Zeir Anpin from the spirit of Malchut which is in the left nostril there will be a flow to the son of David the secret of Malchut from this left opening a spirit rises and flows out from a concealed brain which is Chakma of Eric Anpin which will dwell on Mashiach as is written and the spirit of Hashem shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of Hashem Yeshua 112 he inquires there are here in the verse four spirits since we say that one spirit exists which flows from the left of the opening of Eric Anpin what do we mean with the three rise Rabbi you see from your place and answer the 65 Rabbi you see stood up and said during the times of King Messiah one will not say teach me wisdom to the other since it is written and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor for they shall all know me from the least of them to the greatest of them your Mayah 3133 during that period Atticumen will awaken a spirit emanating from the brain that is concealed to all which is the Chakma of Eric Anpin when he Imparts all this the spirits below will awaken with him who are they the spirits below they are the holy spirit of Zir Anpin which are another six spirits like it it is written about them the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of Hashem which are the aspects of Shesed Bure Tifer and Netzach Hot and Yezid and Zeir Anpin 66 as we have learned it is written and Solomon sat on the throne of Hashem I Debrahim 2923 and it is also written the throne had six steps I Melashim 1019 corresponding to Shesed Bure Tifer and Netzach Hot and Yezid King Messiah will sit in the future on the throne of seven levels and six are corresponding to Shesed Bure Tifer and Netzach H
wind which is made from the four winds that are six as mentioned in the days of Messiah there will be no need to teach one another since their spirit will be comprised of all spirits and omniscience wisdom understanding counsel might knowledge and fear of passion because their spirit encompasses all spirits this is why it is written from the four spirits since there are four that are included in the seven higher levels as we have said we have learned that all are comprised within the spirit of the most ancient of all that is Eric Anpin that emanates from the concealed brain which is his chakma to the nostril of his nose which is the secret of his mouth. 69 come and see the difference between one nose and another nose meaning between the nose of Eric Anpin and the nose of Zeir Anpin it is that the nose of the ancient of days Eric Anpin is life with all its aspects both life on this world and life of the world to come as mentioned it is written of the nose of Zir Anpin. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth. 2 Shmuel 229 There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and from that smoke a fire is lit when the smoke later rises coals were kindled by it. David what is meant by, by it, it is by that smoke since from the smoke a fire gets lit as mentioned 70 we have learned that when Rabbi Hamna the elder wished to say his prayer he said to the nose master I pray the nose master I beseech meaning to Eric Anpin who has a Nose had showed him that is the meaning of what is written and for my praise will I refrain have etchetam for you. Yeshaya 489 This verse was said to the addict who is Eric Anpin whose nose is life in every aspect. 71 We have learned the length of the nose is such that 375 worlds get filled from that nose and all connect to Zir Anpin that is the praise of the construction of the nose. All the constructions of the ancient of days are seen yet are not seen they are seen to those who sit on it. Seat of judgment but not seen to everyone. Section 10 The 13 corrections of the beard Rabbi Shimon tells what he learned in the hidden book about the most hidden and concealed precious supreme beard of Eric Anpin that beard is a universal faith within which flow 13 springs he describes the 13 corrections of the beard the 13 corrections that depend on the precious beard are available in the universe in the seventh month during the ten days of Repentance 72 Rabbi Shimon began to say woe to the person that extends his hand to the precious supreme beard of the holy old man who is Eric Anpin and is hidden and concealed from all the beard of that praise the beard concealed and most precious of any of his constructions of Eric Anpin the beard that I has not known to the higher and lower ones the beard that is the praise of all praises the beard which could be neither approached nor seen by any prophet or holy man the beard that hangs by its hair to the center of the heart is white as snow most precious of all most concealed of anything concealed the faith of universal faith 73 we have learned in the hidden book that that beard which is the universal faith starts underneath his ears and descends down around the holy mouth it lowers and proceeds upward to cover with offering of fine fragrance the white and the precious meaning it covers the skin of the face in Eric Anpin which is white and at the same time lowers and Covers up to the center of the heart. This is the precious beard, the perfect faith within which flow 13 springs that stream forth from the goodly anointing oil in 13 corrections. It is established 74. The first correction of the 13 constructions of the beard. The hairs are formed above and originate from that style of the hair on the head that ascends in form above his ears and descends in front of the opening of the ears with one strand in good measure to the beginning of the mouth. The explanation follows 75. The second correction. The hair gets shaped from one top of the mouth to the other top end of the mouth in equal manner. 76. The third correction from underneath the center of the nose below the two openings of the nose. One path follows out the hair, cease from that path, and it is full of hair on both sides of this path in perfect shape surrounding this path. 77. The fourth correction. The hair underneath the mouth from one point to the other point. Forms in a harmoniously perfect shape that is the one called the beard on the pointed end of the chin 78 the fifth correction underneath the mouth goes forth another path counterbalancing in conformity the upper path under the nose those two paths are distinguished on both sides of the mouth the upper path above the mouth and the lower path underneath the mouth 79 the sixth correction the hairs get shaped upwards and go forth from the lower to the upper point of the mouth and cover the precious offering of fine fragrances to the top of the mouth above the hair descends from there to the starting point of the lower opening below the mouth 80 the seventh correction the hairs stop from growing and two parts of the faces are visible that is the right face and the left face without the hair with an offering of good and pleasant smells good and pleasing in appearance the universe exists because of them and this is what is written in the light of the king's countenances Life Michelet 1615 81 the eighth correction one strand of hair goes around the beard and hangs in balance to the center 82 the ninth correction the hair is roused and the beard gets blended with the hairs that hang in the throat and are balanced meaning in equal measure and do not extrude from one another 83 the tenth correction the hair descends under the beard and covers the throat that is under the beard 84 the eleventh correction no hair grows out of another hair and all are measured in precise perfect measure 85 the twelfth correction no hair hangs over the mouth and the mouth opening is clear of all hair from all the sides and all around it the hair looks nice 86 the thirteenth correction the hair hangs underneath the beard from each side meaning the whole area of the hair under the back of the beard with a pleasing glory a handsome glory covering to the center of the heart so the fragrant offering is not seen by anyone save this beautifully white Face that bestows life to the universe and shows joy to Zir Anpin 87 with these 13 corrections flow forth 13 springs of anointing oil which reach all those below they illuminate from this oil and anoint with that oil that is comprised of these 13 sets with these 13 corrections the concealed glorious beard of the most ancient one becomes distinguished that is Eric Anpin from the two precious circles of his face the face of Zir Anpin brightens up and every bulbous ornament and flower meaning all various steps that exist below brighten and glow from that light above these 13 corrections occur in the beard and with the perfection of the beard through its shapes man is called faithful since everyone who sees his beard ascribes faith to him 88 we have learned in the concealed book these 13 corrections that depend on the precious beard are available in the universe in the seventh month that is in the ten days of repentance and open up by the 13 gates of mercy whoever extends his hand to swear in his beard it is as if he swears in the 13 corrections of the beard that applies for Eric Anpin which comprises the 13 corrections of the beard how many in Zir Anpin how many corrections exist in his beard Rabbi Shimon told Rabbi Yitzhak stand up in your place and trim the forms of the holy king Eric Anpin how did they get established section 11 the first correction Rabbi Yitzhak draws a distinction between the rough hairs and the smooth hairs the latter of which draw chakma to the brain of Zir Anpin he says that hairs must not bond to neighboring hairs and that hair on the head must be long so that chakma can enter through the hair to the spinal cord that gets nourishment from the brain we hear that all the hairs of the hair and beard of Eric Anpin are white as snow while the beard of Zir Anpin is black 13 measures of mercy stem from the ancient holy one and Corresponding to these there are 13 measures in Zir Anpin we learned that if the 13 corrections of the beard of Eric Anpin had not existed neither the upper grades nor the lower grades would exist children longevity and sustenance depend on those corrections 89 Rabbi Yitzhak stood up and opened the discussion saying who is El like you who pardons iniquity he will again have compassion upon us you will show truth to Jacob Mitchell 718 to 20 we have learned that 13 measures appear here in this scriptural verse all emanate from the 13 springs of the anointing oil of the 13 corrections of the holy beard of the most ancient one the concealed of all that is concealed Eric Anpin we have learned that the beard shapes are hidden and veiled concealed yet not concealed covered and not covered known through its shapes aware but not clearly meaning to say he is revealed and known to those worthy of him to those who are not worthy of him he is hidden and not no 90 we have already learned the first principle that every single hair however minute and insignificant does not bond to its neighboring hair the fine hairs of the beard begin to form according to the form of the hair in the head meaning they begin at the sides of the head 91 here we have to scrutinize to see whether all the minute hairs of the head and the minute hairs of the glorious supreme beard are all included in one hair meaning that they are of one level and flow from one root from the membrane of air as mentioned above if so why are these hairs of the head long and these hairs of the beard not so long why are the fine hairs of the beard not very long but rough and those of the head are not so rough but rather smooth 92 he answers all the hairs of the head and beard are in measure each according to its particular aspect those of the head are long to the shoulders to reach the
After drawing one from the other, meaning after Chakma of Zeir Anpin has received from the concealed brain, it is written she utters her voice since it is one Chakma Chakma of Zeir Anpin 94 because the Chakma is drawn from the brain of Eric Anpin to the brain of Zeir Anpin through these strands of hair of the head here. They are not rough. What is the reason? It is because if they would have been rough, the Chakma could not be drawn through them to the brain of Zeir Anpin. This is the reason that Chakma does not emanate from a person who is harsh and an angry character, as it is written the words of wise men heard in quiet Kahilat 917. We learn from here that wisdom does not settle on he whose head hair is rough 95. Therefore, the hair on the head is long to be of use for everybody. What is for everybody that is so that Chakma should enter through the hair to the spinal cord that gets nourishment from the brain. Therefore, they are long to the top of the shoulder. Since there is a location of the spinal cord, therefore the hair of the head does not hang over the hair of the beard. Since the hairs of the head hang and rise above the ear to the back of the head, they do not hang on the beard. Since they must not be blended the ones with the other, since each one follows its own path. Ninety six. We have learned that all hairs, either of the head or of the beard of Eric Anpin, are white as snow. We have learned that those of the beard are coarse. What is the reason? It is because they are the strongest of the strong. In order to lower to the ones below these thirteen measures of the thirteen corrections of the beard of the most ancient one of all, that is Eric Anpin. Those thirteen measures originate from the front of the ears. These thirteen measures are concealed, so they do not blend with others. With the thirteen measures of Z E I R Anpin ninety seven. If you say that there are no others like them, it is not so. We have learned that the thirteen measures of mercy stem. From the ancient holy one who is Elihu, Misha 718 is one who pardons iniquity if it is two and forgives the transgressions if it is three of the remnant of his heritage if it is four he does not maintain his anger forever if it is five because he delights in mercy if it is six he again will have compassion upon us if it 19 is seven he will suppress our iniquities if it is eight and you will cause all their sins into the depths of the sea if it is nine you will show truth to Jacob if it 20 is 10 loyal love to Abraham if it is 11 as you have sworn to our fathers if it is 12 and from days of old if it is 13 corresponding to these there are 13 measures in Zeir Anpin which are El merciful and gracious slow to anger Shema 346 which are below in Zeir Anpin 98 you may wonder why Moses did not say all these 13 measures of the above in Eric Anpin which are who is Elihu but said rather they El merciful and gracious which are the thirteen measures of Zeir Anpin he answers it is because Moses required only the place where judgment was existing which is Zeir Anpin and where judgment exists one must not speak of this the thirteen measures of Eric Anpin Moses said that only when the children of Israel were sinful and judgment was impending over them therefore Moses did not say the thirteen measures of mercy only in the place where judgment was dwelling meaning in Zeir Anpin however for the place where it is the order a praise of the thirteen measures to the ancient of days meaning who is El like you the prophet sets them in order ninety nine these thirteen corrections of the holy upper beard of Eric Anpin are the most hidden of the concealed and strong so as to break and subdue all judgmental verdicts he who saw the beard of the uppermost holy the most hidden of the concealed must not be embarrassed by it due to that all its hairs are coarse and strong in their shapes one hundred you might save so the hairs Below of Zeir Anpin are black, why then were these not like those of Eric Anpin which are white because we have learned that it is written his locks are wavy and black as a raven. Sure Hasherim 511 it is also written and the hair of whose head was like the pure wool. Daniel 79 meaning white the scriptures seem to contradict each other he replies that is no problem where he says like the pure wool he refers to the supernal beard of Eric Anpin and where he says black as a raven he refers to the beard below in Zeir Anpin. Thus when the Torah was given to the children of Israel it was conveyed in black fire over white fire 100 b the essence of it is that these hairs are from the brain flowing to the lower brain of Zeir Anpin they are above the hair of the beard and the beard is separate and the hairs of the head are separate 100 and one the first correction of the beard hair is the correction that starts at the top of the head hair meaning at the sides of the head that are the Beginning of the head hair from bottom upwards, which is the secret of their malchute, we have learned that all the corrections of the beard are only affected through the brain in the head here by the first correction. He does not explain it that way since he says that it is in the sides of the head because it is not caused from the head brain, but rather from the sides of the head. The concealed brain of Eric Anpin begins to affect from the second correction onwards and not on the first correction, which is the root of the beard hair prior to the sweetening of malchute in the measure of compassion, as has been explained. Therefore, the first correction is such that it descends from the top of the head hair and not from the concealed brain. 102 from the composition of this beard, everything that is in the head becomes known that is the thousand world sealed with the pure seal, the seal that is composed of all seals, that is the secret of the concealed wisdom in the head of Eric Anpin. 103 The length of each hair that descends in front of the ears is not long meaning to say that the chakma alluded to as length becomes revealed there and the hairs do not cleave to each other the hairs are short and do not descend downward when they are drawn these hairs flow and hang upward 104 at the start of the first correction there are 31 groups of hair that are even extending to the top of the mouth and 390 strands are contained in each individual group 105 he explains it matters in the general sense of the correction and goes on to say the 31 locks that are equally even which are in the first correction are coarse from the illumination of malchute of the measure of judgment so as to subordinate the judgments below they are of the numerical value of L what is the meaning of L I T I S a mighty L capable of subduing everything in every lock of the aspect of its entirety there is a division into 31 mighty dominating worlds to subdue the verdicts they then spread out 31 on the side and 31 on the side of the face and each individual world of it divides to a thousand worlds of desiring the great delight all this is concealed at the top of the beard that is contains harsh judgment from the malchute of the measure of judgment all are contained in this name l and despite all this this name l is submissive to the compassionate mercy of Atticum and it is contained and spread in it 106 he asks why does the first correction extend under the ears to the mouth he replies it is because it is written sat in judgment and the books Daniel 710 what is the meaning of sat in judgment meaning that judgment sits in its position and does not reign this is what is written wonderful counselor mighty al 95 meaning l who is mighty which is alluded to in the 31 locks of hair as mentioned above he is filled with the aroma of the holy beard of Atticum and the secret of this is written who is l like you and refers to Atticum into the first Correction of the most holy beard 107 the first world which extends from this first correction dominates and descends and ascends to a thousand of thousands and ten thousand of tens of thousands of those which yields who hold to it through the measure of a great ring 108 the second world emerging from this formation is dominant and leaves to descend below it rises to 57,000 levels of the wailing ones which hold to it so as to surrender to the white part of the back of its neck meaning in the flesh of the back of the neck 109 the third world emerging from this correction dominates and descends downward and rises to 96,000 lamenting ones they hold to it via the concealed candle that is in malchute of the attribute of judgment of the first correction which in itself was stored the head of the attic from this correction all become subdued and are filled with the fragrant bitterness of the tears that are firmly established in the great sea 110 who saw this correction of the holy beard the supernal the precious and did not become embarrassed by it who saw the glory of the locks of the hair hanging from this old one who is sitting adorned with decorations that are the thirteen corrections of the beard referred to as decorations these are the decorations of all decorations since the beard corrections of Zeir Anpin are drawn from the beard corrections of Eric Anpin they are the decorations of all decorations they are decorations that were not contained in the decorations of Zeir Anpin meaning to say they do not descend to be dressed in them they are decorations unlike the rest of the decorations of Zeir Anpin because the decorations of Eric Anpin are like clean wool and the decorations of Zeir Anpin are black like a raven they are the decorations to which the lower decorations of Zeir Anpin hold because the beard corrections of Zeir Anpin receive from the thirteen corrections of the beard in Eric Anpin that is why these corrections were Established so the lower corrections of Zeir Anpin would be able to hold to them 111 the corrections were established since it is
Beard of the Lord High Priest The beard of the High Priest of Zeir Anpin was established with eight corrections and together with the Malchut that contains them they are nine consequently there are eight corrections to the High Priest when oil runs down on his beard that is the eight priestly garments this is what is written it is like the precious ointment upon the head running down upon the beard Tehillim 1332 114 how do we know that the High Priest below coincides with the High Priest above since it is written for brothers to dwell together live also in unity but one also comes to add the High Priest below as long as the High Priest below serves in the High Priesthood it is as if the High Priest above performs in the High Priesthood 115 that is one of the corrections of the beard of the Attic the ancient that is most concealed of all Rabbi Shimon said to him it is fitting for you Rabbi it's hot to see the honor of the corrections of the beard and it Countenance of Atticum and Attic of Attic praiseworthy is your lot and praiseworthy is my part with you in the world to come. Section 12 The second correction Rabbi Shizkiah leads us into the discussion of the second correction saying that it means who pardons iniquity. Rabbi Shimon's face is shining like the sun and he says that Moses was not aware when his face was glowing. Rabbi Shimon tells the friends that each of their explanations of the thirteen corrections gets established and concealed among the corrections of the sanctified beard above it now appears that a different rabbi must explain each different correction 116 the second correction the hair gets shaped from the top of the mouth on one side to the other side evenly 117 get up rabbi shizkiah take your position and honor the dearness of this correction of the holy beard rabbi shizkiah stood up and opened the discussion saying i am my beloved and his desire is towards me sure hasherim 711 meaning what is the cause that i am my beloved it is because of his longing for me 118 i was watching and behold i noticed the precious light of the upper candle by the lighting to 325 directions a dark one was bathing in that light like someone who bathes in a deep river which is by whose waters divide and flow to light up every direction it passes over they illuminate the dark one to sweeten all his judgments that he had to go through until this point that light surfaces at the shore of the uppermost deep sea where all goodly and precious openings open up at that door 119 I asked them the explanation of the things I have seen they said you saw who pardons iniquity which is 718 he said that is the second correction he said Rabbi Shimon said now the world is firmly established meaning the Malchut that is referred to as the world is firmly established and sweetened with banna through this correction blessed are you Rabbi Shizkiah to the attic of Atikin. 120 Rabbi Shimon said to the friends all the luminaries that is you the friends that attend here to be established with this holy ring that is with the 13 beard corrections listen I take upon myself as evidence the uppermost heavens and the uppermost holy earth that is the secret of the new heavens and the new earth that are produced through the secrets of the Torah I now see what no human has seen from the day that Moses ascended Mount Sinai for the second time since I perceived my face. To be illuminating like the powerful sun that is destined to heal the world in the future it is written but to you who fear my name the sun of righteousness shall arise with healing in its wings Malachi 320 moreover I am aware that my face is illuminating but Moses was not aware that the skin on his face was aglow as written Moses knew not that the skin of his face shone Shema 3429 121 moreover I see with my eyes 13 measures engraved in front of me and illuminating like candles when each one of them gets explained by you it gets uplifted and corrected in accordance with the way you explained it gets adorned and is hidden in the mysteries of the beard corrections above all the other ones that you have not explained yet remain and await the order of your explanation as each of the corrections gets your defining elaboration that correction shines and gets adorned and takes a royal position among his legions when the definition is completed that correction rises and gets Adorned with the holy decoration and gets established and concealed in a position among the corrections of the sanctified beard above so it follows with each one that gets defined by you make haste sacred friends because with such support the world will not exist until King Messiah comes 122 get up Rabbi Shizkiah for a second time and honor the third correction of the sanctified beard we have learned that prior to Rabbi Shizkiah's rise a voice declared one messenger does not act on two missions Rabbi Shimon was excited and commented most certainly each individual is on its own level that is to say each one has a limit that prevents him from establishing what is above his conception my son Rabbi Lazar and Rabbi Abba and myself we have achieved the highest perfection meaning that since they were in a degree of Chakma and that they were able to restore holy what was lacking in each individual section 13 the third correction Rabbi Shia. Opens by telling the difference between speaking and saying and we hear that speaking calls for both the raising of the voice and a proclamation of words he points out several places where speaking is used and says that Moses was not even fearful when Hashem spoke to him Rabbi Shia tells us that the first and second corrections of the beard came to bring about the third one the forgiveness of transgressions 123 get up Rabbi Shia Rabbi Shia rose he opened the discussion with the verse then said I Adonai Elohim behold I cannot speak for I am a child Yermeah 16 he asks did Jeremiah not know how to speak for many words emitted from his mouth before he said this so he said a falsehood for it is written behold I cannot speak he replies heaven forbid that he said something like that but we have learned what the difference is between speaking and saying saying does not require a raising of the voice but speaking calls for a raising of voice and a proclamation of words 124 it is written and Elohim spoke all these words saying Shema 201 we have learned that the whole world heard that speech and the universe trembled therefore it says speak and is not written said here too it says behold I cannot speak to declare to the world and reprimand them with the Holy Spirit 125 he asks if so here it is written and Hashem spoke to Moses saying Shema 610 why did Jeremiah say behold I cannot speak he responds is there anyone with such high degree of prophecy as Moses since no human deserved like him to hear a speech in a form of declaration he was not fearful or trembling either while other prophets were shaken even in the form of saying and were filled with fear 126 so we have learned that the first correction of the beard and the second correction came to bring about the third correction as is written Loel does all these things twice or three times with a manio 3329 126 be the third correction is from the center under the Nose below the two nostrils a path emerges where the hairs do not grow on that path what is the cause of the interruption it is because this path was devised to carry through it the spirit of Chakma of the nose therefore this root is situated below the openings of the nose and hairs do not grow there it is written and forgives lip passes the transgression which is 718 in order to give passage up to the holy mouth so he should say I have forgiven we have learned that numerous trial courts await that particular mouth of Eric Enpin that he should say I have forgiven it does not reveal itself to any of them because it is exalted and adorned known and not known 126 we have learned in the hidden book the meaning of what is written especially it's sinful offense if they deserve so the sin is passed over but if they don't merit it it stays a sin that occurs only in Zeir Enpin but not in Eric Enpin who is entirely compassionate 127 he asks what is the difference between this and this between Eric Enpin and Zeir Enpin he replies in Zer Enpin when that path descends underneath the nostrils it says and Hashem was wrathful over them and he went away Bimit bar 129 this means that a spirit of anger exudes from the nostrils and whoever happens in the way goes on and disappears this is what is written the spirit of Hashem blew and he is no longer here Yeshayah 407 but in Eric Enpin it says and he passes over an offense Misha 718 and it is also written in a spirit passed and purified the Mio 3721 we have learned in this path here that it is written passes over an offense and there and Hashem passed to strike Egypt Shemot 1223 128 praised is a lot of the one who deserves to receive from this correction this is the third correction of the most holy and honored beard of the most ancient of ancients Rabbi Shimon said certainly the holy one blessed be he will continue to benefit you and will be happy to shield you 129 we have learned that what is written I will greatly rejoice in Hashem Yeshayah 6110 is said about Atticum and since he is the joy of everything we have learned that when this path of the beard of Atticum is revealed the prosecutors and all those who lament and wail are quieted and silenced there exists no one to say anything bad because this path is revealed so as to correct hence whoever grasps someone and cautions him to silence he impresses this path which is a sign of the holy attic. Section 14 the fourth correction the word remnant is used to explain this correction as in the remnants of Israel shall not do iniquity 
Eber 718 Rabbi Yossi Rose he opened the discussion saying happy is that people that is in such a case happy is that people whose Elohim is Hashem Tehillim 14,415 he asks happy is that people that is in such a case what is the meaning of in such a case had Shakasha he responds it is as you say then the king's wrath was pacified had Shakasha Esther 710 which means that he quieted down from his anger 132 another explanation is that he was pacified by his anger meaning to say that because of his wrath he quieted down this is what is written and if you deal thus had with me kill me I pray you give it bar 1115 thus we find that happy is that people that is in such a case is judgment within judgment and happy is that people whose Elohim is Hashem is mercy within compassion 133 another explanation Shakasha is the general term of all the names by which the Holy One blessed quiets down by passing over the anger and producing calmness in Zir and when he comes down and passes over that anger of his to all those outside 134 we have learned that the upper path of the holy beard which passes down over the upper lip under the two nostrils of the nose of Attic and that path below in the middle of the hair of the lower lip are similar in everything the one above in the upper lip and the one below in the lower lip above the path is referred to as forgives lip passes the transgression which is 718 and below it is referred to as he does not maintain his anger lit knows forever we have learned that does not maintain means there is no place to sit there as the path above provides a route just for the spirit of Chakma from the nose to cross over it it is also so that below it just provides a route to cross over it the spirit of Chakma 135 we have learned that wherever a path is revealed in this attic who is concealed of all it benefits all levels below because the comprehensive meaning of revealing a path is that proper advice becomes available to produce benefits for everyone counsel becomes known to all the lower grades and how to draw mokin from it as it points to the removal of the two aspects of judgments mentioned above and the revelation of the first three sfarah whoever is covered and not exposed meaning the place is covered fully with hair and without a path it shows that there is no solution for how the mokin will become available to the lower grades there is no one there to comprehend except he alone and no other level below him just like in the supernal eden which is the secret of the concealed chakma in eric and then there exists no one to conceive it except the most ancient among the ancients himself about this it is written hashem how great are your works your thoughts are very deep tailim 926 that is he invents ideas by which the brains could be revealed to the lower grades rabbi shivan said let your deeds be established by the attic of Atikin for the world to come Section 16 The Sixth Correction Rabbi Yisa establishes this correction as God's promise that his faithful love Chisid shall never depart from us. He talks about the inner Chisid, the light of Neshama, and the external Chisid, the light of Rash, that true kindness of Adikimen does not apply during the life of the body but rather to the life of the Neshama. 136 The Sixth Correction The hair is shaped rising from below upward, meaning from under the lower lip by the bottom jaw to the top of the higher jaw. The offering of the pleasant fragrance, meaning the spread of hairs, covers from below the lower lip to the top of the mouth above to the upper lip, that is the upper jawbone, which is the secret of the second conception, so as to acquire a Neshama. Following conception, the hairs return again and descend to the top of the orifice of the lower passage of the mouth underneath the lower lip. This means that they reemerge to return to their fixed position in the lower jaw. This is the secret of the breadth of the beard that unfolds in the lower jaw from the edge of the jaw to the top of the upper lip and under the lower lip that is also called the side curl the corner of the beard 137 rise rabbi yesa and establish the sixth correction rabbi yesa rose and opened the discussion saying but my faithful love chisit shall not depart from you yeshaya 5410 it is also written but with everlasting faithful love let chisit of the world will i have mercy on you Ibedi. these two verses are contradictory to each other because one seems to say shall not depart indicating an infinite time period the other verse says chisit of the world which means it applies only to the days of the world which are 6000 years 138 he responds there is no problem since we have learned that there are various types of chisit there is an inner chisit which is the light of neshama and there is the external chisit the light of Rashi explains the inner chisit applies to the most ancient among the ancient ones as we said who is concealed on the side of the beard called the side curl the corner of the beard which is the sixth correction hence a man must not destroy the side because of this chisa this is within that is the secret of six ends of the soul of Adikim and referring to the priest below it is written they shall not make baldness on their head neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard vei 215 what is the reason it is in order not to destroy his paths meaning the corrections of the chisa of the ancient one since the priest represents that side that is the aspect of chisa 139 we have learned in the concealed book that the chisa must become abundant and rectified in any manner and not be trimmed meaning not to destroy the corner of the beard because it does not end from the world this is what is written but my chisa shall not depart from you which is the chisa of Adikim and which is drawn through the sixth Correction, but with Chisid of the world refers to the Chisid called Chisid of the world that is another Chisid of Zerenth and the aspect of Rash as is written the world is built by Chisid Tehillim 893 140 that Chisid of the most ancient of all ancient ones of the sixth correction is a true Chisid and that true kindness does not apply during the life of the body which is the aspect of Rash meaning Zeir and referred to as body it applies rather to the life of the Neshama because the sixth correction is six ends of greatness which is the secret of the life of Neshama therefore it is written because he delights in Chisid Misha 718 since that is the sixth correction of the precious beard of the most ancient of all ancient ones section 17 the seventh correction Rabbi Shimon tells us that this correction is like the apple tree among the trees of the wood and that from these apples life emanates to the world he talks about the light of it countenance of God and says that when it shines the universe gets blessed these apples in our and are always glowing and white and sending out light in 370 directions the seventh correction is referred to as he will again have compassion upon us 141 the seventh correction the hair split and two apples appear in the offering of the fragrance pleasant and beautiful in appearance meaning that both sides of the face which are clear of hairs emerge out of the hairs of the beard which are called an offering of fragrance they are the sources of this illumination of Chakma also called fragrance in the same sense as in the verse and his delight shall be also he shall smell in the fear of Hashem Yeshaya 113 142 Rabbi Shimon opened the discussion saying like the apple tree among the trees of the wood sure Hasherim 23 the holy one blessed be he is like this apple that is composed of three colors white red and green two apples include six colors and these two apples which are the secret of the two bare sides of the face clear of hair which are the seventh correction are comprised of all the previous six corrections that I mentioned for their sake this verse is fulfilled in the light of the king's countenance is life Michelet 1615 143 we have learned that from these apples life emanates to the world which is the secret of the illumination of Chakma they show happiness to Zer and Pen as is written Hashem make his face shine upon you Emid bar 625 and it is also written in the light of the king's countenance is life in the light of the king's countenance refers to the two apples of the fragrance offering as I mentioned Hashem make his face shine upon you means the external area of the face that is of Zeir and Pen which is outside of Eric and Pen because when it shines the universe gets blessed 144 we have learned that as long that these candles on the outside illuminate which are male and female the whole universe is blessed and no anger exist in the world if we find it so with the external ones it is all the more so with the two apples of Eric and Pen that constantly illuminate and are always rejoicing 145 we have learned that when these two apples are revealed Zir and Pen appears happy and all those candles below in Malchut are happy all those below are glowing and all the realms are rejoicing in total perfection all are happy and shining and there is no end to all kinds of benevolence all are satiated at once with abundance and all rejoice simultaneously 146 come and see the external face of Zeir and Pen there are times when they are glowing and times when they do not illuminate therefore it is written Hashem make his face shine upon you and also and cause his face to shine upon us Esilat Elim 672 the meaning here is that he does not always illuminate therefore we pray that he should shine upon you since it does not illuminate in Zeir and Pen except when the apples above of Eric and Pen are revealed. 147 We have learned that these apples in Eric and Pen which are concealed are always glowing and white light is sent to the 370 directions from them
Planet's Rabbi Shimon says that the holy thread on which all here depends is referred to as Mazel because all the holy of holies of holies depend upon this constellation and the Torah scroll everything is dependent on the planets all successes depend on Mazel including all worldly things children longevity and sustenance 148 the 8th correction a thread of hair circles the beard which hang evenly to the center of the heart rise my son laser and establish this correction 149 Rabbi. The laser rose and began to speak everything depends on Mazel the constellation even the scroll of the Torah within the sanctuary as we have explained in the hidden book now here we must observe is everything really dependent upon the constellation since we have learned that the scroll of the Torah is holy and its code is holy and the sanctuary is holy it is written and one cried to another and said holy 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 Yeshayah 630 we have holy three times and the Torah scroll corresponds to it. Because its receptacle is holy, the sanctuary is holy, and it is holy. The Torah was given in three grades of holiness: priests, Levites, and Yisrael. In three days, as is written, be ready by the third day. Shema 1915. The Sheshanah is also in three. The tablets, the ark, and the sanctuary, and it is all dependent on the Torah scroll. You say that the Torah scroll is dependent on the constellations, but behold, it is written, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Your one hundred and two. Whoever is so hallowed, should he be dependent on the birth of planets? One hundred and fifty. He responds, but this is the way I have explained it in the concealed book. This precious and holy thread on which all hair depends. That is the total upper surface area of the hair of the beard, circling the face like a string of hairs, is referred to as mazel. What is the explanation? It is because the holy of holies of the holies, meaning all the levels and bokin that are called holy of holies, depend upon this constellation because the Flow of this constellation is called the Holy of Holies and the Torah scroll. Although it is hallowed, the ten sanctifications do not apply to Zeir and meaning it does not have the first three Sfirot until it enters the sanctuary, which is Malchut. It is not perfected in the first three Sfirot save through its intercourse with Malchut. Once it enters the sanctuary, namely unites with Malchut, it is called holy with ten sanctifications. Similarly, Malchut is not considered a sanctuary except when the ten sanctifications are joined with it, meaning only when it is in unity with Zeir and Then there is in Malchut ten sanctifications. We have learned that everything is dependent on the planet since all the first three Sfirot in Zeir and and Malchut depend on the constellations, which is the precious and holy thread on which all hairs depend from which are received all these sanctifications. One hundred and fifty one. He inquires why is it referred to as Mazel? He responds, all successes depend upon it and it. Upper grades and lower grades receive success from it. It is therefore suspended that as it is hanging to the chest, all worldly things, the highest and the lowest, depend upon it. Since children, longevity and sustenance do not result from merits, but rather from mazel on which they depend. Even the Torah scroll in the sanctuary that is adorned with ten sanctifications is not accepted from the others. With all other sanctities and everything depends upon this correction. Whoever is aware of this correction, his iniquities are suppressed and subdued. This is what is written. He will suppress our iniquities. Mishnah 719. Rabbi Shimon told him, Blessed is my son to the holy of holies, the ancient of all mazel means successes. Since the verse wealth makes Mishlei 194, I translated into Aramaic as mazel makes section 19. The ninth correction. Rabbi Abba says that the hairs that get blended with the hanging hairs are referred to as depths of the sea since they emerge. From the cords of the brain and from this place all the complaints that demand justice for the sins of men are subdued 152 the ninth correction the hairs blend with the suspended hair and do not stick out in relation to one another rise rabbi Abba, rabbi Abba rose and said those hairs that get blended with the ones that are suspended are referred to as depths of the sea since they emerge from the cords of the brain from this place are thrown all the complaints that demand justice for the sins of men and they are subdued rabbi shimon said be blessed to add in section 20 the 10th and 11th corrections rabbi yehuda talks about the fear of hashem and says that the 10th correction is called you will show truth to jacob while the 11th is called loyal love to abraham 153 the 10th correction the hairs go down under the beard and cover over the throat under the beard rise rabbi yehuda rabbi yehuda rose and opened the discussion saying and they shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth for fear of Hashem. Yeshayah 219. For fear of Hashem, it is well known that whoever is on the outside in Zeir and is referred to as fear of Hashem and for the glory of his majesty. But these are the hairs of the throat underneath the beard which are referred to as the glory of his majesty. There are two corrections within them. The 10th correction called You will show truth to Jacob. Micah 720 and the 11th. Correction that no hair goes out more than the other hair, meaning that no hair's length is longer than its neighbors, but they are all equal in length. That is called loyal love to Abraham. Abit section 21. The 12th correction Rabbi Shimon explains to Rabbi Yehuda that the hairs around the mouth of Eric Enpin are cleared away so that the inhalation of Zer Enpin will not be interfered with as the breath comes from the uppermost holy mouth, the breath that comes. From the mouth of Eric Enpin splits up into 37,000 directions and clothes whoever is deserving of being clothed by it as you have sworn to our fathers 154 the 12th correction the hairs are not suspended over the mouth and the mouth is clear of any hair on all sides the hairs are tidy round about the mouth in order that there should be no inconvenience as it should be 155 he asks what does he mean by this inconvenience he replies that he means judgment because there is inconvenience. In the place of judgment he asks then are the hairs of the beard in Eric Enpin an inconvenience or are they judgment since everything in the beard seems to be in mercy he replies the reason why the mouth is cleared of hair is in order not to interfere with the inhalation of Zeir Enpin 156 we have learned from this uppermost holy mouth which I ask the holy of holies that the breath comes what is breath he replies it is the breath that is sent to rouse in him in Eric Enpin that is drawn from. The unknown head to his mouth and in which Zeir Enpin is dressed the breath blows from the mouth of Eric Enpin to the mouth of Zeir Enpin and Zeir Enpin becomes attired in it from this breath all below get clothed because they receive it through the mouth of Zeir Enpin when this breath exits from the mouth of Eric Enpin it splits up into 37,000 directions which is the numerical equivalent of Hebelit breath that alludes to the air exhaled from the mouth each one individually spreads to its place and whoever is deserving and is worthy to dress up in it gets clothed therefore no hair exists on the holy mouth of Eric Enpin because his breath emanates through there no other matter needs to be mixed up in it or approach it 157 this breath of the mouth is hidden from everything since it does not adhere above or below it is concealed within that which is the most concealed and unknown the one that was not established and had no correction therefore the breath that emanates from the one on the outside that is Zeir Enpin in which the true prophets were clothed is referred to as the mouth of Hashem however in the attic of attics Eric Enpin the mouth is not defined since there exists no one who could comprehend his spirit besides himself therefore his hairs are even around the mouth and the mouth itself is clear on all sides 158 the patriarchs trusted in this and being dressed in this breath that spreads to various directions in the place where all the hair is even. Around it it is through this that the breath blows from there to Zeir Enpin without any inconvenience as is written as you have sworn to our fathers Mishnah 720 that is the twelfth most holy correction because twelve boundaries above were lowered in succession from here in Shizid Bura and Tiferet of Zeir Enpin twelve boundaries below in Malchut and twelve boundaries to the twelve tribes of our fathers this is what is said as you have sworn to our fathers section. 22 The 13th correction Rabbi Shimon says that all the other corrections are included in this 13th one that finalizes and completes all the rest. He tells us that the corrections are called days of old ancient primordial days while the corrections that exist in Zer Enpin are called days of the world. Rabbi Shimon says that the time during which Atticumen will awaken with the corrections is referred to as one day in which the beard will be glorified and it alone will be present in the unfolding of all 13 corrections. Atticumen is known and not known hidden and not hidden but is known by the corrections that spread and flow down to illuminate 159. The 13th correction the hairs hang under the beard from both sides in fine honor and splendid dignity and cover to the navel that is the entire bottom area of the beard that is invisible to the eye. Nothing is apparent from the face of the fragrant
can benefit and have good luck. This is the perfect correction that finalizes and completes all the other corrections. This fulfills and completes everything because this is the secret of Malchut that perfects and completes all the Sfirat 162. We have learned that these corrections are called days of old ancient primordial days. Those corrections that exist in Zir and Ben are referred to as lit days of the world. Yeshaya 639. We have learned that these days of old are all prepared in the correction of the beard of the most ancient among the ancient, the most concealed among the concealed. This 13th correction includes them as we have said, and this day which is the 13th correction is not included among them but rather contains and comprises all of them. 163. The period during which Atticumen will awaken with the corrections above the beard is referred to as one day in which the beard will be glorified as written one particular day which shall be known as Hashem's. Zechariah 147 that particular day alone is more special than anything because it contains everything and is referred to by a specific name that is one day 164 we have learned that in a place where day exists there is night because there is no day without night during that period it will be a time of the beard's honor and it alone will be present it is called neither day nor night since it is only called day from our perspective and it is only called night from our perspective because this correction includes everything nothing is known or apparent of it before the time this is referred to as one day except that from it the anointing oil flows to the 13 aspects of the springs for those below that illuminate with that will 165 with these 13 corrections the most holy beard above is established and the corrections of this beard get prepared and flow down to illuminate in several directions it is not seen how they spread and come out because they are totally concealed and hidden from all there is no one who can designate a place for this attic in the unfolding of these corrections everything is included as we said that he is known and not known hidden and not hidden meaning to say that he is essentially unknown and hidden but by his spreading corrections he is known about this it is written I am Hashem that is my name and my glory will I not give to another Yeshayah 428 it is also written it is he who made us and we belong to him Tehillim 1003 and it is also written and an ancient of days did sit Daniel 79 meaning he stays in his place and there is no one who knows him he is sitting and is not found it is written I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made Tehillim 13914 section 23 when the veil is spread Rabbi Shimon describes the veil or curtain that is spread over the friends and says that the 13 corrections had been awaiting their explanations and afterwards they ascended to their places Causing great joy among the angels at the end of correction the rabbis will again say all these holy sayings in the world to come 166 Rabbi Shimon said to the friends when this veil that you see over us is spread I perceive that all corrections have entered within and brightened this area he explains and a curtain meaning a veil which is a candle of the holy one blessed be he is spread to the four pillars in the four directions 167 one pillar is situated from below upwards and a rake is in its hand a tool to clean the waste in that rake are four keys different from one another in every direction they lash onto the curtain and lower it from the top to the bottom and similarly to the second third and fourth pillars between one pillar and another are attached 18 stakes of support which are lit up with the candle that is engraved in that particular veil it is the same with all four directions 168 I saw these correction shapes shining on it and the words in our mouths Meaning the explanations of the corrections which we have expounded upon were waiting to be adorned and ascend each one to its proper place while those corrections were established in our mouths, meaning while we were explaining them since that way we gave them meaning so they were established above each one ascended each was adorned and established by the same meaningful correction that each one of us has established here by the mouth of each one of us during the time that each one of us opened his mouth to explain the particular correction that correction was awaiting the words that would come from your mouth following that it would continue upward to be adorned in its place 169 all the pillars meaning the angels that support the throne of Malchut from both sides were joyous since they heard and understood what they had not previously known and were listening attentively to your voice how many chariots were present here for your sake meaning the angels on whom the Malchut Rides praised are you for the world to come since all the words that were uttered from your mouths are holy words honest words that do not deviate right or left but are coming from the central column that contains them all 170 the holy one blessed be he is happy to hear and pays attention to these words until he finishes judging meaning until the end of correction because you will say for a second time all these holy sayings in the world to come about you it is written and the roof of your mouth like the best one causing the sleepers lips to murmur sure hasherim 710 what is the meaning of causing the sleepers lips to murmur it means that your lips will be speaking of Torah in his presence even in the world to come section 24 the formation of Zir and here we read about the corrections of Zir and is derived from those of Atticum and Rabbi Shimon talks about his corrections unfurling like the countenance of man since man encompasses Zir. And Ben and Malchut we are told how the most ancient of ancients designed the kings that did not endure and how he rejected them and stored them in hiding for a later period. This refers to the kings that reigned in the land of Edom the place where all judgments exist when the white head was formed it prepared all the corrections above and below all the worlds had been destroyed because man had not been established and the seven kings were unable to rise and take their place thus they ceased to exist. Rabbi Shimon says that anyone who descends from a higher level in which he first existed is considered to have died when the seven kings had the likeness of a man installed in them they were called by other names and endured 171 get ready and direct your minds to establish the corrections of Zir and Ben how he will be corrected and don the corrections of Atticum and Holy of Holies concealed of all concealed hidden from all it is now your duty to carry out and establish it splendidly. Beautiful and truthful judgment and to establish all the corrections thoroughly 172 the corrections of Zir and Ben were established through the corrections of Eric and Ben and his corrections unfurled from this side and this side meaning from right left and center like the countenance of man man is indicative of the central column that includes all three columns in order that the spirit of the concealed of all concealed that is Eric and Ben will reign in him so he will sit on the throne which is Malchut since it is written and upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness as the appearance of a man above upon it yet 126 the appearance of a man meaning like the face of a man that comprises all aspects since the three faces lion ox eagle are contained in man's countenance that is from the aspect of Malchut within him since man encompasses Zir and Ben and Malchut it is also the appearance of a man as it includes all the names because Zir and Ben is called Yud that includes all the names the appearance of a man in which are sealed all the worlds above and below since it is the secret meaning of the central column that seals all the realms in the aspect of the first three Sfirat of Malchut by diminishing the left column so it should not illuminate except from below upwards also the appearance of a man that he includes the secrets that were expressed and established prior to the world's creation meaning in the seven kings in the formless world even though they were destroyed and did not endure 173 we have learned in the hidden book that the most ancient of ancients which is the numerical value of 63 of the primordial man raised kings in the world of dots meaning that he erected them in an aspect of the second restriction which is the secret of the veil he designed kings meaning the aspect of their smallness and measured the size of kings that is the stature of their greatness but they did not endure he rejected them and stored them in hiding for a later period this is the meaning of what is written and these are kings that reigned in the land of Edom. Bershi 3631 in the land of Edom means the place where all judgments exist that is in the world of the dots none of them endured since it says by each one and drained Dandy David 174 until the whitehead that is the skull of Eric and the most ancient among the ancient was formed when it was formed it prepared all the corrections above and below from here we learn that unless a ruler of a nation was corrected first his nation could not be corrected when he gets corrected everyone gets corrected if he doesn't correct himself first the people in his nation are unable to be corrected 175 where do we have this from Atticum and as long as he did not get repaired then all those that need to be restored are not restored and all the worlds were destroyed that is the seven kings of the dots this is what is written and Bella the son of B reigned in. Edom Bershi 3632 reigned in Edom is a precious secret it is a place to which all judgments connect and from which all judgments impend 176 Bella the son of Beer we have learned that he is the source of the heaviest judicial decree through whom are enjoined and linked thousands of thousands of those who wail and lament and the name of his city was Dinhav Ibn what is the meaning of Dinhav it means literally give justice as he says the leech has two daughters crying give him H.A.B. give Mishle 3015 
It had endure 178 since this correction of man did not exist in them. The seven kings were unable to rise and take their place, so they ceased to exist. He asks, Could you imagine that they completely ceased to exist? Weren't all of them later included in the world of correction in man in Zerenpin? He replies, It simply means that they ceased and were severed from that correction that they had in dots until the arrival of man's correction in the world of correction when the countenance of that man arrived. They were all engraved in his form and returned to a different existence. Some of them became fragrant and some never became fragrant at all. 179. You might say that it is written anti which indicates that they completely ceased to exist. He replies, It is not so. Anyone that descends from a higher level in which he existed at first is considered as if he died, as it is written, The king of Egypt died. Shema 223, meaning that he was lowered from the previous level in which. He was standing, meaning he became leprous here too. As soon as they descended from the world of Atzala to the level of Bria, Yitzra, and Asiyah, it was considered as if they had died. As soon as the likeness of a man of the three columns was installed in them, they were called by other names. They became fragrant through him in endurance, and they endured in their position. 180 all were called different names than they had at first, except the one of whom it is written, and his wife's name was Meditable, daughter of Matri, daughter of Mizahabir. She 3639. That is the secret of the name of numerical value of 45 that renews the male and female referred to by Hadur and Meditable. Why was he not called by a different name? Because these Hadur and Meditable were not voided like the rest of the seven kings, because they were male and female. This is similar to the palm tree that does not bear fruit unless you have planted a male and female stock. Therefore, now that we found them to be male. And female, the term death was not mentioned in relation to them as with the rest they lived, but they were not completely secure until they acquired the likeness of a man. When they were finally established with a human countenance, they returned to exist in an alternate state and were established. Section 25 The Skull of Zer Enpin. Rabbi Shimon explains the process whereby Eric Enpin sent the spark and the fine fury that spread to create the skull of Zer Enpin. Thousands of worlds reside in the skull and dew drips into it from the white head from that dew which he shakes off his head. The dead will be restored to life. Those who awake to everlasting life will merit the white dew, and those who awake to shame and everlasting contempt will merit the dew that has a red hue. And we read about the illumination of the skull to both sides and how it spreads to his face when Zer Enpin observes the face of Eric Enpin and has compassion on the world his face. Becomes long like that of Eric Enpin, the illumination that spreads from Zir Enpin to those below requires that those below give dues to Atticum. And when they are counted in the census 181, we have learned that when it was the wish of the white head, the skull of Eric Enpin, to give glory to his honor, he restored and prepared and produced from the hard candle a spark which went up and spread into 370 directions. That spark is constant and purier begins to be discharged and roll forth it blue. At it so it was restored, a strong skull was released and spread to four directions 182 within fine purier. This is in the skull which is the secret of the right column. The spark was sucked, which is the left column, and became part of it in the right column. He asks, Could you imagine that it became part of it? Don't both have a need to remain? He replies, It only means that the left column was hidden in it, meaning that the left column's domination was hidden, which is the secret of it. Illumination of Chakma, it has no active influence and just the right column has exclusive domination that is the purier Shesedim, therefore the skull of Zeir Enpin was spread to its sides and the air within it, meaning the right column is the hidden of the concealed from Atticum and with the spirit that it was stored, meaning the Yud that it hid in the air 183 and the skull of Zeir Enpin fire unfurled from one direction and air from the other, purier is prevalent above it from one side. And pure fire is prevalent upon it from the other side for Chakma and Bana are called purier and pure fire and right of that I is called simply or left of that I is called simply fire, he asks what is the fire here aren't these four aspects of Abba and Ayame that have no judgments there and all are merely Shesedim, he replies it is not really composed of fire but the spark which is the left column that is comprised in the refined air as mentioned before illuminates to the 270 worlds. And judgment emerges from its side, therefore the skull is referred to as the hard skull 184 in the skull 9000 10,000 worlds reside which ride on it and depend on it into the skull drips dew from the white head meaning from the skull of Eric Enpin that is always filled from it from this dew which he shakes off from his head the dead will be restored to life 185 that dew is included in two aspects from the direction of the white head that is Eric Enpin firstly it is in essence white secondly it comprises all whites however when this dew resides on this head in Zir Enpin some redness is apparent like the crystal which is in essence white but where the red hue appears in the white color 186 therefore it is written and many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt Daniel 122 to everlasting life these are the ones that merit this white dew which comes from it Direction of Atticum and Eric Enpin, some to shame and everlasting contempt are those that deserve that red hue and the dew of Zir Enpin, all is included in that dew as is written for your dew is as the dew on herbs also of lights. Yeshea 2619 lights meaning two since the dew drips every day to the field of apple trees which is malchute and contains within it two lights similar to white and red 187 the skull of Zeir Enpin, the secret of encircling light illuminates on both sides too. This direction and to this direction which is refined air and refined fire from this refined air it spreads from his skull to his face 150 ten thousands realms therefore it is called Zir Enpin, which means a small face when the need arises meaning when the lower grades are worthy his face expands and becomes long during that period similar to Eric Enpin, the long face that is 370 ten thousand illuminations this is because he sees the face of the most ancient of the ancient and he has Compassion on the world that is the secret of his encircling light 188 from the skull in Zeir Enpin a path goes out which is one white that receives from the white of Eric Enpin the illumination of the first three Sphira to all those below they give dues that is the dew of the first three Sphira to Atticum and when they are numbered under the one corresponding to this is the Becca for every man Shema 3826 that is given below when census is taken this Becca is the due compensation of the first three Sphira which is given to Atticum in section 26 the three brains of Zir Enpin Rabbi Shimon describes the three chambers of the skull of Zir Enpin and the 32 paths of wisdom and the 50 gates of Bina that emanate and open from it the central chamber is that wherein Dad resides and thus knowledge fills the other chambers the three chambers permeate the entire body 189 three spaces exist in the inner space of the skull in which the brain resides and a thin membrane covers them, it is not a heavy and thick membrane as by Atticum, and therefore this brain permeates and illuminates to 32 pathways of Chakma as written and a river went out of Eden. Beersheet 210 190. We have further learned that in the three spaces of the skull resides the brain of Zeir Enpin, and from a spatial cavern a spring gushes forth to four directions from that particular brain that resides in this space. 32 pathways of the spirit of wisdom emanate 191 from the second space. Another spring bubbles up and spreads, which is the secret of the left column called Bina, and 50 gates open up from these 50 gates are united. The 50 days of the Torah, meaning on the 50th day of the count of the Omer, in which the Torah was given the 50 years of the Jubilee, 50,000 generations that the Holy One, blessed be, he is destined to refresh his spirit in them and dwell in 192 from the third space. Thousand of thousand chambers and foyers emanate within. Which dad rests and resides the space is situated between the other two spaces meaning it is the central space between the right and left cavern spaces all these chambers get replenished from both directions from right and left as is written and by knowledge dad are the chambers filled Michelet 244 these three spaces which are Chakmabana and dad permeate the whole body to this direction and to that direction the entire body is linked to them and the body is in all aspects part of them and they permeate and exist throughout the entire body section 27 the hair of the head of Zir Enpin we learn about the thousands of locks of black hair on the head of Zir Enpin that are entangled together and are strong some soft and some hard they hang in curls because they flow from great springs of the three divisions of the brains right and left light and darkness mercy and judgment all depend on these curls where the hairs part 613 have separate end Divide into the ways of the Torah commandments 193 we have learned that in the skull of the head of Zeir and thousands of
195. The hair locks are shaped and hang in wavy curls from one side to the other side of the skull. This is what is written. His locks are wavy. Abit 11. We have learned that they are situated hanging in curls because they flow forth from great springs of the three divisions of the brains from the spring of the first space in the skull that is chakma of Zeir and pinhairs are going forth continuously and are formed in curls suspended from several sources that flow forth from this space from the second space which is by of Zeir and pin 50 sources spring forth and the hairs carry on continuously from these sources and form waves that hang and blend in other locks from the third space go forth thousands of thousands of rooms and chambers and the hairs flow forth continuously from all therefore these locks are curls upon curls 196. All the transmissions that issue forth from these three spaces in the brain of the skull and all these threads of hair and all these locks hang over. And cover the sides of the ears, therefore it is written, O my Elohim, incline your ear and hear Daniel 918. In these curls depend right and left, light and darkness, mercy and judgment, all aspects of right and left depend on it in Zir Anpin, but not in the attic that is Eric Anpin 197. When the hairs part to right and left, a narrow path is apparent in the middle that grasps from this path of Atticum, which is the aspect of the central column in the hair that is comprised of the right and left, and does not turn neither to the right nor to the left from this path in Zeir Anpin 613. Paths separate that divide into the ways of the Torah commandments, that is to say that each individual commandment of the 613 precepts in the Torah is flowing forth from that central column, which is among the hairs in Zeir Anpin, as is written, all the paths of Hashem are mercy and truth to such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. Tehillim 2510 198. We have learned that in every individual here. Lock or grasp thousands of thousands of those who wail and lament and hang on to each lock of harsh hairs from those soft hairs flow forth the balancing ones, that is they follow the central column therefore there exists right and left in the hair section 28 the forehead of Zir and Rabbi Shimon says that the forehead of the skull is the supervision of providence and that it is not revealed except when it is necessary to scrutinize the deeds of the wicked then. The world at large is given to trial except when Adikim and wishes to have compassion on Israel because their prayers ascend to him when God is aroused to delight in the righteous the face of Adikim and shines in the face of Zir and the forehead of Eric and is revealed and shines upon the forehead of Zir and This is referred to as a period of grace when judgment is silenced and not executed in the countenance of man there are correspondences to the brow of Zir and were in the six. Sfirot are revealed when the forehead of Zir Anpin is revealed all is in judgment because the brow of Adam is also revealed 199 the forehead of the skull is the supervision of providence it is not revealed except for the period during which the wicked must be accounted and it is necessary to scrutinize their deeds we have learned that when the forehead of Zeir Anpin is revealed all the plaintiffs are aroused and the world at large is given to trial except for that particular period when the prayers of Israel ascend before Adikim and he wishes to have compassion on his children he reveals his forehead that is referred to as the will of all will and illuminates with the forehead of Zir Anpin and the judgment is soothed 200 and that forehead emerges one hair that spreads on it from the brain that produced 50 gates which is the brain within the second space in the skull in Zeir Anpin which is when that hair expands over the forehead of Zeir Anpin it becomes the Supervising forward to the wicked of the world since the source of trials that is in the first three spirot of Chakma exists in the left space of Zeir and that here expands from there and pulls the judgments to the forward to punish the wicked who want to feed from his first three spirot of those who are not ashamed of their deeds it is written and you did have a harlot's forward you did refuse to be ashamed. Yermeah 33 201 we have learned that hairs have no standing in that specific place in the brow because the forward gets revealed to those who sin with impudence during the period that the Holy One blessed be he is aroused to delight in the righteous the face of Adikim and shines in the face of Zir and the forward of Eric and is revealed and shines upon the forward of Zeir and it is referred to as a period of grace during each individual period that judgment hangs and the forward of Zir and is revealed the forward of the most ancient of all. Ancient ones is revealed and judgment is silenced and not executed. 202 We have learned that this brow expands in 200,000 red ones that are attached to it and are comprised within when the forehead of Zir Anpin is revealed. There is permission for all to destroy that is to do destruction when the forehead of the will of all wills is revealed and shines onto this forehead. All become silenced. 203 We have learned that 24 courts of judgment exist in this brow and all are referred to as Netzach with the adjoining letters meaning the transposition of the adjacent letters. It becomes Netzach lit for it since the none of Netzach exchanges with the MEM. There is a Netzach which is Netzachim or as we have learned Netzach Netzachim may exist in the forehead and expand from there into the body in certain places. 204 We have learned that it is written and also the eternal one Netzach of Israel will not lie nor change his mind for he is not a man that he should change his mind. Ishmuel 1529 we have explained the secret meaning all the netzach that spreads in the body that is in the six end sometimes makes judgment impend on the world to be judged by trial and then changes his mind and does not execute judgment if they repent what is the reason because he exists in a place referred to as Adam and is able to change his mind however if it is in a place referred to as head meaning the first three sfirot and that netzach is revealed it is not the time and place to be repentant what is the reason it is because he is not in the place called Adam which is the six end since the countenance of the face and nose which are six ends called Adam were not revealed just the brow itself is revealed that is the first three sfirot since the forehead and the face are the first three sfirot and the six ends in the place that no countenance of the face exists which is six ends that are in the forehead it is not considered Adam therefore for he is not a man Adam that he should change his mind as is the Netzach in other bodily corrections meaning the Netzach in the six ends that make up the human section 29 the eyes of Zir Anpin Rabbi Shimon describes the eyes of Zir Anpin and the black eyebrows to which are attached 700,000 observing supervisors he describes the eyelids and how when his eyes are open they see the watchful open eye of Eric Anpin he describes the red black and green hues in the eyes and how seven types of supervision emanate from those hues we hear the meaning of the different colors and how he watches Israel and the heathen nations during the opening of Zir Anpin's eyes there is an opening for goodness and an opening for evil but the eye of Atticum is totally tranquil and serene since there exists no judgment in it it is an eye of compassion Rabbi Shimon says that when the Holy of Holies wants to have mercy on Israel he sheds two tears to perfume the great ocean of the uppermost Chakma. So that the children of Israel can bathe in the spring that emanates from great wisdom 205 the eyes of the head in Zeir Anpin are different than other eyes meaning than the eyes of Eric Anpin the color in the eyebrows above the eyelids are colored in black hue and waves upon waves of hair hang they are in a set above the eyes at the top of the forehead and 700,000 observing supervisors are attached from the two eyebrows 206 in the cover over the eyes that is the eyelids low 400 of those who unite in the eyelids which are a cover the watchful supervision of Adikim and is upon them when the cover above over the eyes is removed it seems as if he is waking up from his sleep his eyes are open they see a watchful open eye of Eric Anpin and they bathe in one whiteness of that good eye this is what is written washed with milk Sher Hashirim 512 what is the meaning of with milk it is in the whiteness of the above the original in the whiteness of the eye in Eric Anpin. During that period the providence of compassion prevails 207 about this David prayed awake why sleep you Hashem arise Tehillim 4424 meaning that he should open his eyes and bathe them in that whiteness that is drawn from the eye in Eric Anpin during the entire period that his eyes do not open up all the plaintiffs pressure Israel and the rest of the nations dominate over them during the period that he will open his eyes they will get bathed in the whiteness of the beneficial eye and compassion is over Israel as the eye travels around and does its revenge among the rest of the nations this is what is written rouse yourself and awake Tehillim 3523 rouse yourself meaning to bathe in that whiteness and awake meaning to do vengeance to those who pressure Israel 208 when the eyes of Zeir Anpin open up they look pretty like doves in hues of red black and green white does not show except during a period when he looks with the beneficial eye of Eric Anpin and all these Hughes bathe in the whiteness of the eye in
Over all the truthful people to benefit the world for their sake, all the supervision of that whiteness is to benefit Israel. He supervises with the redness in the eye to revenge those who besiege Israel. This is what is written, and I have surely seen. Let's saw Shema 37 saw in order to benefit Israel, have seen in order to revenge for their sake those who besiege Israel. Therefore, it is written, Awake, why sleep you, Hashem, arise, cast us not off forever, awake and arise, or two. Supervisions, two openings of the eyes, two kinds of benefits, compassion and vengeance, 213. The first hue of the eye is red within red that comprises and covers all red, since all reds do not appear red in his presence. One black thread circles around this red and surrounds it. 214. The second hue in the eye is black, similar to the one stone that emerges from the depths in the great ocean. Once in a thousand years, when this stone emerges from the depths, it is accompanied by thunderous noise. And anger over the ocean, the noise of the ocean and its waves go forth and are heard by the great fish called Leviathan, and he emerges from the depths. The stone rolls in the angry sea and is expelled outwards. It is so black that all black are obscured by comparison, meaning that they are not recognized as black in comparison to it. So is the black in the eye, for it is a black that includes and conceals all the blacks, meaning that they are not recognizably black in comparison to it. A red thread circles around that black and surrounds it. 215. The third hue in the eye is the greenest of greens that comprises and conceals all the greens around that green. Two threads encircle a red thread to one side and a black thread to the other side, and they surround that green. 216. When the white in the eye is revealed and the eye is rolled and comes under the domination of the white, all these other hues do not exist at that moment. They descend downward and nothing is visible in the eyes. Besides that white hue that shines from the eyes of Adikim into the eyes of Zeir and Ben and all the grades below get illuminated from it. 217 There is not another hue visible except for that white alone. Therefore those of the red and the black which are twins have disappeared. That is to say they look similar to each other and there is not the distinction that the black is a different aspect from the red since the black color does not indicate about itself except that it has a double blemish but not about it being an aspect of Malchud rather than Bina. This is what is written. Your teeth are like a flock of shorn ewes which came up from the washing all of which bear twins. Sure Hashirim 42 What is the meaning of from the washing? This is from the bath of the uppermost holy eye of Eric and Ben that through this the white alone will be dominant. All of which bear twins they blend with each other and adhere to each other until they look like twins with no apparent. Differentiation between them it is written your teeth are like a flock of shorn use head kits of o, that seems to indicate that there is a measure head kits by an individual distinction to each one of them yet you say all of which bear twins which indicates that there is no distinction the explanation is that the verse comes to tell us that the whiteness in the teeth is like the whiteness in the eyes during the period when they get bathed in the whiteness of the supernal eye which is then referred to as a flock of shorn use it does not mean that there is a measure and distinction between each u 218 the righteous are destined to know and perceive this light the white in the eye in the spirit of wisdom as it says for they shall see i to i 528 namely the illumination of the white of the eye of eric and ben in the eye of zeir and ben when will this happen when hashem returning to zion but it is written that you hashem are seen i to i bimid bar 1414 this is when the opening of the eyes is for the good 219 there is an opening of eyes for the good and an opening of eyes for the bad meaning to say that during the opening of the eyes in zeir and ben there is an opening on one side for goodness and an opening on one side for evil it is written open your eyes and see our desolations daniel 918 so we find existing here an opening of eyes this is for the good and for the bad it is written your eyes shall see jerusalem a quiet habitation attend that shall never be taken down its picks shall not be removed yeshaya 3320 we find here an opening of eyes for good and for bad because they do not happen one without the other 220 we have learned this in the hidden book what is the meaning of your eyes shall see jerusalem a quiet habitation is then jerusalem a quiet habitation isn't it written that righteousness lodged in it yeshaya 121 that is the judgments that are referred to as righteousness and a place where righteousness is residing is neither tranquil nor quiet he replies just as your eyes shall see jerusalem a quiet habitation here a quiet habitation refers to adikim in the eye of adikim and that is totally white is tranquil and serene since there exists no judgment at all from there because it is an eye of compassion an eye that does not move from this providence of compassion to another providence of judgment therefore it is written your eyes heaviness shall see missing a yet plural and is not written Inyaka since the two eyes of Eric and Ben are considered one and the meaning in the verse is that the eye of Eric and Ben which is a quiet habitation shall pour forth bounty and behold Jerusalem which is malchuted saying Jerusalem rather than Zion and not saying your eyes shall see Zion is as it should be in order to suppress the judgment that exists in her and have mercy on her 221 we have further learned that it is written for the eyes of Hashem your Elohim are always upon it. From the beginning of the year to the end of the year to 1112 that is the eyes of Zir and Ben that have in them a providence for good and a providence for bad which is the secret of the two eyes one for compassion and one for judgment in the world to come you will find in her malchute one eye of compassion and not the providence of judgment which is the eye of the most ancient among ancient meaning Eric and Ben this is what is written but with great mercy will I gather you Yeshua 547 he. Ask since he said mercy why does it say great he answers there is compassion and there is compassion there exists compassion of the most ancient among ancient and it is referred to as great compassion and there exists compassion in Zeranth and they are referred to simply as compassion therefore the verse says but with great mercy will I gather you meaning the compassion of Adikim in 222 we have learned that within the eyes of Zeir and the two hues in them the red and black reside too. Tears when the holy of holies wishes to have mercy upon Yisrael he drops two tears to perfume the great ocean what is this great ocean it is the ocean of the uppermost Chakma which is the secret of Bina that returns back to Chakma and the two tears that he drops there meaning to say in order that they should bathe in the whiteness in the spring that emanates from great wisdom and has compassion on Yisrael section 30 the nose of Zeranth and Rabbi Shimon explains. The smoke that went out of the nostrils of Zir Anpin saying that the smoke included fire and coals of fire the black and red smoke corresponds to anger and hot displeasure and the destroyer we learned about the many powers existent in Zir Anpin and how they spread in his body they all begin to emerge from the nose until all the Gvirat are heated and wander around until they descend to the bright blade of the revolving sword as a result of the sins of the wicked compassion is overturned to. Justice in that Atticumen does not appear on Zir Anpin so Zir Anpin activates justice Rabbi Shimon says that the separating note between Abraham Abraham and Jacob Jacob indicate that the first name is incomplete and the second is complete in Hashem Hashem the first Yudhav is whole but the second Yudhav is complete in its entirety being Zir Anpin during the period it receives from the thirteen corrections of the beard in Eric Anpin Moses brought down the thirteen measures. Of compassion from the holy Atika below Rabbi Shimon describes the two openings of the nose, the first of which emanates smoke and the second of which emanates a consuming fire. The nose must smell the sweet savor of the smoke and fire that ascend from the offering in order that it will sweeten the judgments. 223 The nose of Zeir and we have learned in the hidden book about the nose of Zir and through the nose of facial countenance is apparent in this nose. The subject matter of this verse is explained. There went up the smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth. Devoured coals were kindled by it. 2 Smuel 229 There went up the smoke out of his nostrils. In this smoke were included fire and coals of fire. Since there is no smoke without fire and there is no fire without smoke, all rise and emerge from the nose. 224 We have learned that when these three join the ones included in the smoke that emerges from the nose, the nose gets wrinkled and becomes shorter. This implies. That chakma which is the secret of length does not shine within and therefore it is short it exhales and smoke that is black and red emerges as does anything that is in between these hues they are called anger hot displeasure and destroyer if you say that anger and wrath are mentioned for I was afraid of the anger and hot displeasure Devarim 919 which are the black and red smoke where do we find that destroyer he replies it is written before Hashem destroyed SDOM anymore of Beersheet 1310 for the destroyer destroyed SDOM anymore in the bonfire of
As is written, one generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. Tehillim 1454 When viewer resides in this knows all the viewer are heated and wander around until they descend to the bright blade of the revolving sword. 227 It is written, for we will destroy this place. Fair sheet 1913 Meaning the angels of the measure of judgment and it is written before Hashem destroyed SDOM and Amora since it is saying Yuti Havape which is an attribute of mercy. It is further written and Hashem reigned upon SDOM and upon Amora Ibid 1924 which is the secret of Zeir and Pen and his court of judgment that are referred to as an Hashem Bob Yuti Havape why does it say once a sense of a measure of judgment and once a measure of mercy he replies it is only because we have learned that it is not sufficient to the wicked but also they reverse the measure of judgment to a measure of compassion since the measure of mercy activates within them the judgments. 228 He asks how do they reverse the measure of judgment to a measure of mercy since it is written for I am Hashem I do not change Malachi 36 He replies it is only because there exists great mercy in everything as long as the attic of Atik and the whitehead that is the secret of the crown of Eric Enpin the will of wills this is the secret of the brow of Eric Enpin are revealed during the times they do not get revealed all the judgments of Zer Enpin are ready and Zer Enpin who I ask compassion. The ancient of all executes judgment 229 We have learned that when the attic of Atik gets revealed the will of all wills all the candles referred to by the name of the attic illuminate and compassion exists all over during the time that the hidden of hiddens does not reveal himself and the candles his fire are not illuminating judgments get awakened and justice is done who caused this justice the will of all wills that did not reveal himself therefore the wicked overturn the compassion. To justice as a result of their sins, Atikimen does not manifest as Zeir Enpin, and consequently Zeir Enpin that is called Yuti Havape activates justice. It is written, and Hashem reigned upon Sdom from Hashem out of heaven, which refers to Zer Enpin, that is the meaning since it says out of heaven have Shamayim, which is Zeir Enpin referred to by Shamayim. Shamayim contains the letters of fire, Havesh, and water, Havmayim, that indicate compassion and justice to exclude whoever does not contain any kind of justice that does not revert to judgment. 230 We have learned that the nose in Zeir Enpin is short when the smoke starts to emerge, it leaves in a hurry, and justice is done who delays the nose, so justice will not emerge. It is the nose of the holy Attic who is referred to as long suffering, lit long nose to everyone, both to the righteous and wicked ones. 231 That is a secret that we have learned. Hashem Hashem Shema 346 There is a separating musical note between. Then that is there is a dividing line separating between the first Hashem and the second Hashem. The same applies all over where you have a name mentioned twice. A note separates between them as we find in Abraham, Abraham, Bereshit 2211, Jacob, Jacob, Ibid 462, and Samuel, Samuel, Ishmael 310. In all there is a separating note between the first and second name except by Moses, Moses, Shema 34. There is no separating note between the first Moses and second Moses. What is the reason it is since? Abraham, Abraham, that is mentioned twice indicates that the second Abraham is complete and Abram the first is not complete since it is only now that he is completed with the ten trials. Therefore the note separates between them to indicate that now he is not like he was before 232. The same applies for Jacob, Jacob, it indicates that the second Jacob is whole and the first is not complete. It is only now that he has been told the news that Joseph is alive and the Shechinah is upon him, which was not the case when he was mourning for Joseph and the Shechinah was gone from him. Moreover, the holy tree was now perfected in the land which is Jacob in the likeness of above, like Zeir and that contains twelve boundaries, that is the twelve permutations of Yudi Havape and the seventy branches, since twelve permutations shine in all its six ends amounting to seventy-two, that is the secret of the seventy members of the Sanhedrin, and two witnesses the seventy members of the Sanhedrin are referred to. As seventy branches, the holy tree in the land, the secret of Jacob already begot twelve tribes that expanded to seventy souls which did not exist prior to that, therefore the second Jacob is complete and the first Jacob is not complete, and the note separates them. The same applies for Samuel Samuel that the note separates them. What is the reason it is because the second Samuel is complete, the first Samuel is not complete now he is a prophet, but prior to that he was not a prophet, however, by Moses, Moses, there is no separating note since he was complete the day he was born as it is written, and when she saw that he was a goodly child, Shema 22, meaning that immediately when he was born, the Sheshanah dwelt upon him, about which is said that it was good. Bear sheet 110, 233 here to Hashem, Hashem, there is a note separating between them since the first Yudi Havape is whole, but the second Yudi Havape is complete in its entirety, the second Yudi Havape is Zeir Enpin. During the period it receives from the thirteen corrections of the beard in Eric Enpin and also contains the thirteen corrections of the beard like him, Moses, in place of justice, which is Zeir Enpin, wanted to bring down the thirteen measures from the holy attic, which is compassion to Zer Enpin, since this is what we have learned, how wonderful is the power of Moses that he brought down the thirteen measures of compassion from Atika Kadisha below when the holy Atika was revealed in Zer Enpin all. Appear in compassion the nose have Jotam gets calmed and fire and smoke do not emerge as it is written and from my praise I will refrain Hebeshetam lit nose for you Yusha 489 which indicates the time when the nose of Zeir Enpin is in compassion 234 we have learned of the two openings of the nose in one opening the smoke emerges glowing hot and settles in the crevice of the great depths from one opening emerges a consuming fire burning with flames and sparking in 1400 worlds on it. Left side that is in a column and a half of the first three spirot of the left which are 1,400 whoever manages to get near this is referred to as the fire of Hashem who is a consuming fire burning all other fires this fire is not firmly established except through the fire of the altar the smoke that emerges from the other opening of the nose is not firmly established except with the smoke of the offering 235 all the sweetening of the judgments depend on the nose and therefore it is written. And Hashem smelled the sweet savor. Bereshit 821. Everything is dependent on the nose which should smell the smoke and the red fire that ascends from the offering. Therefore, the offering is received favorably. This is what is written. And the anger lit nose of Hashem was inflamed. Bimidbar 129. And then Hashem's anger nose be inflamed. Dibar 1117. And my anger nose shall be inflamed. Shema 2223. And lest the anger nose of Hashem your Elohim be inflamed. Dibar 615. All this is said of Zir. Enpin and not of the attic that is Eric Enpin. Section 31. The ears of Zir Enpin. We read a description of the ears of Zir Enpin that hear both good and bad and distinguish between them. The voice that enters the ears causes the brain to awaken and to bring mercy to the righteous and vengeance to the wicked. Rabbi Shimon says to hear means to understand. He explains the meaning of the full name Yahweh Bahay Elohim that is comprised of both mercy and judgment. 235b. We have learned that it is written, O my Elohim, incline your ear and hear Daniel 918, that is the ear that was produced under the hair and the hairs hang over it. The ear was produced with impressions of impressions in its innermost interior as if someone had produced a slanted step. What is the reason that it is slanted? It is in order to hear good and bad. We have learned that from the slope within the ears all the winged ones are suspended about whom it is written for a bird of the sky shall carry the sound and that which has wings shall tell the matter. Kahilat 1236 within the ear it flows from the three spaces of the brain of Zeir Enpin which are Chakmabana and that into this opening in the ears from these drops the voice enters into that slope and combines with those drops either for good or for bad good as it is written for Hashem hears the poor Tehillim 6934 and bad as it is written and Hashem heard it and his anger was kindled and the fire of Hashem burned. Among them, Bimid Bar 111, 237, this ear is sealed from the exterior, and that slope enters inside to the opening in the ear which contains the flow from the brain in order to carry the voice inward, so it will not slip out, so it would be kept guarded and sealed from all sides. Therefore, it is a secret woe to the one who reveals the secret, since it is as if he diminishes the uppermost structure that was prepared in order to gather the secrets within, so they do not escape to the outside. 238, we have learned that when Israel scream from their woes and the hairs are unveiled from over the ears, the vo
Mercy to the righteous and vengeance to the wicked we have learned that it is written O oh my Elohim incline your ear and hear meaning to say lower down that is he should drop and lower the slope in the ear to the place of the voice and uplift the voice of prayer to the inner part of the ear where the brains are there are 600,000 10,000 winged ones that hang on these ears and all are referred to as the ears of Hashem in the words Hashem incline your ear the ear refers to Zer and pen, since the actions of the lower grades arrive thus to Zeir and pen, 241 from one side of the brain space and Zeir and pen, that is the left side, the ears are suspended from the 50 gates that emerge from that hollow there is one gate that continues to emerge and open up within the ear opening as is written for the ear tries words Zeo 343 it is also written tries the hearts and reigns Tehillim 710 from the aspect of the expansion of the brain in the cavern in the 50 gates. That spread through the body behold in the place where the heart resides the brain starts to expand in that cavern of the 50 gates therefore in relation to the ear the word tries is used and tries is also used in relation to the heart because they expand from the same place 242 we have learned in the hidden book that this ear distinguishes between good and bad so it is applicable to everything meaning to all the Sfirat of Zeir and pen, in Zer and pen, there is a good side and a bad side. Which are right and left compassion and justice. This ear is included in the brain because it is included in the brain and in one cavern it is included in the voice that enters in it, which is considered hearing. Once it is in the ear, bina is included in the hearing. Ear means understand, which is bina understanding. All this amounts to is that everything has equal import. Those matters were given to those who are seated on the benches of justice to hear, observe, and know. 243 come and see that. It is written, Hashem, I have heard the report of you and I was afraid. Shabbat 32. This verse is well known when the Holy Prophet heard and observed and knew and understood about these structures in the ear, which is, I have heard the report of you. It is written, I was afraid, since it is proper to fear and break before him that is said about the ears of Zir and Pen as a result of the revelation of the left column within which that carries on as mentioned above 244 after he saw and knew it. Is written Hashem revive your work in the midst of the years if it is said of Atticum and since wherever Yadhe Bob is found Yadhe Bob twice with Yadhe or one with Aleph Dalit and one with Yadhe one name is for Zir Enpen and one name for the Atticate and even those Eir Enpen and Atika are all the same and are called by the same name 245 we have learned the full name is read when it is written Yadhe Bob Elohim because this is the full name of the most ancient of all and of Zir Enpen since Yadhe Bob is the secret of the Atticate Elohim is Eir Enpen all of it is referred to as the full name but the other names are not considered a full name as we have explained and Hashem Elohim planted Beersheet 28 that is the full name that planted among the plantings of the garden Yadhe Bob Elohim is always considered the full name twice Yadhe Bob Yadhe Bob is all inclusive that is Eir Enpen and Atika as mentioned above but is not yet Referred to as a full name since compassion gets awakened in everyone during that period it is not included in judgment however Yudhe Bab Elohim is comprised from mercy and judgment since Elohim points to judgment therefore it is a full name 246 the verse Hashem revive your work in the midst of the years is said to Atticum and he asks what is your work he replies it is your and that emanates from Atticum and in the midst of the years these are the primordial years referred to as the days of old and not everlasting years since the years of old are the days of old that is the Sfirat of Atticum and everlasting years lit the years of the world are the days of the world which are the Sfirat of Zeir and it is written in the midst of the years which years are they the primordial years of Atticum and revive revive whom revives your and that all its light survives thanks to these primordial years of Atticum and therefore it says revive in wrath remember mercy Shabbat 32 meaning remember the supernal chesed of the Attic of Atikim in whom compassion is awakened for whoever requires mercy and whoever deserves mercy. Section 32 The nine corrections of the beard of Zir and Rabbi Shimon says that the beard is not mentioned in scripture because the most precious and concealed of all things are not revealed. The beard is the most valuable part of the entire countenance, its perfection and beauty when the holy anointing oil drips. From the beard of the holy Atikim drips upon the beard of Zir and which gets established in nine corrections and from which the 22 letters of the Torah emerge. Rabbi Shimon describes all nine corrections of the black hair of the beard. 247 We have learned that Rabbi Shimon said, I invoke the witness of the sky above and all those who are standing above us, meaning all the chariots and encampments of angels, that these matters are rejoiced upon in all the worlds. These matters are. Rejoicing in my heart and are hiding and ascending in the uppermost curtain that is extended over us, the ancient of all who is concealed and sealed of all hides. And when I began to speak, the friends did not know that all these holy matters are inspired here. Praised is a lot of the friends that are here. Praised is my lot with you in this world and the world to come. 248 Rabbi Shimon opened the discussion with the verse, but you that did cleave to Hashem your Elohim, Devarim 44, who is a holy nation like Israel, that it is written of them, Happy are you, O Israel, who is like to you, Ibid 3329, it is written, who is like you, Hashem among the Elim, Shemot 1511, since their adherence is to the holy name on this world and in the world to come, even more than here in this world, since there they do not get separated from the bond into which the righteous are tied, meaning the bond of life, which is the secret of Malchut that is bound in the tree of life, that is Zeir and this is what is. Written but you that did cleave to Hashem and it is not written did cleave towards Hashem but actually to Hashem 249 we have learned that when the holy anointing oil descends upon the beard of Zir Enpen from the dear beard of the uppermost of the holy Atika who is hidden and concealed from everyone the beard of Zir Enpen gets established in nine corrections during the time that the dear beard of the Attic of Atika illuminates within this beard of Zir Enpen 13 springs flow. From the uppermost oil into the beard of Zeir Enpen and 22 corrections prevail in it from him flow the 22 letters of the Torah 250 you might say that the beard does not get mentioned anywhere and Solomon mentioned only his cheeks sure Hasherim 513 but does not say beard he replies so we have learned in the hidden book that everything that is hidden and concealed is neither mentioned nor revealed this thing the beard is uppermost and most precious of all it is hidden and concealed since. The beard is the praise and the most valued feature of the entire countenance therefore the scripture concealed it and did not reveal it we have learned that this beard which is the perfection of the countenance and the beauty of Zer Enpen starts out from his ears and drops and ascends and covers with an offering of fragrance what is this offering of fragrance it is as it says his cheeks are like a bed of spices even with nine corrections this beard of Zer Enpen was established with black hair all established in a beautiful arrangement like a valiant beautiful and mighty man as is written excellent as the cedars even 15 251 the first correction the hairs are arranged from above from the sides of the head that spark goes out that strong spark emanates from the pure ear and pounds from underneath the head hair under the hair locks above the ears it descends hair after hair in front of the ear opening to the beginning of the mouth 252 the second correction the hairs Exit and ascend from the start of the mouth which is the upper lip to the other end of the mouth opening they also come down underneath the mouth from one end to the other end of the lower lip here by here in a beautiful arrangement 253 the third correction under the nose in the center under the two nostrils of the nose one path goes out that is free of hair but tiny tough hairs fill that path the rest of the hairs occupy both sides surrounding that path on the bottom the lower lip there is no path visible at all that should be clear of hair except that the path above is visible over the upper lip that descends downwards to the beginning where the lips are joined there the path is submerged it does not continue under the lower lip as by Eric and 254 the fourth correction hairs sprout out and are arranged to ascend and cover his cheeks like a fragrant offering that is the secret meaning of his cheeks are like a bed of spices the fifth correction the hairs stop growing the two apples of the face become visible clear of hair on both sides they are red like a red rose and glow in 270 worlds that glow from there the sixth correction the hair sprout out like one string around the beard and hang to the top of his belly meaning to his chest and do not descend to the navel the seventh correction the hair does not hang over the mouth and the mouth is free of hair all around the hairs are set in an arrangement around it 255 the eighth correction the hairs descend under the beard and cover
answered him with liberation and took his part. Rabbi Lazar talks about the form of man, including the forms of lion, ox, and eagle, and how man is mentioned in the quoted scriptures only in conjunction with the holy name. He says that Zer and Pen will do all that one desires for whoever holds onto the holy beard and honors him. The essential message of this section is if God takes my part, I will not fear for what can man possibly do to me. 257 Rabbi Shimon said to his son, Rabbi Lazar, get up my son and curl the structure of the holy beard through these corrections. Rabbi Lazar stood up and said, Out of my distress, I called upon Yahya, answered me with liberation and to trust in Princes. Tehillim 1185 9. We have learned here in this verse the nine forms that exist in this beard. In Zeir and Pen, King David needed these corrections in order to conquer the other kings and nations. 258 Come and see that as soon as he said those nine corrections, he concluded with the verse, All nations. Compass me about, but in the name of Hashem I cut them off. If it ten, he said, All these corrections that I mentioned, what purpose do they serve me? It is because all nations compass me about in the setting of this beard are nine corrections which are the name of Hashem, and through them I will abolish them from the world. This is what is written in the name of Hashem I cut them off. 259 We have learned in the hidden book that King David has mentioned here nine corrections in the verses of Out of my distress, six are in the holy name, and that there are in these verses six names and three times Adam led man. If you say we only find man twice, it is not so, but rather there are three sins. Princes are also included in man. We consider the word princes as if man I said so. We have man three times as is further explained. 260 We have learned that there are six names as is written. One out of my distress, I called upon Yah, Yah answered me with liberation. Three Hashem is on. My side I will not fear for Hashem takes my part 5 it is better to take refuge in Hashem and 6 it is better to take refuge in Hashem which is in the second verse thus we have here 6 names man is there 3 times as is written 1 Hashem is on my side I will not fear what can a man do to me 2 it is better to take refuge in Hashem and to put confidence in man and 3 it is better to take refuge in Hashem and to trust in princes princes are man as mentioned above so we have man 3 times 261 come and see the secret of the matter everywhere that man is mentioned here it is mentioned only together with the holy name that is to say in the same verse man is mentioned Hashem is also mentioned this is as it should be as man is only referred to with that which he deserves what is the name man deserving it is the holy name Yudhe Vav hey, meaning to say that prior to the perfection of the holy name Yudhe Vav hey, the Mokin that are referred to as man are not Coded with ITS is written Hashem Elohim formed man Bereshit 27 Yud Hey Vav Hey Elohim being the secret of Chakma and Bina the man meaning the Mokin in the image of Zeir and Pen that are referred to as man that IS with the full name which is Yud Hey Vav Hey Elohim as is befitting it the name man had Adam therefore man is not mentioned except together with the holy name 262 we have learned that it is written out of my distress I called upon Yahya answered me with liberation that is twice Yud Hey that is for the two cheeks to which the hairs are attached when David saw that the hairs flow and hang he opened the discussion saying Hashem is on my side I will not fear Hashem takes my part meaning with the complete name of Yud Hey Vav Hey with a name that is not missing in it Vav Hey a name that is holy man is mentioned with this full name since the Mokin do not reside except with the full name as mentioned 263 he said what can a man do to me which is the Descriptive name of the expansion of the Mokin as mentioned above so this is its meaning we have learned that all these holy Svirat of the king that were established with shapes that is that the Mokin flow through them are referred to as man who is the general form including all forms the three forms, lion ox eagle, are comprised in the form of man that is the secret of Malchut that comprises in it all the three columns consequently the union of the three Mokin, Chakmabana and Da'at, which correspond to lion ox eagle, are only in the form of man therefore it is considered as the six ends in the Mokin of Chakmabana and Da'at since the Malchut is the female light that illuminates only from below upwards that is the secret of the six ends of the Mokin what emanates from the Mokin that is what is conceivable to the lower ones is referred to as the holy name since name is explained as conception the sheath that is the secret of Malchut referred to as sheath and what it Contains which are the Mokin are called Yudhe and are called man that is the whole of the sheath together with its content 264 those nine corrections that David said here were in order to subdue his enemies whoever holds onto the beard of the king and honors him with the utmost honor the king will oblige and do for him all that he desires from the king he asks what is the reason that there is a need to hold onto the beard and not to his body he replies it is because the body follows after the beard since all the lights of the body get drawn from the beard but the beard does not follow the body consequently when you are attached to the beard you are also attached to the body but when one is attached to the body he is not yet attached to the beard 265 there are two ways to count the nine corrections of the beard in the verses of out of my distress the first is as we already said that out of my distress I called upon Yah the first description and Yah Answered me with liberation. I asked the fourth description that is referred to in our present account as what can a man do to me. The second, I asked the account before you as of which out of my distress I called upon Yah is the first correction. The second is Yah answered me with liberation. The third is Hashem is on my side, I will not fear. And the fourth is what can man do to me. The fifth is Hashem takes my part. The sixth is therefore I shall gaze upon those who hate me. The seventh is it is better to take refuge in Hashem. The eighth is and to put confidence in man. And the ninth is it is better to take refuge in Hashem than to trust in princes. 266. He asks the first shape that is referred to out of my distress. I called upon Yah. What does it say? Why is it called that he replies all that David said here, meaning the rest of the eight beard corrections he said about this correction of the beard. The first one out of my distress let straight I called upon Yah that is from. The place where the beard begins to spread out which is a narrow area above and in front of the ear openings below the hair of the head this means that at these points the hairs are short and the area is narrow that points out the aspect of judgment that exists in the beard which is therefore referred to as the straight this is why he says yudhe yudhe twice meaning in the first correction and the second before the beard starts to widen since yudhe points out that the name is devoid of vavhe however in the area where the beard spreads out where it drops from the ears and begins to widen meaning in the third correction he says hashem is on my side I will not fear that is the complete name yudhe vavhe because that is an area that is not narrow consequently all the corrections follow to sweeten the judgment in the first correction in which the name is not complete David required all these corrections in order to subdue kings and nations beneath him through the glory. Of this beard 267 we have learned in the hidden book that whoever sees in his dream his hand holding onto the beard of an important person or extending his hand to hold onto it he should be aware that he is in union with the ones above he will throw under him all those who distress him since the beard indicates the subduing of enemies and wholeness as mentioned above we have learned that the supernal beard gets established with nine corrections which is the beard in Zer and that gets established in nine corrections since the beard in Eric and gets restored in 13 corrections 268 the first correction the hair is shaped from above and grows out in front of the ear openings underneath the locks of head hair that hang over the ears the hair descends strand by strand to the top of the mouth we have learned that all these hairs in the beard are harder than all the strands in the locks of head hair the head hairs are long while those in the beard are not long in head Hairs there are some that are smooth and some that are rough. 269 When the white hairs of Atticumen are drawn to the hair of Zerenpen it is written wisdom's cry aloud in the street lit outside Michelet 120 What is the meaning of outside that is in Zerenpen which vests the net sash hot and yezid in Arakenpen that is considered the outward aspect since all net sash hot and yezid are outward of this body to which two brains join the brain of Arakenpen in the brains of Zeirnpen. Outward of Arakenpen about which is said wisdom's cry aloud outside 270 he asks two brains how could you imagine this since in Zeirnpen alone there are three brains he replies therefore just say four brains three brains are in Zerenpen existing in the three spherical cavities in the skull and one brain of Arakenpen rests in its station that includes within IT all three brains from it there is a flow from Arakenpen balanced perfectly continuously into the white hair in Arak. Enpen to the three brains within Zer Enpen 271 four brains exist in Zer Enpen which are Chakma
shall be afraid of you. Devarim 2810 The name of Hashem is truly the name of Hashem which are the boxes of the Tefilin since the Mokinlet brains is the secret of Yud Hei Bav and the compartments of the brains is the secret of Malchud referred to as the name of Hashem 272 Therefore scripture says wisdoms cry aloud outside which are the Chakma of Zeir Enpin and that of Eric Enpin they exist here in Zeir Enpin which is outside of Eric Enpin the wisdom of Attic of Attic the most. Concealed of all concealed is not available and is not prepared to be discovered since it is wisdom concealed from all and is not describable since the four brains joined in Zir and four springs flow forth from it to every direction which are four brains, Chakma by the right of that and the left of that these four are separated by one spring that emanates to them all that is the brain of Chakma which goes out and splits into four brains which is the secret of the thirty-two paths of wisdom that are revealed to the lower grades therefore there are four brains in Chakma of Zeir and due to the reason that Chakma of Eric Enpin is included in them so that they will be bestowed by him upon the lower grades since in the concealed brain from its location nothing at all is revealed therefore the verse says wisdoms cry aloud outside since only on the outside in the place of Zeir Enpin will they sing joyously, that is be revealed 273 we have learned this Chakma that is a Combination of four meaning the brain of Chakma and Zeir Enpin is drawn through the hairs of Zeir Enpin that hang wave upon wave all are rough and coarse and are drawn and go forth each to its own direction eight thousand of thousands and ten thousand of tens of thousands are hanging some of them without number this is what it says his locks are wavy sure hashering five hundred and eleven wave upon wave all are too heavy and coarse to join similar to a hard flint and like that stone that is strong and sturdy until holes and streams under the hair are caused and strong currents continue forth in each side and every direction since these hairs are black and dark it is written about them he uncovers deep things out of darkness and brings out to light the shadow of death of one thousand two hundred and twenty two two hundred and seventy four we have learned that the hairs in the beard are rougher than the head hair because the beard hairs alone are available and explainable consequently they are harsher in their ways two hundred and seventy five he asks why are they harsh if you will say because all pertain to judgment it is not so for mercy also exists in these forms when the thirteen springs of oil come down that is thirteen beard corrections of Eric Enpin that descend down to the beard in Zir Enpin they all pertain to mercy if so why are they harsh 276 he replies we have learned that all the beard hairs are rough what is the explanation it is because all these of mercy that is the ones that draw from the central column which is compassion must be harsh in order to subdue the left column which I ask judgment and to join him in the right all these which pertain to judgment meaning the ones drawn from the left column which are harsh judgments are essentially harsh they need to be harsh from the two directions both from the compassionate side and from the judgmental side when the world requires mercy those hairs of compassion from the central column are strong and overcome judgments because they unite the left with the right column which is Chassidim and the brains that are compassionate get revealed when the world requires judgment during the illumination of Chakma that does not illuminate except with the exposition of judgment. The judgment is then strong and overcomes compassion, therefore they need to be harsh on both sides. When compassion is required, the hairs that are mercy stand up and the beard is seen in these hairs and others are not visible and everything happens according to compassion when justice is needed. The beard is seen only in these hairs of justice and the others are not visible and everything either mercy or justice prevails through the beard. 277 When the holy white beard of Eric Enpin gets revealed, all these and all these shine and bathe in the Chassidim of the beard in Eric Enpin. This is similar to someone who bathes from the deep river from the murkiness that was in it, meaning from the judgments everything exists with compassion and the judgment does not exist when all these nine beard. Corrections illuminate together they all bathe in mercy 278 therefore Moses repeated for a second time the attributes Hashem is long suffering and great in love Bimit bar 1418 that is in the portion of Shalash however truth is not said there as he says in the 13 attributes in the portion of Kiti so that is because the secret of the matter is those 9 attributes meaning the 9 corrections of the beard in Zeir Enpin they illuminate from Atticum into Zer Enpin when Moses said the attributes the second time in the portion of Shalash he said 9 corrections which are the corrections of the beard that exist in Zer Enpin and descend from Atticum and illuminate within him therefore he did not mention in them and truth since truth depends upon the Atika Kadisha who is the secret of the 7th of the 13 corrections of the beard in Eric Enpin which is the secret of the brightening of the face in Eric Enpin when he only received 9 corrections from the attic. Moses did not say in truth since this correction of the attic is not shining within him at present 279 we have learned that the hairs of Zer Enpin are all rough wave upon wave and are not smooth as the hair of Eric Enpin I see that three brains exist there in the three spaces and illuminate from the concealed brain in Eric Enpin the brain of Atticum and that is the concealed brain is quiet and resting like fine wine upon its sediments as though sediments do not spoil the wine but quiet. The opposite they fortify it so too the judgments in the concealed brain are not judgments that would even slightly diminish the concealed brain in its own essence to the contrary they strengthen it therefore the hairs of Eric Enpin are all smooth and polished in fine oil and it is written and the hair of whose head was like the pure wool Daniel 179 280 those of Zer Enpin are rough yet not so hard since all are hanging up and not twisted therefore the wisdom continues to flow through. Then this is the illumination of Chakma from Bina that returns to Chakma which is the secret of the 32 paths of Chakma that is the secret of the Bina of Chakma for this Chakma does not flow except through judgments therefore the hairs need to be rough but this is not so for Chakma of Chakma that is Chakma of Uryashar lit direct light in its own essence which is silent and quiet in the concealed brain of Eric Enpin we have learned that there is nobody who could fathom it. Brain of Atticum except himself and it is written Elohim understands its way and he knows its place. Eo 2823 this is said only of Chakma of Zir Enpin that is revealed and not of Chakma of Eric Enpin that is concealed and is not revealed at all. Rabbi Shimon said blessed is my son to the Holy One blessed be he in this world and in the world to come. Section 34 the second and third of the nine corrections of Zir Enpin Rabbi Abba describes the second. Correction as meaning several things it is like a dominating great beautiful and mighty man it is mercy it is truth he talks a good deal about Chisit in various contexts we learn that the third correction is and abundant in Chisit 281 the second correction the hairs leave and ascend from the beginning of the mouth to the other side of the mouth opening that is from one end to the other end above the upper lip they descend under the mouth below the lower lip from the beginning to the other end and strands upon strands descend in a beautiful shape 282 Rabbi Shimon said to Rabbi Abba rise Rabbi Abba Rabbi Abba stood up opened by saying when this correction is established with the correction of the king ITIS like a ruling great handsome and mighty man this is what is written great is our master and of great power Tehillim 1475 when he was established with the formation of the precious holy beard of Eric Enpin and looks at it this correction is called by his light El Merciful. Shema 346 that is when the thirteen beard corrections in Eric Enpin shine upon the nine beard corrections in Zeir Enpin and his second correction is called by the name Merciful the second correction is established by another of the corrections of the beard of Zeir Enpin and it is called in truth Shema 346 which is the seventh correction of these beard corrections in Zeir Enpin his face shines meaning that it then contains the first three Sfirot which are the secret of a man's wisdom. Makes its face to shine Kahilat 81 283 we have learned that this correction should have been called pardons iniquity Misha 718 similar to the second correction of the Atika Kadisha which means that Bina forgives the iniquity of Malchud since it was diminished through it from the first three Sfirot in order to forgive the transgression in the third correction meaning to sweeten the justice of Malchud referred to as transgression however due to the path that departs here in the third. Correction under the two nose openings where tiny rough hairs fill in this path and is not clear of hair like the third correction in Eric Enpin therefore it is not called here pardons iniquity and forgives the transgression of it it prevails somewhere else that is in the fourth correction 284 we have learned that Shinai and He equals 375 Shasadim are included in the Chisit of Atticum and which is the meaning of
Chisid of Zeir Anpin himself, which is referred to as simply Chisid, we have explained that abundant in Chisid of Eric Anpin leans towards Chisid of Zeir Anpin to illuminate to him and light the candles, meaning the Svarat of Zeir Anpin 286. We have learned about this path that descends under the two nose openings of Zeir Anpin. Narrow here occupies that path which is not referred to as forgives, lit passes over the transgression since there is no room to pass over the transgression. This is due to two reasons because of the hair that occupy that path. It is a difficult passage for the passing of Chakma there, and because the passage of that path goes down only to the beginning of the mouth and no further. 287. Therefore, it is written his lips like roses, Shir Hashirim 513, which is red like roses, dropping flowing Muribid, which is deep red, which is just as this path here above the lips did not get firmly established in two manners as mentioned. Therefore, judgment is. Apparent on the lips the meaning of the red hue from here whoever wishes to frighten his friend in an extraordinary manner strikes twice with his hand on that path section 35 the fourth of the nine corrections of Zir Anpin Rabbi Abba says that this correction is splendor and glory and from it are suspended the vestments in which Zir Anpin gets dressed as he is clothed in glory and majesty these are the corrections in which he was dressed and was established in the form of man 288 the fourth correction the hairs grow and take form rising and covering over his cheeks with firmly established offerings this correction is beautiful to behold it is splendor and glory we have learned the highest glory hot goes out and is decorated and continues to take hold of his cheeks it is referred to as the glory of the beard from this glory and splendor are suspended the vestments in which Zeir Anpin gets dressed which are the splendid vestments of the king is Written you are clothed in glory and majesty. Tehillim 1041. These are the corrections in which he was dressed and was established in the form of man more than in any other form. 289. We have learned the glory of this beard when it shone in the light of the upper beard of Eric Anpin. It spread in the rest of the shining corrections, meaning also in the fifth correction, which is pardons iniquity, which is 718 on this side and forgives the transgression of it from that side. Therefore, it is written his cheeks. Sure, Hashirim 513. That includes both the hair on the cheeks, which are the fourth correction, and both apples that are clear of hair, which are the fifth correction in the hidden book. This fourth correction is referred to as hot hitter, lit majesty, and typhoid. Typhoid forgives the transgression as it says, and it is his glory had typhoid to pass over a transgression. Mishlei 1911. However, we did not explain this typhoid until the ninth correction, as it says, the glory typhoid. Of young men is their strength of the 2029 in the ninth correction. It is called Tiferet upon weighing. They are both equal in weight. Rabbi Shimon said, You are worthy, Rabbi Abba, to be blessed by the Atika Kaddish from whom all blessings emanate. Section 36, the fifth correction of the nine corrections of Zir Anpin. We learned that all the lights that illuminate from Eric Anpin are referred to as the original Shesedim, and due to these, all the everlasting Shesedim shine. That are the Shesedim in Zir Anpin. Thus, his countenance shines upon the world and blesses it. 290, the fifth correction, the hair stop, and two apples are visible clear of hair on either side, red like a red rose. They glow in 270 worlds when these two apples shine the light of the two uppermost holy apples of the Atika, who is Eric Anpin, and that are his seventh correction. The red hue disappears, and the white color appears about this. It is written, Hashem, make his face shine upon you and be. Gracious to you, Bimid Bar 625. When they are shining, the world gets blessed. When it gets red, it is written, Hashem lift up his countenance to you, Abid 26, meaning to say that his face will be gone and there will not be anger in the world. We have learned that all the lights that illuminate from the Atika Kaddish, meaning from Eric Anpin, are referred to as the original Shesedim due to these first Shesedim, all these everlasting Shesedim shine, which are the Shesedim in Zeir Anpin. Section 37, the sixth correction of Zir Anpin. This is called one of the five edges of the beard that depends on Chesed, and one must not destroy this Chesed by cutting it. 291, the sixth correction, the hairs go out like one string of hair around the beard, meaning the uppermost area of the beard that continues to the chest, similar to the eighth correction of Eric Anpin. That is called one of the five edges of the beard which depends on Chesed, and one must not destroy this Chesed as we. Have learned therefore it is written neither shall you mar the corner of your beard. Vayikra 1927 section 38 the seventh correction of Zir Anpin here we learned that the mouth is clear because the hairs do not hang over it. Rabbi Yehuda says that the hosts or watchers are invested from the breath that leaves the mouth. Also when the breath spreads out of the mouth many faithful prophets get invested with the breath and all are called the mouth of Hashem. This correction dominates over all the six that preceded 292 the seventh correction the hairs do not hang over the mouth and the mouth is clear all around its sides. The hairs are situated in a proper setting surrounding it. Rise Rabbi Yehuda Rabbi Yehuda rose he opened the discussion saying this matter is by the decree of the watchers. Daniel 414 how many thousands of ten thousands get settled and exist through this mouth and depend upon it and all are called mouth. This is what is written and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth tail him 336 from that breath that leaves the mouth they get invested 293 all those that are outside are dependents of this mouth many faithful prophets get invested with the breath when it spreads out of his mouth and all of them are called the mouth of Hashem on the place where the breath exits that is the mouth nothing else gets blended with it they're all wait to get invested with that breath that leaves the mouth this correction dominates over all the six corrections that precede it since all prevail here and take hold therefore the hairs are even around the mouth and the mouth itself is cleared from hair from all its sides rabbi shimon said blessed are you to the atika kaddish section 39 the correction of zir anpin this correction refers to the back of the neck and rabbi yehuda says that when zir anpin engages in war the back of the neck is visible to show strength he talks about the shields of the mighty 294 the 8th correction the hairs go lower below the beard and cover the back of the neck so it would not be visible we have learned that above there is no back of the neck and no fatigue during the time that he engages in war the back of the neck is visible to show strength since we have learned that a thousand worlds are attached to it this is what is written on which there hang a thousand bucklers all shields of mighty man sure hashering 44 8000 bucklers is a secret we find in the hidden book all the shields of the mighty meaning those who come from the side of one bureau of those bureau section 40 the ninth correction of zir and we hear that this correction relates to strength and balance like a brave man who does mighty deeds that is tight power might and compassion 295 the ninth correction the hairs get joined in full weight with those hanging hairs and all are nicely balanced like a valiant Mighty man who wins battle since all the hairs follow after those that hang they are all generally included in those that hang and all continue to the chest therefore it is written the glory typhoret of young men is their strength Mishlei 2029 it is also written excellent as the cedars sure hashering 515 meaning like a brave man who does mighty deeds that is typhoret which comprises power might and compassion 296 we have learned that Rabbi Shimon said all these corrections and all these matters I wish to reveal to those who were balanced in weight meaning to those who adhere to the central column where the secret of the weight I is not to those who entered to the orchard of wisdom and did not exit from it in peace but rather to those that entered and left it in peace since whoever entered and did not leave it would have better for him not to have been born section 41 the form of man Rabbi Shimon begins by saying that the attic of a and Zir Anpin. Are really all one time has no meaning in this context really there is no change from compassion to justice for example it is just that it was established with these corrections for the sake of the lower ones the Atika Kaddish established his own corrections and the corrections of Zir Anpin in the image and structure of the form of man Rabbi Shimon says that when Hashem Elohim formed man he made a form within a form meaning the highest form called man that is comprised of both male and female. He talks about the breath of life and how the man became a living soul 297 the generality of all these matters is that the Atika of Atika and Zir Anpin are all one in the aspect of them all is beyond time from the aspect of their essence as was is and will be are the same to them everything is in the present and everything is in the past and everything is in the future since there does not exist in divinity a sense of before and after similarly there does not exist at all any change of action from their essential aspect for example from compassion to justice and the like since there will be no change in the future and there was no
Lower ones, the Atika Kadisha established his own corrections and the corrections of Zir Anpan in this image and structure 299. You may wonder what is the difference between the Atika and Zir Anpan. He replies, It all has the same measure, however, from here on from the Atika, his paths divide up from here from Zeir Anpan. Judgment prevails, and only from our own perspective are they different from one another. These secrets are not passed on except to the reapers of the holy field, meaning those that deserve to restore Malchut that is called the field and are already reaping its harvest. It is written, The council that secret of Hashem is with them that fear him. Tehillim 2514 300. It is written, And Hashem Elohim formed Hebei Yitzhar the man. Bershi 27 with two yuds, he perfected and completed one correction within another that is the seal of the ring and that is Vayitzer with two yuds. He explains himself why two yuds because they denote the secret of the Atika Kadisha and the secret of Zir Anpan formed what did he form? He replies, he formed a form within a form. He asks what is a form within a form. He replies, these are two names that are referred to as a full name which are Yadhav Hey Elohim. That is the secret of the two Yuds and Vayats are indicating that he formed a form within a form which is the correction of the full name Yadhav Hey Elohim 301. He asks in what were they included these two forms of Chakma mentioned above where he created a form within a form. He replies in this highest form called man that is comprised of male and female which is Zeir Anpan that encompasses Zeir Anpan and Malchut. Therefore it is written the man which includes male and female et that is in the man is meant to include the kind that is produced from him meaning Malchut which is a female of Zeir Anpan and is derived from him since in Malchut are vested two forms as mentioned a form within a form the secret of the two Yuds informed that is the mystery of supernal Chakma of Eric Anpin within the lower Chakma of Malchut that is the secret of the Chakma of the 32 paths that emerge from Zeir Anpin its revelation takes place only in Malchut that is a female of Zeir Anpin therefore it is referred to as lower Chakma corresponds to Chakma of Eric Anpin whose illumination is vested within IT 302 dust of the ground Ibid that is a form within a form and breathe into his nostrils the breath of life Ibid namely the seal of the ring in the most inner parts why is this in order to produce and bring within it the concealed one of supernal concealment which is the concealed Chakma of Eric Anpin to the end of all the concealed ones Chakma of the 32 paths in Zeir Anpin which is the final part of the hiding after Chakma of the 32 paths reaches from Zeir Anpin to the female of Zeir Anpin it gets revealed and is no longer concealed therefore Zer Anpin is considered as the ending of all concealment and Every life above and below that is a mokin of Zeir Anpin and of the female that comprises the lower grades depends upon and thrives through the soul 303 and the man became a living soul with the corrections of the seal of the ring are bestowed upon the soul of man and the soul is taken from the higher levels downward to the last level that is from the concealed Chakma of Eric Anpin to Malchut which is the last of the levels so that the soul will be present in all levels and will spread in all and all shall be in a single union whoever interrupts this union from the world meaning that he separates Malchut from the union of the three columns it is as if he severs the soul that is like someone that violates the mokin of Zeir Anpin and indicates that another soul exists besides this one which means that he adheres to the other side as a result he and his memory will disappear from this world for generations upon generations section 42 the Order of Atzalot of the female. The section tells of the creation of the female from Typhoret of Zir Anpin. This Typhoret is encompassed in mercy and judgment. Rabbi Shimon lists the five types of impropriety revealed in the female from the side of the five judgments. 304 in the image of man, the wholeness of male and female began to be prepared. That is Zeir Anpin that includes male and female. Afterwards, when the form of man was prepared in his correction, Zeir Anpin began to spread from his chest between his two arms in the area where his beard hairs hang. Since this area is referred to as Typhoret, this Typhoret spread and prepared two chests and then took to the back and made the skull of the female, which is Malchut. She is totally concealed from all sides. The hair and the facial countenance of the head, these male and female as one were made by Typhoret and male and female are referred to as man as is written according to the beauty head Typhoret of a man that it may remain in the house. Yeshayah 4413 305 When the facial countenance of the female head was created a lock of hair hung in the back of Zir Anpin and hung until the head of the female and her head hairs were roused all red consisting of all hues this is what is written and the hair of your head like purple Sure Hashirim 76 what is purple it is hues blended inclusively within hues 306 we have learned that typhoret spreads from the center of the heart from the cavity in the chest permeates and crosses to the other side meaning the back and fixes the countenance of the female to the center she starts at the center and ends at the center 307 typhoret further expanded and the intestines of the male were prepared he put into that area all the mercy and every facet of compassion we have learned that 600 times 1000 10,000 creatures of compassion are attached in these intestines and they are referred to as creatures of intestines as is written therefore my inward parts are Move for him I will surely have mercy on him says Hashem Yirmeyah 3119 308 We have learned that Typhoret is encompassed in mercy and encompassed in judgment the compassion permeates in the brains of the male that is Zeir Anpin as mentioned above and crosses and illuminates the other side meaning the back of Zeir Anpin it prepares the intestines of the female meaning her mokin and her intestines were established by the side of judgment 309 We have learned that the male which is Zeir Anpin was prepared on his side which is the right in the 248 corrections that are included in him some of them are in the innermost of Zeir Anpin and some on his external some of them are compassionate and some of them judgmental all of those that are judgmental were attached in the judgments in the back of Zeir Anpin where the female expands and they join together and spread on her side 310 We have learned that five types of impropriety were revealed in her from the side of the five Judgments which are she said viewer type at net sash hot of the left column that were attached to the female five judgments were dispersed in 248 paths as we have learned hearing a woman's voice is an impropriety the side of the hair of a woman is an impropriety the side of the thigh of a woman is an impropriety the side of the hand of a woman is an impropriety and the side of the foot of a woman is an impropriety these two hand and foot our friends did not preach about however these two are even more than an impropriety section 43 a pure covering we read about the cubic called she said rabbi shimon considers and explains the perfection of abraham and how it came about he says that man includes both she said and viewer and therefore in all this fire there exists a right and a left judgment and mercy 311 we have learned in the hidden book that the male spread and was established in his own formations the shape of a clean covering was prepared and it Became a clear cubit. The length of that cubit is 248 worlds. Everything depends on that opening of the cubit called Yud. As soon as that Yud, which is the opening of the cubit, is revealed, the uppermost Chisit becomes apparent. This cubit is called Chisit and is dependent on the opening of the cubit, but it is not considered Chisit until the Yud of the mouth of the cubit becomes uncovered. 312. Come and see that Abraham was not considered perfect in this Chisit up until the Yud of the cubit was revealed. That is the crown of Yud. As soon as it was uncovered, he was considered perfect. This is what is written Walk before me and be perfect. Verse 171. Actually perfect. It is also written, I was also upright before him and have kept myself from my iniquity. 2 Samuel 2224. He asks, What does it mean the relationship of the beginning of the verse to the conclusion of the verse? He replies, It is telling about whoever uncovers that Yud, meaning he reveals the Chakma in the crown of Yud and who is carefully guarding himself so as not to give the yet to another's jurisdiction of the other side he will be perfect for the world to come and he will be bound in the bundle of life meaning that his soul will be included in Malchut that is referred to as the bundle of life since the three columns get tied into one bundle what is the other's jurisdiction it refers to what is written and has married the daughter of a strange El Malachi 211 that means Malchut of the other side which draws Chakma from above downwards therefore it is written I was also upright before him since he is perfect when revealing the yet meaning in the aspect of the crown of Yezid that illuminates from below upwards then and have kept myself from my iniquity not to adhere to daughters of a strange El as mentioned above 313 when this cubit gets extended the side of Bura is extended from the Bura of the left of the female which are the five Bura Chisid Bura Typhur at Netz
They consisted of judgment in judgment without Jesus. 314 We have learned that prior to the time the corrections of the king were prepared, the Atika of Atitan, that is the supreme emanator, was constructing worlds and working out corrections for existence. The female was not firmly established and did not endure until the uppermost Jesus descended and caused them to endure due to her being Chakma of the left that has no lasting endurance except by vesting with the Jesus of the right as mentioned above the constructions of the female were firmly established with Yezid that is considered Chisa this is what is written and these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom before there reigned any king Bershi 3631 meaning the area where all judgments exist since Edom is indicative of judgments they were not firmly established until everything was restored Chisa emerged and was situated at the mouth of Yezid which is the crown of Yezid where Chakma is revealed this is what is written and died and died Bershi 3632 to 39 since they did not last and were not firmly established because they consisted of judgment in judgment devoid of Chisa 315 if you will wonder that all our judgments why is it written and Saul of Rehoboth by the river reigned in his place of 37 it does not seem that there will be judgment since we have learned that Rehoboth by the river means by from whose source are open 50 gates of lights and candles to the six corners of the world that is Zeir and then referred to as world and therefore it was called Rehoboth so we see that Saul of Rehoboth by the river is not of judgment he replies we have learned that they all are judgments except for one the last king that lasted that is Hadir the Saul from Rehoboth by the river is only one side the left side that spread and emerged from Rehoboth by the river therefore he too is of judgment 316 none of them endured and yet do not say they were voided it is simply that they did not endure in that kingdom of judgment until this last one of all was roused and awakened and spread out as is written and Hadir reigned in his place of 39 who is Hadir it is the uppermost Jesus and the name of his city was Pau what is Pau it is that through him a man cries Hepoi who merits the Holy Spirit Irolid his city is derived from Hitor Ridlid revival and the name of his wife was Mehed at this point they became firmly established from each other Malchut is called his wife something that is not written by them all, the name of his wife 317 Mehe table indicates perfuming one in the other of male and female Zeir and is the secret of Yud Hevav Hefully spelled with Aleph which numerically amount to 45 and the female the secret of Yud Hevav Hefully spelled with He which is numerically 52 and Mehe table numerically amounts to 45 plus 52 daughter of Matri Dibid meaning that due to the constructions within her from the side of Bureau Matrit is derived from Tirdid inconvenience daughter of Mezahav lit golden waters Dibid meaning that golden waters were firmly established and involved one in the other mercy and judgment since gold indicates judgment that is the illumination of Chakma waters is the secret of Shesedim they are included together here were joined the woman to the male Mehe table with her section 45 the arms of the male Rabbi Shimon describes the arms and Legs and the joints tied in the arms he says that the entire body is connected to all three brains, Chakma Bana and Dad, and they connect to the right arm this has application to David because he was connected with the patriarchs on the right he talks about the right hand of God and about the left hand and about when judgments are tempered with compassion and when they are not 318 on the sides he separates into arms and legs in the arms of the male one is right and one is left three. Joints were tied in the one arm the right one and were included in the two arms he asks could you imagine that they were included it should have said that they are in both arms he replies it is only that there are three joints in the right arm and three joints in the left and the three joints of the right were included in the three joints of the left this is why it is only written one arm this is the left by the right it is not written arm but it is merely called your right hand Hashem. Shema 156, the right hand of Hashem Tehillim 11816 when it contains the three joints of the patriarchs that were given them as their portion 319 you might ask aren't they located in the three cavities of the brain in the skull and not in the body since there is no Chakma Bana except in the head he replies we have learned that all three brains, Chakma Bana and Dad, permeate and are connected to the whole body the entire body is connected to these three and they connect to the right arm that is why David was desirous and said sit you at my right hand David 1101 because he was connected with the patriarchs Jesus Bura and Tiferet that were transformed to Chakma Bana and were connected to the right as mentioned above David will return there to a perfected throne that is to say David is the secret of Malchud which is a leg of the throne since Jesus Bura and Tiferet is the secret of the three legs of the throne he is the fourth and completes the throne. Therefore it is written the stone which the builders rejected has become the headstone of the corner of it 11822 which was said about Malchut called David because he sat at the right this is what is written for you shall rest and stand up for your allotted portion at the end of the days also write Daniel 1213 he reminded him of the right end that is to say he informed him that he was like one that gained the king's favor in which case the king receives him to the right praise is a lot of the one to whom the king extends his right to receive him under his right when this right sits its three knots permeate and illuminate to the lower ones 320 the arm does not extend its hand with the three joints that we mentioned meaning with the mokin of Chakma Bani where the domination of the right is therefore it is referred to as the right of Hashem as mentioned above when the wicked are awakened and increase in the world the other three joints get reawakened which are of Harsh judgment and extend the arm when he extends the arm it is the right hand yet it is called O arm of Hashem Yeshayah 519 and your stretched out arm to arm 929 during the period that these three joints of the right are in the three other joints which are harsh judgment all are referred to as the right and he executes judgment with compassion this is what is written your right hand Hashem is glorious in power your right hand Hashem dash the enemy in pieces Shema 156 since compassion gets awakened in the judgments 321 we have learned that with this right are attached 370-000-000 of those who are called right which are the number of the entirety of Mokin and 185-000-000 from the arm that is called the arm of Hashem that is the mystery of the gelling of the lights in the left column for the wicked which is the right called the arm of Hashem as mentioned previously that is the mystery of right and left that are both of the right the arm is suspended from the one end. The other for the arm is also comprised of the right and the left the one and the other are called Tiferet since the Tiferet is also composed of right and left it is written at the right hand of Moses Yeshayah 6312 which is here the right arm is the left as is written his glorious arm of it so we see that they are included this with that 322 we have learned that in the left hand are attached 450 shielded ones that hang on to each and every finger on each and every finger exists 10,000 shielded ones go figure out how many there are in the entire hand the right is called holy help that emerges from the three joints in the right arm as is written and behold my hand shall be with you two smooth 312 attached from this are 41,000 and 580,000 helpers in the whole world they are called the uppermost hand of Hashem and the lower hand of Hashem although the hand of Hashem is always the left one if they are worthy it is the right of Hashem as the hand is included in the arm and becomes a help and is referred to as right if not then it is the lower hand of Hashem which is left we have learned that when harsh judgments get awakened to descend upon the world it is written here the council lit secret of Hashem is with them that fear him Tehillim 2514 section 46 the song we learn how Atika of Atitan let sleep fall upon Zer and separated the female from him Rabbi Shimon talks about the judgments that are from the male and those that are from the female he tells how the male and female are joined to be perfumed together and how the upper and lower grades are thus corrected 323 we have learned in the hidden book that all the judgments that are from the male Zeir and are rough in the beginning and soft at the end all the judgments that exist from the female are soft in the beginning and rough at the end had they not joined to a single union the world could not have endured until the attic of Atitan the most concealed of all separated them one from each other and thereafter joined them to be firmly established together 324 when he separated them he let the sleep fall upon Zer Enpin and separated the female from the back of his sides he prepared her with all her adornments and saved her for his day for Shabbat to bring her to the male to Zeir Enpin this is what is written and Hashem Elohim caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man and he slept Bershi 221 what is meant by and he slept this is what it is written awake why sleep you Hashem Tehillim 4424 and he took one of his sides Bershi 221 what is meant by one that is meant to indic
A fleshy ashes called 3626 325 when the Shabbat wished to enter that is the period between sundown and nightfall he was creating spirits ghosts and storms which are harmful spirits of the world before he finished them the queen came with all her adornments from the Shabbat and sat down before him in the stage she achieves the first three spirat of Chaya that subdue and make void all the harmful ones and the other side since then there exists no dominion in the world besides her during the time she sat in his presence he put down these creatures and they were not completed because the queen sat with the king and they were joined face to face who would enter between them and who would dare get close to them when they joined they were firmly established from each other since the Shabbat is a day in which everything becomes fragrant therefore the judgments got firmly established in each other since the judgments of the male that are strong at the beginning become firmly established. At the top of the female for the judgments there are soft the judgments of the female that are rough at the end get firmly established in the end of the male where the judgments are soft and the upper grades and lower grades are corrected section 47 Cain and Abel Rabbi Shimon tells us how the hidden book says that Atika Abitikin wished to see if the judgments were perfumed when Adam and Eve joined together a harsh judgment emerged from her and the world could not tolerate it since the snake instilled the impurity of harsh judgment in her so she could not be perfumed even though after Cain's birth she was weakened and became perfumed and gave birth to a sweeter soul Abel Cain rose above him because he was stronger having all the judgments adhering to him God submerged Cain in the whole of the great abyss together with his brother they formed one body from which descend the souls of all sinful people who are strong in spirit 326 we have learned this in the hidden book the holy Atika wished to see if the judgments were firmly established Adam and Eve were joined to each other and a harsh judgment emerged from the female side as is written and Adam knew Eve his wife and she conceived and bore Cain saying I have acquired bear she 41 the world could not tolerate it since Eve was not yet firmly established and the harsh snake instilled the impurity of harsh judgment in her so that she could not be firmly established therefore when Cain emerged from the side of the female he exited rough and hard harsh in judgment and heavy in judgment as soon as Cain emerged from her she was weakened and became firmly established following that she gave birth to another soul that was more sweetened but the first Cain rose above him being stronger in that all the judgments adhere to him 327 come and see what is written and it came to pass when they were in the field of eight that is the known field of above in the field that is called the field of Apple trees meaning Malchud from where they were born the judgment of Cain overcame his brother because he was harsher than him and he subdued him and hid him beneath until the Holy One blessed be he was roused by it and removed Cain from his presence he submerged him in the whole of the great abyss and he included his brother in that depression of the great ocean that firmly establishes the uppermost tears from them to send the souls to the world to each man according to his way 328 he returns to the time prior to when they were joined one with the other when they were covered since Cain bound and hid Abel before him Cain was also hiding as it says and from your face I shall be hid Abel 14 he says although they were hidden they prevailed and extended one to the other and formed one body namely under the domination of Cain from that body to send the souls of the wicked sinful and strong in spirit being under the domination of Cain he asks is it then from both together that the souls descend are they not two opposites he replies only the one to his side and the other to his side meaning to say that from Cain are drawn the souls of the wicked that adhere to the refuse of the left and from Abel are drawn the souls of the wicked that adhere to the refuse of the right all this is prior to when they were combined with each other in the depression of the great ocean that firmly establishes the upper tiers of above however after they were sweetened the souls of it righteous are drawn from them that are not so righteous praised are those righteous whose souls are drawn from this holy body called Adam which includes everyone and is a place that the crowns the secret of the first three spirat and the holy spirat get joined together in the bundle of the cluster meaning to say that all the spirat of the first three spirat and the six ends the right and the left are included in it together 329 praised are the righteous that all these holy things that are Said in the uppermost Holy Spirit, a spirit in which all the most holy were included was revealed to you, which are matters to which those above and those below listen. Praise are you incapable of judging, meaning those who can sit in a court of judges, the reapers of the field, that you will be aware of these things and you will pay attention to them. You shall know your Lord face to face. I do I with these matters, you will merit the world to come. This is what it says. Know therefore this day. And consider it in your heart that Hashem, who is Adikim, and he is Elohim, Devarim 439, which is Zeirim, and all is one, blessed is his name forever and forever. More section 48, the upper grades below and the lower grades above. Rabbi Shimon says that the shape of man is the uppermost correction that comprises everything, and that the righteous man is an everlasting foundation. 330, Rabbi Shimon said, I see the upper ones below and the lower ones above the upper grades. Below and the lower grades above that is the shape of man who is the uppermost correction that comprises everything 331 we have learned that it is written but the righteous is an everlasting foundation Mishlei 1025 as he includes six Hebshish in one source this is what is written his legs are pillars of marble Hebshish Sher Hasherim 515 section 49 general and particular particular in general the hidden book says that the highest Tvirat in general and in particular and the lowest Tvirat in particular and in general were included in man Rabbi Shimon explains the meaning of this finally he says that the masters of judgment from below get attached in the lowest Tvirat 332 we have learned in the hidden book that in man were included the uppermost Tvirat from the chest upwards in general and in particular and in man were included the lowest Tvirat that is from the chest downwards in particular and in general he explains the uppermost Tvirat are in general as we have learned within the form of all the forms that is the form of man in particular that is in the fingers of the hand which are five corresponding to five the lowest spirot in the toes of the feet are particular in general since the body that is typhoid is not seen with them since they are outside the torso that is why they are not part of the body since the body was removed from them 333 he asks if so what is the meaning of and his feet shall stand in that day. Zachary 144 it seems that they are not outside of the body that is zeir and since it is ascribed to him he answers it is the legs of the body meaning the masters of judgment to do revenge on the wicked they are referred to as those who have legs since from them are the harsh judgments the masters of judgment from below get attached in the lowest spirot that are called legs and about this is written and his feet legs shall stand section 50 the generality of Man Rabbi Shimon tells how all the formations of above that are in the holy body the wholeness of man irrigate and illuminate one another until they enlighten all the world he talks about the desire of the clipot for the students of the Torah since they wish to nourish from the holy body we learn that even angels are not outside of the generality of the holy body Rabbi Shimon describes those spirits who left the general holy body and are from the left side and tells what their actions are he tells us that the hidden book says that when Seth was born the worlds above and below were perfumed and perfected this was male and female from the aspect of the holy body and the worlds were bound together and became one body thus as the spirit was drawn and entered that body everything throughout the universe is seen to be one whoever excludes himself from general humanity does not enter into the realm of man when he leaves this world within the generality of man there is all the perfection of faith the hidden book says that whoever keeps a holy body overnight when the spirit has left it makes a flaw in the body of the world so it must not stay overnight rabbi shimon talks about the nephilim or fallen ones who mated with the daughters of men the fallen ones are of the aspect of spirits of the left that do not bond to the bodies or infinite at all but rather to malchut refer to as earth we hear how god repented that he had ever made man on the earth and how he decided to destroy men below all the same since one cannot differentiate between men above and men below the destruction of men below flaws of men above if the wisdom of eric Enfin would have illuminated malchut there would not have been a flood for wisdom includes everything this is concealed chakma with which man's correction was established and strengthened with this rabbi shimon calls upon the most ancient of all ancient ones to witness that he has not revealed these secrets for his own honor but only so that the friends should not err in his ways 334 we have learned that all these formations of above that are in the holy body which is the wholeness of man are derived one from the other and are attached to each other they irrigate each other like the blood that runs with the flow of the veins to this direction and that direction from this area to that area and they irrigate the body here too they irrigate each other and illuminate each other until they enlighten all the worlds and are blessed
Those that are not in the body but are from the left column who are unclean and defile all those that will get near to them. 337 We have learned all these are from the spirit of the left side that was not sweetened in man that is the central column Z-E-I-R-N and they left the general holy body and did not adhere to it. Therefore they are all unclean. They go wandering in the world and reach the depression of the great abyss where Cain was submerged to adhere in the first judgment that is called. Cain that was expelled from the general body below since it was of the left without a right they flutter and wander throughout the world and fly and do not get attached to the wholeness of the body that is the central column therefore they are outside of all the camps above and below and are defiled about them it is written outside of the camp shall his habitation be Vayikra 1346 338 with the spirit that is called Abel this is more fragrant in the generality of the holy body other spirits emanate that are more firmly established and they adhere yet do not adhere to the body all are suspended in the air and they emanate from the corpus of defiled spirits as mentioned above they hear whatever they hear above and from them it gets known to the spirits below because they divulge everything to them 339 we have learned in the hidden book that as soon as the whole of man the holy body was firmly established above which is composed of male and female meaning Z-E-I-R-N -N. It's female they were joined for a third time overall perfume emerged that is SHET and the worlds above and below were firmly established from here on the world of above and below was perfected this was male and female from the aspect of the holy body which is the central column and the worlds were bound and got attached to each other and become one body which is SHET the spirit got drawn and entered that body throughout the worlds only one is seen holy 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 is Hashem lord of hosts the whole earth is full of his glory is 63 since all is one body since three times holy is the secret of the three columns that incorporated into one 340 we have learned that as soon as ZEIR and his female became firmly established one in the other judgment was connected with compassion and the female was firmly established by the male that is ZEIR and therefore they could not ascend one without the other this is similar to the palm tree that does not ascend and produce fruits one without the other female tree without the male tree about this we have learned that whoever excludes himself in this world from general humanity that is the central column thereafter when he exits from this world he does not enter into the realm of man this is referred to as the holy body which is Zeir and Briya Yitzra Isiyah of holiness rather he enters in these that are not called man that is Briya Yitzra Isiyah of defilement which were expelled from the inclusiveness of it. Body that is the central column 341 we have learned we will make you necklets of gold studded with silver sure hashering 111 meaning that the judgment the one called gold which is the illumination of Chakma of the left was spiced with mercy that is called studs of silver meaning Chakma was coated with chesedim so there is no judgment that has no mercy in it since they are included in one another about this it is written your cheeks would be comely with rows of jewels your neck with. Strings of beads of the ten rows of jewels has the same meaning as in the verse necklets of gold which are from the left strings of beads has the same meaning as in the verse studded with silver meaning right cheese your neck is in the realm of the female which is the matron which is Malchut since the neck contains the temple of above which is Yezid of Malchut the terrestrial Jerusalem and the temple in it are also called the neck all this takes place after the female gets firmly established by the male and the wholeness of man is formed this is the inclusiveness of faith why faith it is because within it in the generality of man there is all the perfection of faith 342 we have learned that when the soul of whoever is called man left him and he died it is not permitted to have him stay in the house and rest overnight on the ground so as not to put the honor of that body to shame being a body without a soul it is written nevertheless man abides not in honor. Tehillim 4913 man who is the most honored abides not after death what is the reason it is because if they do that he is like the beasts that perish but that is after death he is like the beasts just like animals were never part of humans which is why no holy spirit is apparent upon them here too a dead man is just like an animal a body without a spirit therefore this body that is most precious of all should not be put to shame 343 we have learned in the hidden book that whoever keeps this holy body overnight when it is devoid of spirit makes a flaw in the body of the worlds that is the uppermost man it is therefore not permitted to have it stay overnight in a holy place in the land where justice resides that is the land of Israel where it is written his body shall not remain all night that your land be not defiled Devarim 2123 this precious body is referred to as the image of the king if one let it stay overnight it would appear to be like one of the animals that is Without spirit like a beast as mentioned above 344 we have learned the sons of Elohim saw that the daughters of men were fair bear sheet 62 these are the ones that were hidden meaning they were distanced from holiness and fell into the crevice of the great abyss that is as mentioned above the daughters of man that certain man this is Zeir and they being an aspect of Abel he says about them above that they get more firmly established in the generality of the holy body which is Zeir. And it is written and they bore children to them the same were mighty men of old lit the world live it for meaning to say that they are from the one that was called the world as we have learned concerning the days of the world Zeir and except that they are from the other side that sometimes they bond to Zeir and and sometimes not they adhere to the body and they do not adhere all are suspended in the air men of renowned lit name bear sheet 64 meaning of Malchut is referred to as name and they are not from Zeir and referred to as world. These are the spirits of the left that were not firmly established with man. Therefore, spirits and demons get out into the world from them to adhere to the wicked. 345. There were Nephilim lit fallen ones in the earth. But this excludes the other ones that were not on the earth at that time that are not of the aspect of Malchut referred to as earth. The fallen ones are Az and Azel who were on the earth. They are of the aspect of spirits of the left which do not bond to the body at all, which is Zeir and but to Malchut referred to as earth, which is the left. The sons of Elohim were not on the earth, which is Malchut, but they were attached yet not attached to the holy body that is Zeir and as mentioned above. This is a secret that we have learned. 346. It is written and Hashem repented that he made man on the earth. But six, he excludes the man above that was not on earth, meaning that he is not from the aspect of Malchut called. Earth, the entire punishment of the flood was only from the aspect of Malchud, which is the secret of earth, but not anything above it. And Hashem repented that is said of Zerampin, and it grieved him at his heart. But it does not say that he was grieved, but rather it grieved him, since it grieved only him, as this is dependent upon him. That is to say, the deeds of the lower ones reach Zeir and to exclude those who are not grieved. The deeds of the lower ones, since the lower ones do not harm them, that refers to above of Zeir and at his heart. It does not say in his heart, but rather at his heart, as someone that is grieved for his Lord. This alludes to the heart of all hearts, which is Eric and that is vested in the innermost of Zeir and 347. And Hashem said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth. If it's seven from the face of the earth comes to exclude man from above Malchut, that is called earth, you might say only man below exclusively and it. Man above was not flawed at all as a result of this but you cannot exclude or differentiate between one and the other at all since one cannot exist without the other when the man below is obliterated the man above is also flawed 348 if wisdom had sealed from all that is if the Chakma of Eric Anpin would have illuminated to Malchut everything would have been fixed to its original form and there would not have been a flood it is written I wisdom dwell with prudence Mishle 812 do not read it as dwell with but rather cause to dwell 349 if not for the correction of man the world would not have existed this is what is written Hashem by wisdom founded the earth of it 319 it is also written but no found favor in the eyes of Hashem Bear sheet 68 350 we have learned that all the brains depend on that brain that is in concealed Chakma Chakma is inclusive of everything this is concealed Chakma with which man's correction was established and strengthened so that everything should be settled in an orderly way each one in its place this is what is written wisdom strengthens the wise more than ten rulers kahilat 719 that is the tense fire that are the perfect establishment of man the man is their inmost formation since the brains that are in the inmost part are referred to as man with which the spirit exists 351 all the perfect faith of the one who stands on the throne is apparent with this correction of man as is written the likeness is the appearance of a man above upon it yashis 126 and one like a son of man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days and they brought him near before him daniel 713 until here the matters are vague and the reasons are obvious praise
Regret what I said but rather they should deserve to exist longer in this world it is apparent to the most ancient of all the ancient ones the most concealed of all concealed that not for my honor I have done this and not for the honor of my family and not for the honor of these friends it is only that they should not err in his ways and should not enter with shame into his palace so they will not be prevented from entering praise is my lot with them in the world to come. Section 51 The passing of the three friends we learned that before they could leave the chamber Rabbi Yussi, Rabbi Shizkiah and Rabbi Yesedai and the other friends saw holy angels carrying them away Rabbi Shimon is beside himself with fear that his revelations have caused this event until a voice tells him that he deserves praise the voice says that the souls of the friends passed away through perfection and that they joined with great passion and will and valor at the time of their Deaths the uppermost angels took their souls and raised them above all the faces of the rabbis were shining brightly Rabbi Abba was sad for some days until he and Rabbi Shimon saw the angels showing their dead friends the treasures and chambers prepared for their honor and then he was comforted from that day on the friends did not leave Rabbi Shimon's house and no one else was ever present when he revealed secrets to them he called them the seven eyes of Hashem and Rabbi Yehuda referred to him as Shabbat from which all six days get their blessing 353 we have learned prior to the exit of these friends from that chamber that Rabbi Yossi son of Rabbi Yaakov Rabbi Shizkiah and Rabbi Yesedai the friends saw that holy angels carried them in that veil Rabbi Shimon said something and the friends became calm he cried out and said perhaps heaven forbid or it was decreed for us to get punished since it was revealed through us what has not been revealed since the day Moses stood on. Mount Sinai it is written and he was there with Hashem forty days and forty nights Shema 3428 why am I here if this is the reason for their punishment 354 he heard a voice say Rabbi Shimon you deserve praise praise is your lot and the lot of your friends that live with you since it was revealed to you what has not been revealed to all the legions above however come and see that it is written he shall lay its foundation with his firstborn and with his youngest son shall he set up the gates of it Yahashua 626 certainly the souls of the friends joined with great passion and will and valor at the time they were taken by the angels praise is their lot that through perfection they passed away 355 we have learned that while these matters were revealed roused and declared in 250 worlds ancient matters were revealed below while they were still spicing or perfuming their souls with these matters their soul left with a kiss and was connected in that veil curtain and it Uppermost angels took them and raised them above 356 Rabbi Shimon said how happy is a lot of these three and praise is our lot in the world to come for this a second voice sounded and said but you that did cleave to Hashem your Elohim are alive every one of you this day to 44 they got up and left everywhere they looked fragrances were ascending Rabbi Shimon said it seems from this that the world is getting blessed because of us all their faces were shining bright and the people of the world could not look at them 357 we have learned that 10 entered the circle veil and 7 left it Rabbi Shimon was rejoicing but Rabbi Abba was saddened one day Rabbi Shimon was sitting with Rabbi Abba Rabbi Shimon said something they saw the three friends whom upper angels were bringing and showing them the treasures and chambers above for their honor they were introducing them into the mountains of refined balsam Rabbi Abba's mind was calm and at peace 358 we have learned that from that day on the friends did not leave the residence of Rabbi Shimon when Rabbi Shimon was revealing secrets nobody was present except for them Rabbi Shimon referred to them as we are the seven eyes of Hashem as is written those seven eyes of Hashem Zachariah 410 which is applicable to us Rabbi Abba said we are six candles illuminating from the seventh which is the secret of Bina you are the seventh of each one because the six cannot endure which are Shisat Burit Tiferet Netzach Hot and yes it say from the seventh which is Bina since everything is dependent on the seventh Rabbi Yehuda used to refer to him as Shabbat from which all six days get their blessing as is written Shabbat to Hashem Shema 2010 or holy to Hashem just as Shabbat is holy to Hashem so is Rabbi Shimon holy Shabbat to Hashem section 52 Elijah Rabbi Shimon is wondering why Elijah was not present in the chamber when the holy matters were revealed Elijah arrives with Three drops of light and Rabbi Shimon asks him why he was not available during the feast that they had prepared. Elijah explains that he had wanted to be there but God had sent him on a mission to do miracles for Rabbi Hamnon Asaba the elder and his friends when he returned he found the angels carrying the three friends he and Rabbi Shimon talk about the crowns that are given to the righteous during the new moon holidays and Shabbat Elijah tells him that he will be decorated and sanctified more than all the others and that Rabbi Shimon Bar is the holy one of Hashem who is called honorable in this world and in the world to come. 359 Rabbi Shimon said I wonder about the hairy one girdled around his waist that is Elijah why was he not in our chamber during the time these holy matters were revealed while he wondered Elijah arrived with three drops of light brightening his countenance Rabbi Shimon said to him what is the reason that my lord was not available during the wine feast. That was being enacted and prepared for his master on this joyous day 360 he Elijah said to him on your life Rabbi seven days prior to your entering your chamber all those that were to come in and be with you in the chamber were being chosen in the presence of the Holy One blessed be he I was there and wanted to be in his presence in the chamber they had me and I was not able to go since on that particular day the Holy One blessed be he sent me on a mission to do miracles for Rabbi Hamnon Asaba the elder and his friends who had been compromised by an informer to the king's palace I caused a miracle to happen for their sake I collapsed the wall in the king's temple so that 45 ministers got entangled in the construction of the wall and fell with IT and died I removed Rabbi Hamnon Asaba and his friends and threw them to the valley of Ono and they were saved I prepared for them bread and water because they hadn't eaten for three days all that day that you were in that chamber. I did not leave them 361 when I returned I found that the three friends were on the spread curtain that these pillars that is the angels were carrying I asked the angels and they told me that this was the portion of the Holy One blessed be he from Rabbi Shimon's and his friends festivity praised are you Rabbi Shimon and praised is your lot and the lot of the friends that reside with you how many levels were prepared for you in the world to come and how many bright lights are destined to illuminate for you 362 come and see the stay which they decorated for your sake 50 crowns for Rabbi Pinches Ben Yair your father-in-law accompanied him in all these rivers of the mountains of pure balsam trees he picked his place and was restored Rabbi Shimon said to him the righteous are connected to the source of the crowns during the new moon holidays and Shabbat more than during other days 363 Elijah told him also all those that are outside they ascend as well as is written and it shall come to pass that every new moon and every Shabbat shall all flesh come. Yeshua 6623 that is referring to those on the outside who are not righteous. Therefore the scripture refers to them as all flesh if those come and most certainly the righteous will come. Why every new moon? Because it is then that the patriarchs who are the holy chariots are decorated and the Shesed Bura and Tiferet of Zeir and been referred to as patriarchs are elevated and become Shachmabana and Da'at. And every Shabbat then the seventh of the six days gets decorated because then Malchut acquires the first three Sfirat as is written and Elohim blessed the seventh day. Bereshit 23 364 you are Rabbi Shimon the seventh of the six and you will be decorated and sanctified more than all the others. These righteous friends are destined to delight in three delights that is the three meals that are relevant to the seventh in the world to come because of you it is written and call the Shabbat. Delight the holy day of Hashem honorable Yeshayah 5813 who is the holy one of Hashem that is Rabbi Shimon bar Yukai, who is called honorable in this world and the world to come the end of the holy Idra Rabbi section 13 continuation of Naso fear humility and piety Rabbi Yitzhak says that whoever fears sin has awe and humility and piety because all of these are included in the fear of heaven Rabbi Yehuda talks about the angel Michael who is a priest above and about the priest below who called is an angel since he comes from the aspect of mercy he says that the priest merited mercy because of his fear of God we learn from Rabbi Yehuda that whoever was joined male and female was called Adam Adam fears heaven so that humility and piety and mercy are with him as well the world cannot be built without the presence of male and female 135 speak to Aaron and to his son saying in this way you shall bless me midbar 622 Rabbi
The angel of Hashem, Hashem Ksebiot, this is what is meant by for the priest's lips should keep knowledge and they should seek Torah at his mouth for he is a messenger angel of Hashem Ksebiot. Malachi 27 Rabbi Yehuda asked why did the priest merit to be referred to as the angel of Hashem Ksebiot just like the angel of Hashem Ksebiot is a priest above in heaven so too is a priest an angel of Hashem Ksebiot below 138 who is the angel of Hashem Ksebiot above that is Michael the great minister. Who emanates from Chesed above and is the high priest of you above the high priest below is called an angel of Hashem Sevet since he has come from the aspect of Chesed what is Chesed mercy within mercy therefore there is no priest coming from the aspect of judgment what is the reason that a priest merited Chesed because of all this is what is meant by but the steadfast love Chesed of Hashem is from everlasting world to everlasting world upon those who fear him 139 he asks why is it that he says world twice in from world to world Rabbi Yitzhak said it is like it was established in the holy gathering that world is one and to world is the second these are the two worlds Ceir Enpin and Malchut Rabbi Shia said if so it should have said from the world to the world with the definite article he said to him these are two worlds that return to be one world meaning to say that they unite with each other therefore there is no definite article to each one Rabbi Laser. Said to Rabbi Yitzhak, how long will you keep your word so veiled from the world to the world means the inclusion of the uppermost secret which is man above who is Zeir Enpin and man below who is Malchut. This is what is meant by world and world. It is written the days of old lit world, Yeshaya 639 and years of old world. It was already explained in the most holy gathering that they refer to Zeir Enpin that is called world 140. That is what is meant by but the steadfast love of Hashem is from world to world upon those who fear him. It is to teach that whoever is sin-fearing is called Adam. Two worlds that are called man dwell on him. When does this happen? Rabbi Laser said, if he has all humility and piety since all is all inclusive, 141. Rabbi Yehuda said, we learned here that Adam man comprises of male and female. He said to him, certainly it is so that he was included in Adam since whoever was joined male and female was called man and then he is heaven fearing not. Only that but humility dwells upon him and piety prevails upon him also whoever is not male and female has no fear no humility no piety therefore Adam is considered all comprehensive since he is called man she said prevails as is written for I have said the world is built by love she said Tehillim 893 the world cannot be built without the presence of male and female 142 it is written but the steadfast love of Hashem is from world to world upon those who fear him since those who fear him are the wholeness of man meaning both male and female because if not so one is not fearful another explanation for but the steadfast love she said of Hashem from world to world these are the priests that come from the side of she said they inherit this portion emanating from the upper world that is Zeir and into the lower world which is Malchut those who fear him are the priests below that are inclusive of male and female as is written and make atonement for himself and for his house Vayikra. 166 which is a female in order to be included in the secret of man who is both male and female and his righteousness to children's children because he merited to have grandchildren Rabbi Yehuda said if so what is his righteousness it needed to say his Jesus since through Jesus he merited to have grandchildren section 14 an unmarried priest is not allowed to serve we are told that a priest who does not have a wife is not permitted to carry out his duties because the Shechinah does not dwell in someone unmarried and it is imperative for a priest to have the Shechinah dwell in him 143 Rabbi Laser said this is the secret that we learned of this Hebzot which refers to Malchut because Shizot was taken out of man Bereshit 223 it is also written Shizot shall be called woman and Zot is included in man who is Zeir and which is Jesus and Zot is female Jesus is male therefore the male that comes from the white side which is Jesus is called Chesed and Zod is referred to as righteousness since she comes from the side of red that is left in judgment that is why she is called woman Hebeshah which is derived from fire Hebesh and righteousness that is the reason it is written and his righteousness to children's children Tehillim 10317 IT is not written and his Chesed what is the meaning of his righteousness this is the righteousness of Chesed it spouse for they sweeten one another since his righteousness includes also the male that is Chesed that is why it is written his righteousness therefore we have learned that any priest that does not have a wife is not permitted to carry out his duties since it is written and make atonement for himself and for his house Vayikra 1617 144 Rabbi Yitzhak said therefore a priest is not permitted to do his duties if he has no wife since the Shechinah does not dwell in someone who is not married it is more imperative for the priest to have the Shechinah Dwelling among them and the rest of the nation when the Sheshan arrests on them, Chesed resides among them and they are considered pious men have passed and they are required to bless the nation and this is what is meant by and your pious ones shall bless you. Tehillim 14510 it is also written let your tummy and your urim be with your pious one. Devarim 338 since the priest is considered pious he needs to bless which is why it is written speak to Aaron and to his son saying in this way you shall bless me. Midbar 623 the reason is that they are considered pious and it is written and your pious ones shall bless you. Section 15 in this way you shall bless. Rabbi Yitzhak says that the one who gives the blessing must do so with fear with humility and with holiness. He talks about righteousness and a great plague that awakens judgments. The priest should give his blessings on Malchut with mercy and he should perfume her for the sake of the children of Israel so that no judgments will exist in her Rabbi Yitzhak says that Daniel when he saw the vision was not afraid and he was not a prophet and yet he was holier than the prophets we hear Rabbi Yehuda's teaching about what happens when the priest stands up and spreads his hands for the blessing we are told that every priest who raises his palms needs to become holier through one who is sanctified the Levite in order to add holiness to holiness and that the Levite must first sanctify himself. Everyone should seek knowledge from the priest who must know the Torah and who is a messenger from God 145 in this way you shall bless the children of Israel saying to them Bimidbar 623 in this way you shall bless namely in the holy tongue in this way you shall bless namely with awe in this way Hebko you shall bless namely with humility since Malchut is called COH wherein our holiness and humility Rabbi Abba said in this way you shall bless we learned that this Righteousness which is Malchut is called Ko since all the judgments come from Ko since COH is derived from Kahelit Dark namely when Malchut is in the left aspect when it is dim and doesn't shine and all the judgments flow from her that is what Rabbi Lazar said. The meaning of a great plague had Mach of Ebedbar 1133 is a plague of Ko as it is written till now had Ko you would not hear Shemot 716 as Moses threatened Pharaoh with the name COH in accordance with this it is written in. This Hebzot you shall know that I am Hashem Ebed 17 that is he was threatening with the name of Zot and all is one since Malchut is called both COH and Zot it is also written neither did he set his heart even to the side of Ebed 23 which is ready to destroy his country 146 from that Ko which is Malchut judgments are aroused when Shisa joins with her she is mitigated therefore it is given to a priest who comes from Shisa so that this Ko will be blessed and perfumed hence it is. Written in this way, Ko, you shall bless the children of Israel. The meaning I ask that you should bless Ko with this Jesus and perfume her for the sake of Israel, so that there will be no judgments in her. 147. Hence, it is written in this way, you shall bless the children of Israel, saying to them, saying is not written in plural form, but in singular. This is for reasons of excluding when transgressors of laws have increased. It is not publicized since they were not commanded to make known. The name of Ko that is derived from the word saying, saying to them, saying in singular, instead of saying to them in plural. Another explanation for saying, saying since it is written, you pl shall bless. Why is it not also written saying pl to them? But Rabbi Yehuda taught saying to them, if they are worthy, it is to them that is the blessings reach Israel. If they are not worthy, it is simply saying. 148. Rabbi Yitzhak opened the discussion with the verse, and I Daniel alone saw. The vision for the men who were with me did not see the vision. Daniel 107 he asks, and I Daniel alone saw, for here we learned that he was not a prophet, but there were prophets there. And who are they there? Chagai, Zechariah, and Malachi. If so, the holy become secular, and here it is written, did not see why should they fear then about Daniel. It is written, and I Daniel alone saw, yet he is not fearful, though he is not
by the vision since he was from the offspring of David as is written now among these were the children of Judah Daniel Hananiah Daniel 16 therefore he saw and rejoiced in it since it pertained to the lot and inheritance of his ancestor David since it was his he was able to bear IT and was not fearful while the others could not endure and were afraid even if they did not see they did perceive their fortune as Rabbi Shimon said during the period that Ko is roused along with her judgments. The inhabitants of the world could not resist it 151 but when the priests spread their hands that stem from Shesed upper Shesed awakens and bonds with this Ko which is perfumed and blessed with the shining faces of the children of Israel the judgments are removed from them as is written in this way you shall bless the children of Israel and not the rest of the nations 152 it is therefore a priest that gives the blessings and nobody else it is a priest in order to awaken through. Him his own sphere of Chesed because he is called Pius had Chesed as is written with your Pius 1 Devarim 338 and he comes from the side of Chesed it is written and your Pius 1 shall bless you have Yabarko Chetelim 14510 do not pronounce it shall bless you but rather shall bless have Yabarko with the ineffable name thus Ko you shall bless in the holy tongue 153 we learned that Rabbi Yehuda said during the time the priest below rises and spreads his hands all the holy Sphirot above are awakening they are getting ready to be blessed and illuminate from the depth of the well that is Bina which flows to them from that depth that flows continuously the blessings that flow do not cease they become springs to all the worlds which are blessed and watered from them all 154 we also learned that during that time when the priests raise their hands secrecy and silence prevail in all the world similar to a king that wishes to be engaged to his queen and Approaches her secretly all his servants awaken excitedly during that time and whisper to each other behold the king comes to join with the queen who is that queen that is the congregation of Israel who is the congregation of Israel it is a congregation of Israel that is Malchut 155 we learned that Rabbi Yitzhak said the priest is required to raise his right hand over the left as is written and Aaron lifted up his hands Hebyadav toward the people and blessed them Vayikra 922 Yadav is spelled without Yad the mark of plural that is due to the preference of the right hand over the left Rabbi Lazar said that is a secret since it is written and he shall rule over you Beersheet 316 the male which is right shall dominate over the female which is the left 156 we learned that a priest who wishes to raise his palms holiness should be added to his holiness that is he should sanctify his hands by holy hand what is the holy hand it is a Levite that the priest need to Accept holiness of water from his hands as is written that you shall sanctify the Levites it is written of the Levites and your brethren also of the tribe of Levi the tribe of your father Bimidbar 182 so that they are included in the tribe of your father from here we understand that every priest who raises his palms requires to be sanctified through one who is already sanctified in order to add holiness upon his holiness therefore he must not receive the sanctity of water from another person who is not holy 157 we learned in Safar Detzini the concealed book that the Levite through whom the priest is sanctified must first sanctify himself he asks why through a Levite instead of through another priest and he replies another priest has no such need to sanctify his fellow priest since he could be an imperfect priest himself who is not permitted to perform priestly duties a perfect priest has no need to be flawed by a flawed priest who is imperfect however a Levite who is Perfect and is worthy to ascend the platform and do the duties of the tent of meeting is considered perfect and is referred to as holy as is written that you shall sanctify the Levites. Rabbi Tanjim said he is also called pure as is written and cleanse them. Bimid bar 86 therefore a priest needs to add holiness upon his holiness by being included of a Levite also since the aspect of purification applies only to the Levite. 158 we learned that the priest who raises his palms needs to avoid having his fingers touching one another so the holy Sphirot shall be blessed individually as is proper for it. The holy name needs to be defined in letters inscribed so they are not mixed with each other and he should pay attention to these matters. 159 Rabbi Yitzhak said the holy one blessed be he wished to have the upper grades blessed so the lower grades be blessed since after the upper Sphirot are filled with abundance of blessings they bless the lower grades let the upper grades who are Holy with the highest degree of holiness be blessed through the lower grades who are holy with the highest degree of holiness and are holier than any that are holy below meaning the priest as it is written and your pious ones shall bless you. Tehillim 14510 160 Rabbi Yehuda said every priest that does not know the secret nor to whom he gives his blessing nor what the blessing is that he makes his blessing is not considered a blessing this is the meaning of for the priest's lips should keep knowledge and they should seek Torah at his mouth for he is a messenger of Hashem Sevi Malachi 27 what is knowledge it is simply to add knowledge meaning the sphere of that that combines Chakma and Bina and they should seek Torah at his mouth the upper beings will seek at his mouth what will they seek at his mouth Torah meaning Torah in general which is Zeir and that they will inquire of him to know how the Torah above is unified which is called Torah in general since we Learn that the written Torah and the oral Torah are the supernal crowns that are so called meaning in Zeir and been called the written Torah and in Malchut called the oral Torah. What is the reason that he knows all that the verse concludes? For he is a messenger of Hashem Seviat. We have learned that the priest must meditate on these matters above to unify the holy name as is required. Section 16 saying to them, Rabbi Shimon says that the hidden book tells us that the holy name is both revealed and concealed. Rabbi Yehuda talks about the secret of the name of 22 letters that is referred to in the priestly benediction. Rabbi Lazar explains to Rabbi Yussi that God called Israel man and beast. If they are deserving, they are a man in the image of the above, and if they are not deserving, they are referred to as beasts, and yet they all get blessed simultaneously. No blessings are available below until they are first available above. Rabbi Abba concludes by saying, that the blessings are of mercy contained within mercy as there is no judgment in the 22 letters of the holy name 161 Rabbi Shimon said we learned in Safar Dead Zini the concealed book that the holy name is both revealed and concealed the revealed one is spelled Yadvav Dalet Hayalat Bavalat Bav Hayalat the concealed one is spelled by other letters and that which is concealed is the most hidden Rabbi Yehuda said even the one that is revealed is concealed by other letters due to the most hidden one inside it 162 here the priest is required to permutate the holy name and bring down mercy since everything is contained in the articulating of the 22 letters the crowns of mercy the secret of the name of 22 letters Aleph Nun Kuf Tav Mem that is referred to in the priestly benediction in the letters of this name are concealed the 22 attributes of mercy which are the 13 corrections of the beard of Atika the most concealed and hidden and the nine corrections of it Beard that were revealed from Zerampin is 9 and 13 equal 22 all the 22 attributes of mercy join in one permutation of the name on which the priest used to meditate when he raised his hands with 22 engraved letters, meaning the name of 22 Aleph Nunke Uf Tav Mem 163 we learned that when modesty prevailed in the world this name of 22 letters was revealed to all but when impudence became more prevalent in the world it was concealed along with its letters during the time the name was revealed the priest meditated and the name became explicit and revealed what was he meditating on he was meditating on the concealed hidden and covered and the name would be revealed and become explicit when impudence flourished in the world everything was concealed in engraved letters meaning in the 22 letters 164 come and see that Moses twice recited all these 22 attributes of mercy in the first instance he said the 13 attributes of the most ancient who is the most hidden, that is. Eric Enpin, to lower them to where the judgment was prevalent, that is Zeir Enpin, to subdue the judgments that is the secret of the thirteen measures of mercy that he said in the portion of Kitisa El Merciful and Gracious Shema 346 the second time he said the nine attributes of mercy which are included in Zeir Enpin and are illuminating from the most concealed Atika they are the ones mentioned in the portion of Shalash long suffering and great in love Bimidbar 1418 the priest incorporates all of them when he raises his hands to bless the nation so that all worlds are blessed by the side of mercy that flows from the most hidden and concealed Atika all twenty-two letters in the name that comes out from the priestly benediction, Aleph Nun Kuf Tav Mem, are hidden attributes which are the twenty-two measures of mercy 165 in the three words Hash
which is Eric and Ben everything is blessed with this benediction in the three verses as we have said in the verse saying to them to them is in order to include in this benediction the upper and lower beings 166 we learned that Rabbi Yossi said one day I sat before Rabbi Lazar the son of Rabbi Shimon I asked him Rabbi why did David see fit to say Hashem you preserve man and beast Tehillim 367 man befits nicely but why a beast he said to me you ask properly everything accords with Preservation if people are worthy they appear set like humans if they are not worthy they are preserved like beast 167 I said my teacher I wish to know the secret of this matter he said to me everything has been said both the esoteric and the literal meaning come and see the holy one blessed be he called Israel man in the likeness of the higher which is Zeir and Ben and also called them beast and it is all in one verse as is written but you my flock the flock of my pasture are men. Yashiskel 3431 but you my flock the flock of my pasture here he refers to them in the name of beast are man here he refers to them as man for Yisrael is referred to as both man and beast therefore Hashem you preserve man and beast another secret lies within the matter if they have merit they are a man in the image of the above if they do not have merit they are referred to as beasts they are all blessed simultaneously both man above the secret of Zeir and Ben that YUD have faithfully. Spelled with Aleph, which numerically amounts to man, and the beast below, the secret of Malchut, that is why you behave awfully spelled with haze and numerically equaling to beast. There is everything among Israel, since also among Israel there are the two levels man and beast, meaning the souls that are drawn from Zeir and Ben and the souls that are drawn from Malchut. This is why it says Hashem, you preserve man and beast 168. Come and see that no blessing is available below until it is available above. First, when it is present above, it is also present down below. All this depends upon above, both for good and for bad. For good, as it is written, I will answer the heavens and they will answer the earth. Hashia 223. For bad, as it is written, that Hashem shall punish the host of the high ones on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth. Yeshaya 2421 169. Rabbi Yehuda said, therefore, it is simply written, saying to them unspecified, which indicates that the upper grades. And lower grades should be blessed altogether. It is written at first in this way: You shall bless Bimidbar 623, and thereafter the children of Israel, saying to them, "Ibid." In a general way, it is not specifically written, saying to Israel, which means that they should be blessed together, both upper and lower grades. Hashem bless you, Ibid 24 above end, and keep you, Ibid below. Hashem make his face shine, Ibid 25 above end, and be gracious to you, Ibid below. Hashem lift up his countenance, Ibid 26 above end, and give you peace, Ibid below 170. Rabbi Abba said, "All are blessed together with 22 engraved letters of the holy name that is included and concealed here in the priest's law benediction in the name of the 22 letters. Everything is blessed. They are of mercy within mercy, as there is no judgment in them. He asks yet not so, for it is written, Hashem lift up his countenance to you, and lift up indicates judgment. Rabbi Abba said, "Lift up means he shall remove and cause to pass." Away so there shall be no judgment at all. Section 17 When the priest raises his hands, Rabbi Yossi tells us that people should not look at the hands of the priest when he raises his hands in blessing because although they cannot see the Shechinah that dwells there, they need to be in awe and so they should not be disrespectful of the Shechinah. Compassion prevails in all the worlds during the time of blessing. 171 We learned that Rabbi Yossi said when the priest raises his hands, the people must not look at him since the Shechinah rests on his hands. Rabbi Yitzhak said, Even so, if they cannot see what harm is there for them, it is because it is written, For no man shall see me and live. Shema 3320 It is only during their lifetime that they cannot see at their death. They do see, he told him, It is because the holy name is alluded to in the fingers of their hands and a person should have all, although they cannot see the Shechinah, they should not look at it. Hands of the priests, so the people should not be impudent towards the Sheshanah 172. We learned that when the priest raises his palms, the people must sit in awe and fear and know that at that time a time of goodwill prevails throughout the worlds. The upper and lower beings are blessed, and there is no judgment among them. All that is the time when the concealed most ancient attic is revealed in Zir and peace prevails in all the worlds. 173. Rabbi Shimon said in the beginning of these three verses, there is Yad Yad Yad, meaning the Yad of Yabrakesha, lit bless you, Yad of Yarlit, shine upon, and Yad of Yisa, lit lift up. They are all spelled with this letter to show the perfect faith, so that whoever needs to be blessed will be blessed from Atika, which is the secret of Yud of Yud Hey Yad 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 appear three times, so that Zir and shall be blessed from the most ancient, and the three Yuds correspond to the three columns as bless you, I the right column. Shine upon I.S. the left column and lift up I.S. the central column therefore Hashem bless you I.S. above for Z.E.I.R. and so it should receive from Atika and keep you as below for Yisrael and so on all of them 173 be the Tana learned before Rabbi Shimon that whoever is distressed in his dream shall come when the priests spread out their hands and say master of the universe I am yours and my dreams are yours what is the reason it is because compassion prevails in all the worlds at that time. Whoever will put forth his prayers about his distress judgment will turn into mercy for him section 18 the priestly benediction we are told about the inner significance of the spreading of the fingers of the priest during the blessing the children of Israel are blessed from the holy name of God R.A.I. Mahim the faithful shepherd 174 it is a commandment that the priest shall bless the people every day by raised fingers and make a daily benediction so that Blessings will prevail above and below since these fingers are in the uppermost secret five within five five of the right and five of the left the five of the right have more importance than those of the left since the right is more important than the left therefore during the benediction with which the priest blesses the people he needs to raise the right hand higher than the left and observe the blessings with a good eye 175 when the priest spreads his hands the session arrest on his fingers since the holy one blessed be he agrees with the priest with these benedictions Israel are blessed from both sides from above and from below from above it is from the session that rests on his fingers and from below it is from the priest that blesses 176 come and see the things that are done below awaken corresponding matters above similarly with the spreading of the fingers of the priest below the session awakens to come and rest on them also there are various things in it. World that inspire matters above since another power is awakened above with the awakening below. We have already explained this in several places. That is the reason of taking the lalav and the reason of blowing the shofar. Just as in this matter, there are ten fingers. The shechinah is inspired to rest on them, and another ten levels are inspired above, which are the ten sfirot of zeir and ben to illuminate. And all this is simultaneous. One hundred and seventy-seven. Therefore, a person is not permitted to raise his fingers in vain except during prayer and benedictions. And in the name of the Holy One, blessed be He. We have already explained that raising the fingers, is arousing the Holy Name and the secret of the faith. The raising of the fingers appoint by their uprightness. Ten rulers, since the fingers allude to the revelation of chakma, it is written, wisdom strengthens the wise man more than ten rulers. Kehilat seven hundred and nineteen. We explained this, and the priest is required to give his benediction with the proper attitude. With the acknowledging of the Shechinah as we learned 178 when the benediction leaves the mouth of the priest these 60 letters that occur in the priest's benediction go out and fly in the firmament and appoint 60 ministers over each individual letter they all acknowledge all these blessings what is the reason that there are 60 letters in these benedictions it is because Israel are 600,000 and they always live in the world based on the secret of 600,000s. Each and every one of the letters in the benedictines is a 10,000 therefore they correspond to the 600,000s of Israel 179 the holy name that is pronounced by the priest's benediction rises to that throne above which is by the supernal Shechinah which is by and the lower Shechinah which is Malchut acknowledge and agree with the priest on these blessings and all these 60 ministers in charge over each and every letter as mentioned above are blessed therefore. It is written, and they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Bimit bar 627, and the Holy One blessed be he blesses Israel 180. The following commandment is the benediction of the priests. Hashem bless you, Hashem make his face shine, Hashem lift up. The source of these three names is Yad Vavdalat, Hey Yad Vavdalat, Hey Yad Sanctification is Hayah, 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 whose source is Yad Vavdalat, Hey Ale
Proper they must make no mistakes in them and appoint everything so the upper and lower beings will be blessed 182 if they do it that way it is written and I will bless them who meaning those priests as it is written and blessed be those that bless you Beersheet 2729 it is written and I will bless them that bless you Beersheet 123 they bless the people and I will bless them who bless therefore it is written and they shall put instead of they shall say or they shall remember 183 we have learned that any priest the people do not love should not raise his palms there was a story about a priest who did stand up and raise his palms before he could finish this he was turned into a pile of bones what is the reason that he did not bless lovingly another priest stood up and raised his hands and blessed and corrected that day any priest that does not love the people or whom the people do not love should not raise his hands to bless the people since it is written he that has a generous I shall be blessed Mishlei 229 do not pronounce it blessed but rather will bless 184 we have learned that Rabbi Yitzhak said come and see what is meant by of that wicked Bilaam when he gave himself to bless the children of Israel he looked with the evil eye so that the blessing would not endure and he was imbuing his sayings with that evil eye as is written the speech of Bilaam the son of Beer Bar 243 what is the meaning of the son of Beer it means the one that hated them more than anyone else in the world since Beor is derived from hatred and the speech of the man whose eye is open have some of it meaning that he closed have some of his good eye from them in order that they would not get blessed and the blessing would not endure 185 Rabbi Yehuda said it is certainly so that we find the opening of the eye as a prerequisite for giving blessings as is written open your eyes Daniel 918 in order to bless in the blessings of Rabbi Hamanis Abba Elder that is how he used to say the Holy One blessed be he shall open his eyes upon you about that wicked one it is written whose eyes open also closed that was in order that they should not get blessed through him Rabbi Yitzhak said therefore the priest that blesses with a good eye his blessing endures of the one that does not bless with a good eye it is written do not eat the bread of him who has an evil eye nor desire his dainties Mishlei 236 meaning to say do not wish to have any blessing from him at all 186 Rabbi Yossi said come and see that it is written but Hashem your Elohim would not hearken to Bilaam to Barum 236 he asks hearken to Bilaam it should have said to Balak since Balak did everything what then is the meaning of to Bilaam he replies it is only because he was closing his eyes in order that Israel should not get the blessings we learned that Rabbi Yossi said the Holy One blessed be he said to Bilaam wicked one you closed your eyes in order that my children should not be blessed I'll open my eyes and all the things you say I'll convert to blessings this is what is meant by but Hashem your Elohim turned the curse into a blessing unto you because Hashem your Elohim loved you Ibid 187 about this it is written he that has a generous I shall be blessed for he gives of his bread to the poor Mishlei 229 what is the meaning of his bread it is as we explained that is written the bread of his Elohim of the most holy Vayikra 2122 it is that the bread of his Elohim emanates from the holy of holies for he gives of his bread to the poor we learned how beloved Israel are before the holy one blessed be he that the ones above only get blessed for the sake of Israel 188 we learned that in the name of Rabbi Shia in the name of Rabbi Yusi Rabbi Yehuda said the holy one blessed be he swore that he would not enter into celestial Jerusalem which is the secret of the complete union of Yudhi until Israel entered terrestrial Jerusalem meaning until the complete redemption as it says the holy one in the midst of you and I will not come as an enemy also enter the city Hashia 119 as long as the Shechina was in exile the name above was not perfected and it is as though the holy name remains wanting for the entire duration that all the corrections have not been carried out meaning prior to the end of correction 189 Rabbi Abba was going to Lot Rabbi Zira the son of Rab met him he said to him here I saw the face of the Shechina and whoever sees the face of the Shechina needs to follow and run after her that is what is meant by let us therefore no let us follow on to know Hashem Hashia 63 it is written and many people shall go and say come and let us go up to the mountain of Hashem for out of Zion shall go forth through Hashia 23 I wish to follow you and learn from these good things that you taste daily from the holy chamber of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yaka section 20 and he counted it to him for righteousness we learned that God told Abram not to believe in the astrological signs that said he would be childless for his name would be changed to Abraham and he would produce many offspring Abram considered Malchut to be of mercy rather than judgment and this allowed him to have children 190 what is the meaning of the verse and he believed in Hashem and he counted it her to him for righteousness Beersheet 156 is the meaning that the Holy One blessed be he counted it for Abraham for righteousness or Abraham to the Holy One blessed be he my mind was not quiet about it he told him that is the way we explained it yet it was not so come and see it says counted her it is not written counted it but rather counted her with a feminine suffix indicating that definitely Abraham considered it for the Holy One blessed be he since we have learned that the verse and he brought him outside of it was explained that the Holy One blessed be he told him Leave your astrology since Abram was seeing through his astrological observations that he would not beget a child that is not the way to know my name you see and I see Abram will not beget but Abraham will beget from here on you will make an effort in a different way to know my name since so have Koshal your seed be a five what is Ko that is the tenth holy sphere of the king to know his name that is the sphere from which judgments spring 191 we have learned that so Koshal your seed be actually that his children will be from the actual Malchut and if it were not for the sphere of Malchut he would not have children here by Malchut was turned into mercy for him at that moment Abram was happy to observe and to know his name and adhere to him since he learned about Ko although judgments got awakened from her Abram considered her to be a sphere as if it was of mercy although she was of judgment since without her he would have had no children this is what is meant by he Counted her in feminine form what is meant by he counted her it is that sphere of Malchut he counted as righteousness have which is mercy since Tzedek lit righteousness M-A-S-E is judgment and Tzedek is mercy Rabbi Yitzhak said Ko is the last sphere which is Malchut and is called Tzedek, righteousness, and judgments emanated from her though Abraham knew that judgments were inspired from her from this Tzedek he considered her as Tzedek from which no judgments were inspired. Because she was of mercy section 21 and Hashem had blessed Abraham in all things Rabbi Abba explains the deep meaning of God's blessing of Abraham in all things blessing him with Yezid in the future the blessing on earth will prevail at all times because the blessing is first established above 192 in addition Rabbi Abba said that it is written and Hashem had blessed Abraham in all things had Bakal Bershi 241 it is written for all have COL that is in heaven. And on earth I did Rahim 2911 meaning that he blessed Abraham with the sphere he is it called COL which gives to and blesses the sphere of Malchut it is written for all have COL that is in heaven and on earth that COL that is Yezid receives from heaven which is Zeir and Ben and supplies earth which is Malchut it is also written in this way have Ko you shall bless be Midbar 623 of which the explanation is that the priest shall bless Malchut that is called COH for the sake of Israel this Ko gets blessed through the priest in order that Israel below shall get blessed and the blessing shall be prevalent in everything of the future to come it is written may Hashem bless you out of Zion Tehillim 1343 and bless be Hashem out of Zion he who dwells in Jerusalem Tehillim 13521 meaning that Malchut will have no need to be blessed first rather the blessing will be present in her Zion is the inner part and Jerusalem is the secret of the outer part of Malchut. Section 22 Moses had finished Rabbi Yitzhak reminds us that the time sequence is not always preserved in the Torah and that interpretations must be made with this in mind he talks about Moses entering the tabernacle and about Moses going up on the mountain and separating from his wife since he had already had his children and it was now time to marry the Shechina 193 and it came to pass on the day that Moses had finished Hebkalo Bimit Bar 71 Rabbi Yossi learned that it means the day that the bride Hebkalo entered under the bridal canopy who is the Shechina he asks if so how will we explain the day that Moses had finished it would have been sufficient to say the day he finished he replies it is only to teach us that she entered through Moses Rabbi Yehuda said is it that until now the Shechina was detained and did not take her place why is it written and Moses was not able to enter the tent of meeting Shema 
from his wife as the scripture uses a subtle language 195 the holy one blessed be he told him moses has already met his requirement of being fruitful and multiplying now i wish that he should marry the shechina and the shechina will descend to reside with him this is what is meant by you have ascended on high you have led into captivity captive what is captive it means the shechina that was married to him you have received gifts from men let the man tell him 6919 it is not written here from man but rather the man which indicates that particular man above which is zeir and the gift is the shechina that zeir and gave him the day that the shechina came down is the day that she was married to moses this is what is meant by moses had finished speaking about the very bride of moses 196 about joshua whose face was like the face of the moon it is written put off your shoes yahashua 515 since he did not separate from his wife except for certain Times for the purpose of prophecy the Shechinah was not married to him too much and he was not worthy of her as is written and Joshua fell on his face to the earth in 14 but here she was certainly the bride of Moses in gifts had met not from men met not is spelled without the bob of the plural form since it is referring to the Shechinah which is singular praise is the lot of Moses whose master wished his glory over the rest of the world's inhabitants section. 23 each prince on his day Rabbi Yehuda tells us of the offerings of the twelve princes each on his day and how this upheld the world everything was blessed above and below 197 and Hashem said to Moses each prince on his day Bimid bar 711 he asks what is the meaning of on his day Rabbi Yehuda said these are the days above that were prepared to be blessed which are the twelve boundaries meaning Shesed, Burit, Tiferet and Malchut each one containing three columns which is the secret of the twelve boundaries that separate each one is constructed and inaugurated with blessing through these princes below since each prince established one day we have learned that all get blessed for the altar above which is by and even the lower world and even the nations of the world get blessed 198 we have learned that Rabbi Shimon said if these twelve princes would not have brought their offerings the world could not have held before the twelve princes of Ishmael as is written twelve princes according to their nations Beersheet 2516 when the twelve princes of Israel had brought their offerings the dominion was taken away from all of them therefore it is written each prince on his day 199 everything that was brought as an offering was offered similar to the above in order that everything would get blessed the Ram 60 the Hegot 60 the Midbar 788 resembles the verse 60 valiant men are round about it Shur Hashirim 37 that is the secret of Shesed Bura. Tiferet net sashat and yizet of zeir and from the side of bura each one comprises ten so there are sixty one spoon of ten shekels of gold bimid bar seven hundred and fourteen corresponds to malchut as we have already learned blessed is a lot of the righteous that the holy one blessed be he pours blessing one gs upon them and listens to their prayers about them it is written he eats the prayer of the destitute and does not despise their prayer tehillim ten thousand two hundred and eighteen blessed be hashem forever amen and amen may hashem reign forever amen and amen